Hello, I'm Danny DeHeck, aka the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. Today, we're going to look at some old Zoom meetings that were ran back in the 1st of January 2022. And the reason why I want to do this is I want to show you the convincing argument that Keith Williams and Kalpesh Patel were giving the community, and also the question and answer period where different people come in. And when you've watched all the videos I have, 80% of the people that used to come in and ask these questions are the same people that were on every week. And because it was back in January 2022, the interesting thing is a lot of the people that are just coming onto the scene had about a year to actually find out how to chuck their money into the Ponzi scheme hyperverse. And obviously all the withdrawals were freezing and people were ignoring all the red flags. Now, I don't know if I explain that properly, but the reason I'm doing these videos is obviously I want to name and shame anyone running a Ponzi scheme or a scam. Now, people are still hanging on to the hope that they can get their one times reward back. And basically what that means, if you put $1,000 in and never took any money out, they want to make sure that those people that never got any of the loot are going to get at least their money they invested back out again. And there's all sorts of people out there trying to comfort the community and, in my belief, offer them false hope. Now, there's class action lawsuits happening. I mean, one of the petitions that I've been uh, encouraging people to sign has about 1,600 people who have signed it, which is great. And theoretically, there's a lawyer working his butt off going to take legal action against Hyperverse and corporate. Now, my argument is, who is corporate? How will they find them? And how will they get these guys out of Dubai to prosecute them? And who knows who really is behind these schemes? But the fascinating thing that I want people to really focus on, these people that have been scamming people have now moved on to other opportunities. There's one called Vidilook where you could watch commercials and get a lot of money for doing so. That lasted about six weeks, and then all of a sudden, 10,000 people actually um, created multiple accounts or somehow, and that crashed the system, and they've locked the whole system down, and all the withdrawals have stopped, and now they're telling people that have got their money trapped in the system, they're going to double the amount of rewards that they've got in the system where they can't get their money out, and... They've announced that it's just a beta system, and now they're going to launch Vidilook version 2. And this is a guy by the name of Gareth, who's connected to Sam Lee. I've got a really funny video I want you guys to watch. It's in my shorts, and it's Sam Lee drunk. Um, just go watch it for a, a loop, put this on pause, and then come back to this video. So before I get started today, because this was actually a three and a half hour long video that Keith Williams and Kalpesh Patel actually did, I wanted to flip into a short message that I put together. I'm going to read it and discuss it as it goes. And it's just literally is this. The psychology behind individuals repeatedly falling for Ponzi schemes can be attributed to several factors. Right. So I asked chat GP, whatever it's called, to give me a few reasons why people keep falling victim to Ponzi schemes. So I mentioned Vidilook. There's also one called Nova Tech FX, there's been We We Global, and there's a new one called Data Bank. Um, there was obviously um, there's Sam's Lee um, Shishushi, I can't even say the word, uh, AI, and they just keep rinsing and repeat, repeating and starting up these Ponzi schemes again and again. They must get people involved in them, and I'm wondering what the psychology is behind it. So I've just got, I've only got six points, and I just want to go through these before I start the video and my uh, commentary on it. One greed and the desire for quick wealth. Ponzi schemes often promise high returns with minimal effort, tapping into people's desire to make easy money. The allure of substantial financial gain can cloud judgment and override rational thinking. Now that is open AI chat coming up with that question. Now I used to think it was greed. I used to think people were trying to get rich quick. Then I saw some people putting money in who didn't have the money to invest. I've heard of people mortgaging their house 
or asking friends for money, telling them that they were refinancing and need some bridging money, and then they've invested in these Ponzi schemes. And what I, my conclusion is, it's not just greed, it's actually out of desperation. And that's why you need to look out for your friends and your family members who may be listening to someone who's convincing them that this is their opportunity to get rich quick. Why do we have to be get rich quick, I want to know. Right, number two. Two social proof and herd mentality. When people see others around them investing in a scheme and seemingly profiting from it, they may feel a fear of missing out. FOMO. The belief that everyone is doing it can lead to a herd mentality, where individuals follow the crowd without thoroughly evaluating the legitimacy of the opportunity. Now this is a really interesting one. Herd mentality. Now, Hyperverse, and I still don't believe these figures are correct, they say they had 1.5 million people who invested in the platform Hyperverse. And the leaders actually say it was 2 million people. And that means if they all invested the minimum, which many invested many more dollars, it would be a $4 billion scam. Now, we've got a petition going at the moment telling people that they can be part of getting their money back if they just sign a petition. We've only managed to razzle up 1,600 people. Are you telling me that 0.001% of people actually want their money back and feel like they've scammed? Or is it the other way around that all the other people have made so much money they don't care and they don't want to be known? I don't know. The figures do not add up. So my point is herd mentality. They always make things sound bigger than they really are. And so people... Like one lady was telling me today that her friend researched Hyperverse for three months before she invested. Because her friend spent three months doing so, she didn't do much due diligence. She basically listened to her friend that she thought was super intelligent and obviously had made that decision to invest in Hyperverse after three months of research. And not only that, she said that her friend listened to all the negative stuff like I was doing, telling anyone to stay away from it, but failed to heed those warnings because she did her own secret research and decided she knew better. Three, lack of financial literacy. Many individuals lack a solid understanding of financial concepts and investment principles. They may have been easily swayed by persuasive sales tactics and fail to conduct proper due diligence before investing. This lack of knowledge leaves them vulnerable to manipulation by scammers. That's true. And the complexity and the big words that they used in Hyperverse, especially when they did the announcement of Hyper Nation. And I was reading through the PDF and the terminology they were using um, was just so complicated that people sort of would give up in their head thinking, this is too complicated. It's bamboozled them with science. I'm just going to go through with it because it's too complex for me to understand. It must be the real deal. So, yeah, so many individuals... Um, don't understand how it worked, and for that reason, the clever tactics. Now, these guys have used every tactics. Now, the reason I'm doing the video that you're about to watch is simply because the tactics they were using, I've always said it, I believe they've been trained with NLP training, and they just really know how to use every subtle trick. And this is why they want you to be at these meetings. So the video you're about to watch was telling everyone they needed to do a 90-day stint. And the 90-day stint was be at every meeting, every training session for 90 days because they know the power of people who dedicate their time and energy for that long a period would be in. It's just like if you want to stop biting your nails, for example, it takes three weeks to actually form a new habit and it takes three days to break a habit. And that's why they do these things. Okay, so number four, two more after that. For trust and personal relationships, Ponzi schemes often rely on establishing trust and exploiting personal relationships. Scammers may leverage existing networks, such as friends, family, or community groups, to gain credibility and encourage investments. People tend to trust those they know personally, making them more susceptible to manipulation. And this is the gold moment. This is exactly right. Friends, family, and community groups. They go after, a lot of the times when you look at these Zoom meetings, you can see it's the black African community. You can see they've all got religious background. Out of all the people in the question and answer today that I listened to, they were um, all saying they're blessed by God. They're telling people to have faith. And they're saying, they were talking about God repeatedly. So they all have religious beliefs and they're all going after those community people. 
which is just um, a perfect scenario. And this is why I don't believe a class action lawsuit is the way to go because you don't know who corporate is. So what I suggest people do to do if they really do want their money back is to go after their sponsor. And their sponsor is normally a friend or a family member or a colleague or somewhere in a community group. I used to get provided the Hyperverse community videos from a guy that was uh, at a church the parish, or the, the pastor, whatever you call those guys, some sort of biscuity guy, I don't know, He, um, they literally would re you record the meetings on the church video equipment and then share it out to the congregation. And that's how I used to get a copy of the videos. This particular guy, lovely guy, he said he introduced 200 people, 180 people, no, it's 180 people he introduced to Hyperverse, made himself $200,000 for doing so, and his group actually grew into over 6,000 people that were out there promoting Hyperverse. He was disgusted by where Hyperverse was going with their Hypernation twist, and he decided to keep feeding me the videos um, that they were trying to block me from getting. Now, that just shows you that it's definitely family, definitely community groups, and that's why it's so hard to stop these guys. So if I said to people, look, go after your sponsor, go after the person that introduced you to it, make people go, oh, but that's my friend, that's my family member, and they're just in the, the same as me. I get that. But, I mean, how important is money? Every investment has risk. And you've been scammed, unfortunately. So don't think you're going to get your money back in a hurry. Five hope and optimism. Ponzi schemes often present a compelling narrative of success and a better future. They prey on people's hopes, dreams, and aspirations, promising a way to achieve their goals. Individuals who are optimistic and believe in the possibility of quick wealth may be more likely to fall victim to these schemes. Oh, hope. I think hope is the one I do my most talking on. I've got to tell you this illustration. Imagine that you've been locked up in a prison in the jungle and you've managed to escape. You climb through a wee opening in the in the gate and um, and you start running away. And then all of a sudden the sirens come on, the lights come on, and then you, can, you look behind you, you see flashlights, you hear dogs barking, and you're running for your life. And you think, I've just escaped this prison that I'm in. And then all of a sudden you can hear them getting closer. You can hear them, a guy behind you with a machete cutting through the bushes you're trying to run through, and then you see a clearing. And then you run through the clearing, but you actually run over a cliff. And you're falling, and you've managed to stop your fall, and you're hanging onto a branch with dear life. And you're thinking, if I let go of the branch, I'm going to die. And then a familiar, gentle voice from behind says, hey, Danny, let go of the branch. And you look around and you realize you're only a foot off the ground. That's what hope is like. People hang on to hope. So if you have hope that you're going to get your one times reward back, that's how they keep you in the system. But rather than going on, like at the moment you've got um, Clayton Ford and another guy, Hempburn, uh, Hempburn, um, I did a video, a couple of videos back. If you're here, make sure you do like and subscribe and hit the bell and be notified when new videos come out because it does help get these videos out. But if you go back to a video about five back, you can see that Clayton Ford is now telling everyone um, that um, he will help them get their money back. And what they're doing is they're actually creating hope for people and keeping the community together. And I've seen this time and time again. Soon these guys, they're even asking people for their usernames and passwords so they can access their accounts so they can help them get their money back. They're not doing this because they think they can get the money back. They are building trust with you so that you will invest in another Ponzi scheme that they will launch at you in a few weeks' time. So that's how it works. Right, number six. Six psychological manipulation techniques. Scammers employ psychological tactics to create a sense of urgency, scarcity, or exclusivity. They may use persuasive language, testimonials, or even NLP techniques to influence and manipulate individuals into making hasty decisions without critically analyzing the risks. Brilliant. They mentioned NLP uh, uh, techniques, you know. Uh, you know, manipulate manipulation techniques. You know, it's it's it, it, gaslighting. Um, you know, I've seen it. There's a lady called Brittany Smart, and she was gaslighting everyone. When you know, I remember a video so vividly, and she was saying, "No one told you to sell your house. No one told you to leave your job. No one told you to do all this stuff. No one told you to put your life savings in here." And then it's like they're telling people off because, you know, as this video is going to do. I mean, ten minutes in, we're going to have. How um, I think it's either Kalpish or 
uh, Keith are telling you it's 100% risk-free and people lack belief. Believe, they don't believe the company. These are techniques to get you into believing the company. So I want you to have a look at the background picture. So this was Kalpish and it was also um, Keith Williams. Now Keith Williams has now claimed that he's got stage 4 cancer and um, he uh, is getting his, his affairs in order. So that's what Keith Williams wants you to believe. Now, Keith Williams was part of the hyper community. He said he loved the hyper community. He's also a, a religious man, uh, and he also had a huge family. Now, no one from his family, no one from the hyper community, and no one from his church group has ever come forward and said, look, you know, Keith has got stage four cancer. Such a terrible thing to say that you've you've got um, you know, and this is part of his exit strategy. Now, if you aren't familiar with the going ons, uh, I'm just going to rattle on a few things. Now, Kalpesh Patel got a bit grumpy with me. He said I was just as bad as Sam Lee, which I didn't like very much. And I said, why is that? And he said, well, you're telling everyone I was making a million dollars a day out of Hyperverse. And I said, well, I heard that. And no one's ever told me how much money you were actually making. Would you like to share that information with me? And he said, no. I said, okay. So I don't know how much he was making, but it was a lot of money because he now lives in Dubai or hides in Dubai on, I think, the 56th floor of some apartment in Dubai. Anyway, he told he told me that Kalpesh Patel told me that he was talking to Sam Lee. And Sam Lee says they were transferring the money out of Hyperverse and they were putting it into Bitcoin. And he also said to Kalpish that they were never doing whale trading, as the nodes were told, nor were they ever investing in any startups. And then another message I got from someone else was he was offered a ridiculous sum of money to come up with a slow exit strategy for Hyperverse. And he thought that was unethical. So he didn't. He did a big apology to the group. Um, to everyone, and um, he did a letter to the hyper community telling them that he's backing out, bowing out, and he left Keith Williams in charge. And a lot of things happened. I'm not going to go on about the whole lot. Start watching some of my videos and you'll catch up. But Keith Williams was obviously offered the money for the slow exit strategy. A few months later, he was offered something called the sales, the glo the sales, the global sales representative. And then he appointed all the other global sales representatives for each country, people like Brenda Chunder, uh, Clayton Ford, and all these people that come out of the woodwork. And then he was meant to be in a meeting. Uh, in a presentation or another announcement, what do they call those things, uh, an event for Hyper Nation. And that was, I think, around about the 16th of December 2022. He never turned up. We've never seen him anymore. It was pretty obvious that at that time, Keith William must have taken the payout that Kalpesh Patel was offered. Why would we want to watch these videos? So I've got, um, I've got timelines. I'm just going to scoot through. This is just an introduction. But this is the video that was recorded on the 1st of January 2022. Keith Williams reckons he had been in um, what they called Hyper Capital, Hyper Fund, Hyper Verse, and then Hyper Nation, Hyper Cosmos, and then now they've got Hyper Planet. Uh, and there's a few whole lot of other hypers in there as well. Uh, I actually had someone send me a message today on Telegram asking me if I had ever tried to withdraw my money from Hypercosmos, which is another one. I don't know if I mentioned it just then. And I couldn't believe that somebody actually invested in this. So I just wrote back and said, no, it was a scam. Um, but that was quite recent. Anyway, so what I've got here is um, we'll just do a quick hello to Keith. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy 2022. Welcome to Leadership Trading. Look at you lovely leaders, you fantastic looking gorgeous leaders here on the first day of the so if you haven't got this hyper uh the hyper what do they call it the hyper oh goodness me hyper community training sessions were designed for leaders not for promoting hyperverse but this is where vips learnt to become vip one two three and four and five so this is the all these people 1800 people here are all learning how to spread the, the gossip or spread the rumors or spread the information about Hyperverse, which is quite amazing. Now, I'm not going to do the whole lot. The whole video will be played at the end. So I wanted to scoot through to where Kalpish and Keith are actually sitting here talking about how it's risk-free. So this should do it. Understand what we've got here. Get through the videos in the back office. Understand the space you're in. 
And then as Keith rightly pointed out, everybody on the planet right now, whether you're aware of it or not, wants to get into crypto. Everybody does. They've heard about it. They've read about it, but they just don't know how. Yeah. And we literally hold their hand and show them very simple, risk-free, all the upside, squashing all the downside. So there you go. There's Kalpesh Patel telling them this is a risk-free. Now, to get into Hyperverse, you actually had to buy a membership with 300, uh, actually, 300, 600, and 900, and then they increased it to 400, 800, and 1,200. And um, when you purchase that money, it was like a reward system. So basically, you would throw $300 at it, and then that money is gone. You'd never get it back. And then because you're a part of their community or part of uh, yeah, part of the community, you would get rewards, and you would get – HU dollars, which eventually were worth nothing. So there you go. So here they are telling you that not many people know about crypto. They're using crypto as the weapon or the tool to sell you, to get you to do things. But at the end of the day, this has now been proven a total scam. So we're going to go through to 1130-ish, about there. I should do it. Yeah, the frequency of fear, panic, not knowing, um, all, all of that kind of noise goes out there in your pitch, and they're not going to get it. Lack of belief like, oh, is one thing I've written down here. Why don't they get it? What did you write down, Keith? Lack of belief. That's the one thing. Yeah. This is NLP training 101. Telling people they have lack of belief is actually telling people they need to believe no matter what. Don't listen to the videos that Danny DeHeck's doing. No, you need to... Um, you, if you do, you're showing weakness. So it's a shocking thing to actually say to people. And now, if we go back to number 14, this is only a quick video. This is where... Um, Kalpish will actually tell us that you need to believe in the company. Old square. Now remember, there is no company, and I have found out who corporate was: Sam Lee, Ryan Ju, Jaden Wee. Now in this video, they actually talk about Jaden Wee as he's still in the company because he resigned as the CEO around this time, and they introduced um, Stephen Reese Lewis, which was a paid actor who's now meant to be living in Thailand somewhere, and no one knows who he is. And a lot of these schemes literally pay for actors to do this sort of stuff. So what, what I'm trying to say, I think we better, yeah, so believe in the company is really important. Now, there is no company because there was no one knew who corporate was, and that's why these class action lawsuits are going to be so hard to do because there's no one tangible, real, uh, or, who you can hold accountable, except Sam Lee, Ryan Jew, Raiden, uh, sorry, um, Jaden Wee, and there was two Kevins. Now, both the Kevins aren't on social media, but Kalpish told me about these people. It off, colour it in if you have to, but that is the one area that people often neglect the most. And that's one area you've got to work on every day. It's not like a fix, right? It's a little bit like bathing and showering. It's got to be consistent. It can't be a one-off deal. Right, so what happened just then, we lost Keith Williams, and now we're going to um, listen to this for an hour and a half. No, we're not. Um, now I'm going to um, scoot forward uh, where Kalpish – oh, actually, you know, this is where he tells you you need to believe in the company. Oh, let me see if I can take over the recording. Record. Okay, so Keith will jump back on in a minute, I have no doubt. So, you know, belief in yourself and then, of course, belief in the company, the project, belief in the owners, the leaders, and what you're up to. So, so important to marry those two together, all right? So if you believe in yourself more than you believe in the company, you will do well. If you believe in the company more than you believe yourself, you won't do very well. But if you believe in yourself and you believe in the company, game over, unstoppable, nobody can even come close to saying no to you. So this is brainwashing techniques, in my opinion. This is total bullshit. This is telling you that you're not going to be successful unless you do exactly what he says. He is very successful because he's managed to scam a lot of money out of people. Whatever objection they have, whatever resistance they have, whatever story they have, or whatever limitations they have, when you believe in you and you believe in what you're doing, you can help them overcome that stuff. Blind faith. Well, you might as well put on a, a blindfold and walk into a lion's den, I say. Right, so we're going to go through to, he wants to see how many people have their camera on. And I just wanted to show you this um, 
because what he's asking people to do is there's 1,800 people in these Zoom meetings that they've got one main Zoom meeting that's capped out at 1,000, and then they have an overflow room. But he's asked people to turn on their cameras. And what I'm here to do is to name and shame anyone running or promoting a Ponzi scheme. So a lot of the people in these videos I know really well now because a lot of them were starting their journey about now. And these are the same people you see on every week. So he's going to ask them just to scoot exactly. through. You've got to do stuff to have that success. Uh, four screens. So those that know of me, there's another little people part with of their cameras on. on. A big fan on that. And you may recognise their names. So I just want you to have a wee look and see who you recognise. I might even make this a full screen if I know how to do it. Being like, who are you being when you're doing what you need to do to have what you want to have? And that's a piece of the puzzle that often gets missed. Who are you that shows up when you're in a conversation with somebody? When you're asking for the phone number, are you second guessing? Are you fearful? Are you wondering if they're going to give it to you? Or do you know they've got no choice but to hand it over? Like I'm always fascinated by watching these people in these Zoom meetings because it literally is. A lot of these are Christian people that um, that literally are taught to go to church and listen to a sermon. And this Messiah here, Kalpish Patel, is preaching to these people and they're glued to it like it's television. So let's just watch them flick through these screens. Literally, when you're asking for it, like you, you know to a point where you don't even have to ask for it. They ask you, can, can, can I have your number or can you take my number? They want in because of who you're being. The energy that you emit plays such a massive role in the way everything works out. Not in just the way that you attract new business, not in just the way that you attract those interactions, and those conversations, whether you're in a coffee shop or a mall or a, you know, on the high street walking around and going to a party or wherever you are in your environment. It's not just about you attracting conversations, but it's also the follow through that happens after that. The fact that people want to stay in touch with you. They want to communicate with you. They want to. I'm just going to fast forward it to the part where he gets people to flip through the screens. Uh, I'll put 1730 down here. So hopefully I'll get it to about there. Let's try here. along the way. So uh, let's get ourselves woken up. Let's get those cameras on so that uh, you can be here and present. Let's see now how many pages we've got. Oh, three. Nice. Can we go for four? No, not quite. So go on. Let's do this. I'm going to pause training until we get, where is it? We got 1,000 people, 50 people a page, 20 pages, 20%, four pages. All right, let's see. Have we got four pages yet? We've got to do the minimum right. Come on, guys. That's what teamwork is all about. One, two, three. All right, that's enough of that. But anyway, I counted 25 people on each page. If you've got four pages, he's got a live sky, uh, a full room on um, Zoom, and that's 10% of people. So 100 people with the cameras on out of 1,000, 10% of people, not 20%. Anyway, so let's, um, let's get rid of that. Uh, let's go through the next thing. We're going to have a look at Dr. K. So now we're getting into the question and answer section, and you'll see the full video at the end of this. I want to have a sort of an archive of all this sort of stuff happening. So Keith and Cal P sit there and talk to everyone, and they talk about this 90-day training program that you should get involved in where you basically, for 90 days, you try and talk to 10 people every day, and that's how you con people into these Ponzi schemes. So you no doubt, like I did when I first heard about Hyperverse, somebody saw me in the newspaper looking for a place to rent, and they rang me up and said, Danny, 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 have I got an opportunity for you of a lifetime? I can help you um, get and own your own house, they said. And um, they said, but I'll pick you up and I'll take you to this meeting that's going to happen. And I thought, I couldn't believe it. Believe it. So the first person we look at is Dr. K. Now, Dr. K theoretically got into Bitcoin when it was only 14 cents. 10% of those here, we don't have even 10% of those. Just think what's going to happen to all of us, guys. This is an amazing opportunity. Ryan Chu and his boys did a marvelous job to bring us to here, to bring us something that we are really, really um, proud of. Well, I don't think they'd be so proud of it these days. Sorry, Dr. K. So let's go through and they're going to listen to Pauline Thomas. Most of these people are blowing smoke um, up their bums. So let's see, 36. Let's see what this lady, Pauline Thomas. Your program several, several times, but I'm usually very quiet and sometimes I'm too late to get on, you know? So... I make sure I get on much earlier. So here I am. And in good noise, yeah. 
This was interesting to me because she asked whether Jaden Wee was still involved in the company. So she obviously, um, and I think she sang a song about Hyperverse, which um, is pretty shocking. But <laughs> cool. I have Indeed. something. I have something. I'm going to sing a song uh, to to welcome you all in this new year. Okay, now here we go. So this is New Year. We've come so far. An old year behind us. A new one has begun. Beautiful. Won't put you through that. If you want to listen to the long, the whole video will be. I'll try to time stamp it, but look out for Pauline Thomas. She is a singer. So who's going to be next? We've got, uh, I think, Cal Peach Patel's, oh, yeah, so it's after that, 38. So if we go to 38, Cal Peach Patel's, what the whole purpose of this meeting was all about, uh, 38, 10. So it must be just after she finished. Let's listen to her finish up. One more thing, whatever happened to Jaden, is he still in the company or did he move, did he move on? He's still there. So how do those guys know the corporate guys? Because they used to communicate with them uh, on a weekly basis and they used to be part of the conversations they had. And and, um, so Jaden disappeared, but just right here, January the 1st, 2022, they are claiming they still know Jaden was involved in the company because he is one of the corporate people that have stolen the money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. He thank has great listening. energy. Thank yeah, you. he's thank great. You. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Lisa. Hey, hey. I'm also just mindful of time. I want to make the most of it. There's a lot of hands up, so I'm going to do my uh, do my maneuver. Bring out the magic clock, and 90 seconds starts now. Go for it, Lisa. Hey. I've, been told, I've been told by my upline that I need to keep it short, sharp, brief, and positive. So um, here we go. Um, you spoke about belief in, in self. Um, that- yeah, I'm not going to listen to her because I think she was boring. I think I needed to – I'm trying to find the part where Cal Pish talks about the 90-day program because it was quite interesting. Maybe it was at the end. What to do in 90 days, which is invite people to presentations and follow up. So – that's what I'm going to do, one thing. Second thing is self-development. To uh, Sorry, I did watch this quite extensively. It's a lot of watch, but basically this lady had watched them rave on for an hour and a half, and she's decided that she's going to implement the Calpecius Patel 90 days exposure to, um, to 10 people. Um, so he's going to expose them like um, – uh, radiation <laughs> to hyperverse. You're going to talk to 10 people a day, tell them about hyperverse, and create – uh, people with eager intent who want to get involved. So that was the plan of attack for that one. So now we're going to go forward to 40 minutes about here and listen to what this lady's going to, to say. add leverage. Like if you really want to take your, uh, what do I call it? If you want to increase the odds of outstanding results at lightning speed, 90 events in 90 days. Show up to 90 events in 90 days, whether they are your team huddles on a weekly basis. So, yeah, so basically that's what I was talking about at the earlier. You, you spend 90, the next 90 days, you just go hyperverse, 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 talk about it to everyone, um, you know, live, breathe, think, hyperverse, and that's what he was basically raving on for the first hour and a half of this hyper um, community training session. This leadership training, a technical training, and, you know, a presentation a day, whatever, work out that in the next 90 days you are plugged in separate events 90 times, all right? That, you know, the average of one a day will definitely uh, maximize the odds. Shifa, your 90 seconds starts now. Hey, Shifa. Beautiful. Hey, Keith. Hey, hey, Joe hey. Pesh. Thank you so much for all that you do. Love you, love you, love you to all our community. Happy New Year. Thank you for the beautiful song, Pauline. And congratulations, Dr. K. And hey, Latanya, it's good to see you. Uh, and, and everyone, it's just so wonderful to be here. Um, have fun and enjoy the journey. All right. Not going to listen to all that. You get the idea. Let's go back to this this next guy. Love you all. I'm so excited about what Everyone loves everyone. Here. It's a great so community. Great. Love, 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 love. love. Thank love, you so much. Have love. a beautiful and wonderful day. God bless. God Thank bless you, you too. Thank Every, you. Everyone's religious in here, aren't they? That's the problem. They go after the communities with religious beliefs because they have they have to have hope and faith, and that's the, what they prey on. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, Kelsey, it's like it's like building, it's like having building your dream team. Yes. You no, know, you don't want any negative. Yeah, don't have any negative. If you're negative, you've got the wrong mindset. You win the gold medal. And they kick you out of the groups. They want positive people only, and they don't want to be questioned or um, exposed. And that's why they didn't like me, because I'm out there um, exposing these people. You've got to have it with that dream team. Absolutely. 100%. Makes it so much more worthwhile as well, oh, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Alberto, your 90 seconds starts now. Alberto, I'm not going to let you listen to him, but basically after listening to Alberto, he's ready to rumble. The one that you really want to listen to is Roman. Um, so Roman coming here, he seemed to gate crash. Now, if you don't know Roman, when they did a Hyperverse uh, campaign, he come on and he talked about how wonderful um, uh, it was. He In this particular clip, I'll let you listen to it for a wee while. Of course. Um, I really can tell you, I never, never in my entire life had a year before I was so excited to start with and this year I can't wait you know I, I just I'm, I'm on fire I can't wait to, to start you know and I have to thank you uh, for this wonderful uh, meeting today this is so inspiring this is so firing up you know I love it I also have a, a little song I heard from Pauline I was surprised somebody from Germany is here so I'm so the funny thing about Roman is I found it very hard to find him, but I found out he was connected to um, like a, a, some radio show of some sort, and he had his own YouTube channel. Once I found him, he got to the stage where Hyperverse, he was actually in one of the presentations, the Hyperverse launch videos, and he did a snippet on how wonderful Hyperverse was and how it was a great opportunity. And then one day he decided to do a video on his YouTube channel telling everyone that Hyperverse was a scam and not get involved. That video stayed online for about four days and then disappeared, which I wish I had a copy of. So if you do have a copy of that, please let me know where it is and give me a copy of it, but he took it offline. But there was a guy that was basically saying this was the best thing since sliced bread and then produced a video claiming it was a scam, and these guys have just, you know, disappeared uh, in the woodwork, which is a bit of a shame, really. So the next one is this lady here, uh, 48. Uh, my time is going to be different than yours when you watch this video, but I, I just want you to give an idea of the sort of questions and how everyone's basically saying how wonderful this is and how they're praising these two guys and at the top i know these two guys are literally making millions and millions of dollars from scamming these peoples and building these communities and they are just so excited you can see they wouldn't be doing this otherwise they're here for the money not for the community for me uh last year i set a goal and and December the 25th, right before December the 25th. So this lady said, don't be afraid to stretch yourself, whatever that means. So good on you. The next one is, uh, is it Tanya? This lady's been in it for quite a while. Uh, we're going to 52. Um, now, she is interesting as well. Great to Happy see New you guys. To you. I have missed your faces. So basically, this yeah, her word is going to be consistency. Um, and God gave her faith, and she's um, got to make sure she does her best opportunity uh, to help everyone obtain loving kindness. So everything that she said was basically wrapped around God, trust in God, and belief that God would look after them. So I don't know how she'll be feeling about God now that this is all dried up and people have lost millions of dollars. Uh, and she thinks the most important thing is to be stress-free. The next one is um, Bev. Now, she um, she has people working for her. Uh, she's more important about and helping other poverty. people <laughs> attain what their, their goal She's into affirmations, uh, and she wants everyone to be stress-free. Now, I wonder how stress-free she's going to be. So well, Bev is the lady who's going to be talking next you, to um, for the they have a wee listen to her. All that money, but with my hyper fund and then my other business, I finally hit that goal after years and years. And so wow. I'm super excited about that. And um, just wanted you to know too, is when you guys talked about gratitude, because I had some stressful problems with some of my staff yesterday and at two, two o'clock this morning, I could not sleep anymore because I was stressed out. 
and reminder of gratitude. So I started being grateful that I have them because right now it's been a little bit hard to hire. And so grateful to have them. And it helped where I could go back to sleep. It's just that switch because normally. All right. So positive affirmations. Now, I'm not sure if this is Susan Goldsmith, but she was also in the Hyper Nation video. Um, but her name's Susan. So I'm assuming this is Susan Goldsmith. They haven't used her proper name. But she messaged me once. She was a dog trainer, if it's the same lady, telling me that I don't know anything about Hyperverse and I shouldn't be picking on these people for trying to get rich quick. Um, a perfect way to bring in the new year. And I get on 45 minutes early too. There's no way. I don't want to be on the overflow. I want to be with <laughs> all of you so that because what I've learned from, it's about commitment. And yes, I'm on here. <clears throat> I think I've missed two Saturdays since July. Brilliant. So she hasn't missed two settlers since July, and she says she believes in herself and she believes the platform. And that is because she's been told by Kalpesh Patel and Keith Williams that that is exactly what they must do if they want to be winners. Now, this lady with Happy New Year on her head, uh, her name is, um, I'll see if I can get her name right. Edna Hersey. Edna Hersey. Uh, she's really religious, and God has got this his way of helping people um, to be financially stable. So I'll listen to you for a uh, second. How are we doing? Happy New Year. Now. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you both and uh, to the Hyper family. And first of all, praise and glory to God. For praise and glory to God. What has God got to do with a Ponzi scheme? I do not know. Anyway, this lady here, I found her online. I contacted her. And would you believe she is now promoting another Ponzi scheme that is too good to be true opportunity? And I said, this is a scam. And she says, no, it's not. It's not like Hyperverse. And I'm going, you said that about Hyperverse. Why would I believe you? And they just straight into the promoting other um opportunities makes me sick now sue patel if you don't know who sue patel is she is actually kalpisha's partner and they are i think engaged to get married so this was probably either when the romance was starting or happening or hasn't happened yet but it's quite interesting she's in here so um she's ready come on is her statement yeah <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there's, dupli there's duplication there. Oh, we have to listen to her say it. So yeah, I told you, another VIP five star. So Elaine, I'm not sure if you're on today. She's probably celebrating or she probably was out That's celebrating amazing. last night. But wow. congratulations yet again. Another VIP five out of the UK as well. Fantastic. There and we I wanna, go. Uh, and uh, uh, I want to also congratulate Mr. Clayton Ford for building a fantastic team. I think he's probably yeah. got about seven or eight or maybe nine VIP. Now, I'm not sure how VIP fives work. I presume you've recruited a certain number of people. So Clayton Ford, who's got his community, if he's got seven VIP fives under him, he had quite a large community. Brenda Chanda... Uh, in the video before this claimed or Keith Williams claimed that she had brought in with her team $640 million worth of sales for Hyperverse. So Terry, sorry, Clayton Ford has also a massive team in the States. I think it's the States, not the UK. Could be wrong on that. I get mixed up sometimes. Um, but these guys have obviously made millions and millions of dollars. And now they're going back into the community to claim that they're going to do a class action lawsuit against uh, hyperverse. How ridiculous is that when they are the people that have scanned the people out of the money and taken a lot of money? I believe that these people really want to show us their income. If they really genuinely want to help people, they want to tell us how much money they made from hyperverse. How could I have $10 million in the bank and then go out there and claim to people to help them get their three or four or $500 back? It would be a bit of a contradiction or a conflict of interest, wouldn't it? All right, so let's have a look. stars now in a short space of time, 15 months. It. It's incredible. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Seven or eight or nine V5s in less yeah. than a half. Come on. <laughs> there's, dupli there's duplication there right there, Cal. Yeah. Sue, um, happy new year to you, beautiful. How are you? Year, Looking Sue. great. Wow. Oh, there you go. Can you unmute yourself? You'll be able to now. There you go. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Hello. Happy New Year. Oh, my Happy goodness. Happy New Year. Yeah. 
Um, I just want to say awesome, awesome training today. Like, it's so great that we've had this training on New Year's Day. I think. <laughs> anyway, you can listen to her if you want. Hopefully, I'll have it time stamped. Uh, what did we get, Miss Faith? Thank you, thank you, thank you. This day, I could just and, say thank uh, you, thank you, thank you. We hey, couldn't hear her very well. Starts now. Uh, anyway, let's forget about thank you, thank you, thank you, lady. Let's go into the real. This lady here follows Keith. Sorry, follows Kalpesh Patel around. She's now promoting Data Bank with. Kalpish Patel. And remember, Kalpish Patel left Hyperverse and then he went straight into promoting GS Partners and then he went into promoting WeWe Wee Global and now he's promoting one called Data Bank. So it's three Ponzi schemes after Hyperverse that he's gone into promoting. Every one of them has been an opportunity of a lifetime he's never seen before. He doesn't care. He's just still making money. I don't know why he does it. I'm sure he's got enough money not to worry about money for the rest of his life. Um, but Sharon James, well, she's had a chicken background. I think her partner was um, arrested for fiddling with kids. Bit of main statement. Could be wrong, but that's what I heard. If you do a search on her, you'll find that article. Uh, and now she's in here, uh, and she is one of the UK's worst um, scammers, in my opinion. She is a real shocker. But let's listen to her for a second. She uses gaslighting techniques to market Barney people. Paub, uh, I hope you all had... A wonderful time. Um, I actually made a pledge to myself to be off. For so she said that the presentation she's just listed to made her so happy that she jumped on it and they just put a rocket up her backside. Uh, and then she says, make this shit happen. So that's a whole career of events I don't really want to think about too much. But have you want to listen to old Sharon rave on? And I achieved it. <laughs> I actually oh, she achieved something so uh, awesome. So now we're going to listen to Dr. J, which is a lady. Uh, she's at 210, my 210. So I'll just get there. Uh, and what did Dr. J have to say? She claims to be the crypto queen. Uh, and she says, Hyper New Year. She states, Everyone of my favorite quotes. Oh, she quotes, that's right. She that's mentioned to help my <laughs> she mentions one of my favorite quotes by Zig Ziglar. You can have everything in life you want if you just help others get what they want. And then she goes on about bless the Lord for everything he is doing. As if like God is involved in helping people get ripped off and lose their money. And release the old and open yourself and your life for the new and the best that is heading your way. I said this to the team. Thank you for being an amazing wow. team. Thank you for trusting again. Thank you for being the most. And at this time, remember, Hyperverse is actually frozen and um, people can't withdraw their money. And they're telling people not to listen to the the conversations in the in the, in the the Telegram groups. That's how crazy they were. Let's have a quick listen to Bruce. He started that you should feel, you should feel guilty if you don't share what you know about Hyperverse. <laughs> we have to pay for it. And I'm telling you now, from what we've got here, we, we join a platform, we get paid the next day, straight away, and we get trained, and we get leadership, and all that, all in one, one thing, and, and, people, and people still don't get it. Some people still don't get it. I bet he'll be eating his words now. Uh, in Rush, uh, he was going on about, what did he say? Uh, he believes that he thinks that people's lives are in his hand if he doesn't spread the words about this. Well, I don't know if I can, but I'm going to go for it. Me now, it's just like, oh my goodness, how can you not? <laughs> you know, I mean, this truly is amazing. I just want to say hello to the whole hyper family here today. You guys are amazing. I've developed uh, incredible friendships with you got brilliant. The next guy was telling all his his people and his network to get on the hyperverse training early and don't miss out. And he says he wasn't worried about the system being down because they were just doing some updates. Everything's gonna be all right. Happy New Year! I love it, Doctor J. Um, uh, and, and we cranking the rank, you know. So hey, look, I just had to get on here to say hello to everybody. Hyper Happy New Year to everybody. I'm excited, like always, to everybody, you know. But last night, you know, at 12, I, I was listening to Dr. J, too, with that 12 o'clock last night when I was saying Happy New Year to all the family. All right, I had enough, but take my word for it. He was telling people not to worry about the funds, uh, about the platform being down, which is a bit of a joke. So let's have a listen to um, Dawn. I think she – oh, no, we had to go to Sheila because Dawn couldn't get her um, herself. Yes. 
made Going? me shift some things in my life so that I could focus on it. All right. So Sheila Morris got to be really big in Hyperverse. She was running training sessions and the like. This is probably when she started out quite early. She actually said she didn't want to miss training. She actually booked some flights and then realized she booked them at the wrong time. So she canceled her airline tickets and booked some flights so she didn't miss leadership. Right. And she said 90 days. He said get 90, 100 people. I was I went back and I said, oh, I did 68 people in 90 days. Not, you know. <laughs> Not planning for it because everybody, everyone's asking me, what did you do? What did you do? And all I did was I plugged in. I talked to as many people as I could and I stayed consistent. Yeah. So they're all trying to be VIP fives. Let's have a listen to Dawn. Dawn remarked on, uh, I can't say her name again, but let's have a listen. For, 100%. You know, plug, in, plug in and don't wait. Don't base your success on somebody. Uh, no, Dawn, I'm not going to go on about Dawn, but she basically – Talked about, I can't even say the name. I have to get it read. Sorry. Sheila. Sheila. She talked about Sheila. He doesn't know her from a can of paint. That was exciting. Anyway, so that was worth um, making you wait for that. And then we got to Derek. Derek is 233, Danny. So I go to 233. Um, and this one I thought was quite interesting. Is he still there? Oh, yeah. No, he's there. Let's have a 33. It's pretty hard doing this with what I use. Let's have a listen. Uh, whoops, what does Derek say? Oh, he, sp he never thought he'd spend a month in Dubai, so he must be one of the big hey buddy. Let me spotlight you, Cubs. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, um, how are we doing? You hear me? Yeah, loud and clear? Yep. Okay, I'm not going to let you listen to that. You can go through and watch the whole video if you want, but Derek, basically, I want to know what's happening to these guys. These people in these Zoom meetings, what are they doing now? What Ponzi scheme are they promoting? Why are they promoting more Ponzi schemes? And why do they think they have a right to actually be financial advisors when they're not regulated? I'm here to name and shame anyone running a Ponzi scheme or a scam, and I want to fully expose them. So if these guys have stopped promoting Hyperverse and they were actively in here telling everyone how wonderful it was and they're still actively promoting new Ponzi schemes, then these are criminals and they need to be stopped. So I want to know if you've seen anyone in here, I want updates. So this is what you do, guys. If you want to give me some updates, you go to my website and you scroll down here and you'll see that I post all my videos in here uh, and all the videos and I make um, over podcasts. But more importantly, I have a contact us page. And in the contact us page, I actually have a, uh, oh, a, uh, what do you call it? A form that you can fill out. Now, if you're wondering what that screen was, it's because people are trying to get my website offline. They don't like me doing this stuff and they do denial server attacks against my website. So I've had three major ones. I know who's doing it. Don't really care. But if you want to go to my website, put in your information here and give me your experience, who introduced you to it. Um, where you're from, how much money you put in, what date it was, um, I can put that in my database. I have a large database of all these people that you see in these videos, and I'm literally collecting data on them. So help me stop these people. Uh, but I want to know, Derek Tellies, what's he doing now? Has he learned his lesson, or is he still rampantly out there promoting Ponzi scheme? If so, please tell me. That would be awesome. So Derek spent a month in Dubai. No doubt he is a, a trickster. Now this one here next is Bill... Now, he's in here every week, and I feel sorry for Bill. He sounds like a really nice, genuine guy. Now, he relays an experience of a lifetime. He loves the Hyperverse community. He's doing the 90, uh, 90 days um, of full-on dedication to Hyperverse to promote it. He shared a very personal story here, how he lost his son, and he used to be a full-time caregiver. Now he just wants to give all his time to the Hyper community instead to help others. I mean, this guy has been through a whole All lot. The people in my team he is like, fully invested. Every day for 90 days. Um, I, my second one is, along with Ian, I want to complete my training in the back office. I want, to, I want to really dig into my education. So this guy is fully invested in Hyperverse. How do you think this guy is going to be feeling now, knowing that people have lost their money? And this seems like a very sincere guy. He's in here at all these meetings, and uh, he's, he's a pillar when a puller, you know, a, some a puller, you know, his columns, he's a column <laughs> um, in the community. 
And now this whole system has fallen over. This is how people actually take their own lives. They die by suicide because a lot of these people have these massive lows after they had so much belief in something. And that's why I feel these guys are more than just scammers. They could actually be responsible for people taking their life by suicide because they are promoting something that is way up there and then all of a sudden it drops off a cliff. And people are less, lost all their money. They've been kicked out of the community because they started questioning these affairs. So these guys, in my eyes, are dirty, rotten, disgusting scammers, and they need to be accountable. So if you know where um, Keith Williams is or you know where Kalpish is living, please give me the information. Tell me, is I think he's on the 56th floor of some building looking at the majestic uh, sky tower in Dubai. Keith Williams has gone into secrecy. They have run away with the money. Disgusting. Anyway, so now we're going to go to uh, Lulu just quickly. Now, what I liked about Lulu is Lulu started talking about money and they let her stay. Love it. All right. Lulu, that's not Lulu there, is it? Yes, it is Lulu. <laughs> Hiya. Be <laughs> Hello. Hello, Lulu. Hey, Hello. how are you? <laughs> Very good. How are we doing? <laughs> yes, I am Lulu. Why not? Hyper New Year. <laughs> Love it. Hyper New, New Year to you. you <laughs> so I just made quick notes. I'll keep it uh, sweet. So, well, th obviously, thank you for the amazingness. As usual, Cecilia. Emphasize. For me, what I got out of um, the whole thing last year, this year, where I'm going, a friend of mine who's in my team, Jason, he always tells me business before pleasure. And I realized that I've been playing around a little bit. So I'm actually ready to get busy now. So You haven't been playing around, have you, Lulu? Why? <laughs> uh, what Lulu goes on to talk about is business. She talks about money. She talks about income. And normally, Kalpish will cut people off who talk about their things because they think by not talking about money and they're only offering rewards, then they can get away from uh, away from this. So the next one is Celia. Oh, my God. I have to tell you the tenacity because I was – I tried to get on the call, of course. It was full. It was at a thousand. So I was in overflow. And I'm typing chats in overflow, trying to encourage people, doing the ABCs and listening. And then it froze. And she's one of Clayton Ford's uh, memes. And she thinks Clayton Ford's is a beast. And then you've got um, uh, this lady, Betty. She <laughs> hopes to be a VIP for Hello. one day. Hi. Happy New Year Hello. to everyone. So you can listen to her if you want. And then the other one you've got here is Jackie. And Jackie all, is one of the cool, main culprits. Super cool. So Jackie needs to be stopped. I need to know what Jackie's doing. She lives in Canada. She does training every – well, she was doing training. She's made a ton of money out of hyperverse people, and now she's disappeared. Don't let these people get through the cracks in the floorboards. Okay, so now the one I really want to go to. So um, Jackie also said something interesting I didn't know. She has two daughters, and she's recruited them as VIP five. So they've managed to get in her family three VIP fives, which means they've made a whole ton of money. But I was amazed that she recruited her daughters, and she's also got two daughters. So that was pretty shocking. So the last one is uh, a few of these other people which you don't need to know about. Uh, we're going to go right through to 305 for me, and the timing will be up the whack. Um, yeah, so what did she do? 305, you've just got to have faith. Yeah, so this lady is pretty hard case. She's telling them basically you've got to have faith, trust in hyper versus doing. Don't worry about the withdrawal failures. And if you don't want to face the facts, then don't go in the Telegram in group. March. So you have to set realistic goals. You can't say, oh, I'm going to be off you. VIP five in four weeks. No, that's not going to happen. So this lady's basically saying she's going to believe Hyperverse no matter what and don't listen to any negative talk. So you can listen to that if you really want to suck that in. Then we go to uh, Keith Williams at 38. Uh, you have a few other people coming here, which we ain't got time to do because I'm going to bore you to death. It's already a long video. So we're going to go to 38. And we're going to listen to Keith's message and just the lies. And this lady here that he's talking to, um, I think she lives in the jungle somewhere and hunts buffaloes and she's asking some questions about going forth and what is the future of Hyperverse. Listen to what Keith actually says to her. Presentations, you probably uh, have seen that we've also announced that we have a new website. I think it's the hypercommunity.com. 
net which has all uh videos now and uh we will be creating presentations professional presentations uh that will be recorded yeah that's correct thank you dr j i thought it's just up here so it's the hyper community.net but um as far as multiple language we're working on that i mean you know um they reveal to us uh, a lot of things that are coming down the pipe and uh, we just got to be a little bit patient as they roll out the materials that we need to grow uh, we've done an extraordinary job over the last uh, 12 months, 24 months, but we still have a lot to do. And it's now a huge apparatus with different departments and marketing and legal and compliance and risk management. And What a load of bunch of lies, Keith. How can you tell people that stuff? you got a legal department? Where's legal now? Um, marketing? Yep, okay, marketing. It's just these lies that he's created or he was told – and believes is just breathtaking. Oh, it's a whole host of things going on. It's a lot different than when I first signed up. So when Keith Williams was originally promoting Hyper Fund, I remember looking at a Zoom meeting, and you can find it in my videos, and he had 100 people in the Zoom meeting. And now they've grown this to over 1,800 to 2,000 people watching in Zoom. It's just breathtaking how big they've grown this. But the money that they've made, Brenda Chunder, was introduced by Keith, and she brought in $640 million. How much money do you think Keith Williams has taken out of this? Remember, a lot of people didn't take their money out of Hyperverse, but when you introduce people to it, you'd get 20%. They built all these multiple accounts, and they had a structure of what they 20 accounts, and the person that started the accounts would be 21. That means if they introduce somebody at the top, they could merge all the money down and they could literally get 52% of the money that was introduced to Hyperverse or went into Hyperverse would get paid out into USDT. So they, if you put $1,000 in it, these guys at the top could get $520 of that money out straight away. So even though money's disappeared out of Hyperverse and everyone's going, oh, there's been a scam, these multi-level marketers have been cashing up. That's why you've got Keith um, disappeared at the moment. Maybe he's got some tax problems. Who knows? <laughs> I do. Or you've got Kalpish Patel living an extreme lifestyle in Dubai. Remember, both these guys had no money before Hyperverse. And they certainly have a big smile on their face, and they can't believe how long it lasts. One part of this video, I listened to them, and I think it was Jackie, and she said, we're on the roll. And these guys have been doing multi-level uh, multi marketing for ages. So that expression is meaning that while they're on the pick's back, keep your mouth shut and keep working until it stops. It stopped. In uh, November 2019. But I guarantee you everything will be there, for you, especially Arabic, 100%. So she's asking... Will they have translations in Arabic? Like, that's really important. Hey, I'm Danny DeHeck, a.k.a. the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. If you didn't read about me, search for the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. I got in the, featured in the New York Times about my quest to name and shame anyone running a Ponzi scheme or a scam. I don't get paid for these. I get a little bit of money off YouTube, but if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell and you'll be notified when new uh, videos are released. Uh, also, comment, post a comment. What do you think about these people? You know, I love the feedback. I try to answer everyone personally. I'm a one-man band. I'm based here in Christchurch, New Zealand. I've lost a little bit of my mojo lately because one of these scammers is trying to sue me in the New Zealand High Court for $3.8 million for defamation. We are currently waiting for um, him to put three or $400,000 into a trust fund for security for cost. His lawyers have refused to do so, which basically means he doesn't want to put any money towards a court case against me. He was just trying to scare me into keeping quiet. It's not easy being a YouTuber when you're going after these scammers. Obviously, they have a lot more money than I do, and I can't stop them. But I'm here to name and shame anyone running a Ponzi scheme or a scam. And if you can help me by telling people, go to my website, you know, tell me, what you do is you go to dehick.com, which I'll show you just one more time in case you missed it. Go to dehick.com and go to my Contact Us page and tell me your experience. Tell me what scam you got involved in, and I'll do my best to put it in a database, a database because all these scammers, this is why I'm doing these videos, all these scammers literally 
uh, rinse and repeating and starting up new scams. They're absolutely disgusting in my books and they're responsible for a lot more than just people losing money. I believe that people have taken their own lives because I've lost their life savings to these scammers. I have received phone calls from people telling me they invested £190,000. One guy told me that he invested $5 million of his family money. You know, and it's just absolutely shocking. Hey, look, thank you for watching this video and my commentary at the start. Uh, I will now fade out and I will put in the complete video from A to Z because I want to have an archive online of these events that happen. I also, this is part four. I think I have 21 videos on a hard drive. So I'm going to slowly release these out to the public because I want to find out where everyone in these Zoom meetings, what they're doing now because I'm here to name and shame. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll fade in now. Happy year to everyone. Happy 2022. Welcome to Leadership Training. Look at you lovely leaders, you fantastic looking, gorgeous leaders here on the first day of the year. That's right. There's a significance there. That's why we are here on the very first day of the year at Leadership. Happy New Year, my dear friend, Cal Pesh, all the way hey, to Dubai. Hey. How are you, my friend? Awesome. What a great day. Yeah. What a great year we've had. And what I know. What a great year we're going to have. Wow. So I am absolutely, absolutely excited, my friend. I cannot get any more excited. I think you guys realize <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm Jack Cher. I've got ants in my pants. I can't keep still. It's fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. And especially if you got in on the live Zoom, the thousand, the first thousand, we were maxed out well before start time, which is freaking off the chain insane. 25 and minutes to we were almost insane. maxed out. I mean, yeah, insane. <laughs> 25 minutes, goodness. And of course, everyone that's listening in on the live, on the YouTube, uh, share that on the um, Vimeo channels. Just share, 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 share the overflow link with everyone that you can. Because uh, today is going to be off the chain insane. If you uh, have people in your team that didn't make it onto the live right now, make sure they've got the overflow link so they can join us and benefit from what's about to happen. Because I'll tell you what, I was reminiscing earlier about last year's first, yeah, last year's, 2021's first Zoom that we kicked off. That's and right. That's right. We made some commitments. We took on some uh, challenges. And... Uh, Boy, just when I look back at what we did as a result of those commitments and promises, wow, talk about over-delivering and under-promising. We've smashed through all of the, the goals, all of the targets that we'd set and the, uh, you know, the future of what we were envisioning would happen. We smashed through all of that in the last 12 months. And that makes me just like really have to rethink how are we going to create 2022? <laughs> Goodness. Well, you're right, Kels. We broke all records. I don't think there's another company on the planet that has done what we've done in the last two, 25 months, just over two years. I don't know one in the crypto space and in the space of MLM. You guys are absolutely fantastic to be able to do that, to be part of um, history. Uh, is incredible and um, I've had three hours sleep I partied long into the night and then we had technical training this morning not bad for three hours sleep guys I'm pumped up still pumped up I've got three hours to go maybe two hours will do it Cal and then I'll probably hit the wall but I'm fat I'm really fired up and today's gonna wow. be a great day I love it because it's fallen on the first day of I know. the year leadership we couldn't have planned it it doesn't get better than that does it so we have a lot of stuff to talk about of course it's going to be reflection on 2021 are you where you wanted to be at the end of 2021 many of you are smashed it out of the park in 2021 but some of you are sitting and thinking could i have done a little bit more what could i have done maybe a little bit more maybe pushed myself a little bit more. Did you just fall short of your targets? Today, we're going to talk about a 90-day game plan, a run. And I want you to now focus on removing the word try from your vocabulary. Just do it. Do is the word of the day. Let's get it done, guys. That's what it is. Because for some of you on here who's thinking, I could have done a little bit more, but maybe Netflix was calling Maybe the pub was calling. <laughs> Maybe 
<laughs> maybe a couple of jars partying maybe whatever it is was calling you pulled you away from what you had to do and you have to be honest with yourself because we've had a phenomenal year it's been an incredible year and we've had a lot of leaders contributing towards what we've what we've done in the last 12 months but could you have done a little bit more because we've have we have hit some numbers haven't we Calps? it's been incredible this year so last we, year this year last year <laughs> well, listen, what's what's really incredible is that i remember when we celebrated crossing a certain milestone uh, a 10 figure milestone yes and that was in the short space of time like a year and a half just below a year and a half to do that was record breaking breathtaking couldn't have ever predicted that when we started out and boom that's what happened but then to do that again within a year in in like eight months nine months wow like companies spend decades trying to get to those kind of figures and we've smashed through that in 20 just over 20 months insane come on helps and and we haven't started that's and i keep saying this we have not started. Nine out of ten people you speak to, nine out of ten people that you speak to right now have not heard about what we're up to. That when you've crossed the kind of numbers we've crossed in the short space we've done it in, and still nine out of ten people you speak to haven't heard about it, for me, that's the time to take action. Now, this is it's a the sweetest spot that you're ever gonna find. You got evidence, you got track record not just any evidence or track record, world record breaking figures on a global scale, but with still minute numbers in the grand scheme of everything. There are companies that I've seen that have had millions of members join and still not produce the kind of volume that we produce. So that's the advantage we have. We've done the, we smashed all volume targets out the window that companies dream about, but we haven't saturated the brand Anywhere in the world, in any country, there's nowhere on this planet that you can say that the brand has been saturated. Everybody's Not heard about sure. it. When no. you knock on the door, they already have a, you know, they've seen it. They, they, they know, like, that's, you know, that's still a million miles away. Yeah. And that's because of the beautiful way we do this. You know, the way that uh, we make sure that nobody's uh, spamming, mass marketing stuff, splashing stuff all over the net. No, it's done in a very controlled, organic yeah targeted manner respectful manner it's built in a way that nobody's built anything before and it's done you know when you look at the effectiveness nothing short of miraculous that goes the credit all goes down to you guys the field the leaders that have pulled together to make that happen so you know when you when you measure the effectiveness you know i.e number of people spoken to number of people onboarded it's got to be one of the highest conversion rate businesses ever on the planet Hence why no verbal saturation. And, uh, you know, we've protected a brand, we've protected the opportunity. And so when people come in now, they get to see the numbers and go, what? And I still, I get it today. I speak to leaders and I get it. How have I not heard about this company yet? I'm like, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Because I, I had a bit of fun doing a little bit of Christmas shopping. And uh, guys, you've got to have fun with this. I mean, I was out just, just in my normal day-to-day running around, picking up this, looking at that, just browsing and, you know, taking my time around the malls. And, you know, the conversations always come around to, you know, you know, they ask you what you do. I mean, you know, people do ask you what you do. You're standing in line. Uh, I had this mask on, which we picked up from Abu Dhabi Calps, and it had uh, Meta Hero on it. Someone in line said to me, mate, where'd you get that mask from? Because he's in crypto. Boom. And it was so easy to get his name okay. and number and have a chat with him. And he's into NFTs and all sorts of stuff. But he was fascinated. Went into another store. And I just, you know, if I just say I'm in crypto. What do you do? I'm in crypto. Just nice and easy. And guess what, Kelps? It's like, really, I'm, I'm interested. I've been trying to get into that. I say we have an educational platform. Fantastic. An education platform that is, uh, we, 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 uh, trained 5,000 members a weekend. How does that sound? All on Zoom. Boom. And it's so easy. Another day. And then I get exactly. home 
and they're interested. Let's talk beginning of the year, Calps. You guys, you've got to go out and have fun with this. This is the easiest thing. It's like shelling peas. It's so easy to go out and have a lot of fun with this. And we've got to talk about, talk about having fun in 2022. 100%. And, uh, you know, you, those that uh, have heard me say this have heard me say a million and one times, if you're not enjoying the process, how can anyone ever want to join you in what you're doing? Like, <laughs> you know, if your face is oozing pain and frustration and fear and lack of knowledge, lack oh. of understanding, feeling lost, not knowing what you're doing, and then going, come with me. Ain't nobody coming with you anywhere, ever. But if you get the power of being the one that's leading the way, get yourself knowledgeable, understand what we've got here, get through the videos in the back office, understand the space you're in. And then as Keith rightly pointed out, everybody on the planet right now, whether you're aware of it or not, wants to get into crypto. Everybody does. They've heard about it. They've read about it. But they just don't know how. Yeah. And we literally hold their hand and show them very simple risk-free, all the upside, squashing all the downside, giving them all the benefits, lot, the learning journey, the knowledge base, the, the back office academy at whatever level they want to learn at, all of it. Compelling. Like it's the solution. We have got... Compelling, isn't it? It is. It's, uh, you know, when, when you look at any business book ever written in history, they will all tell you that the biggest businesses solve the biggest problems. Biggest problem right now, 97% of the population wants the benefit of crypto doesn't know how you've got the solution if you can't work that out goodness if you can't walk up to anybody anywhere on the planet and offer them a solution then you just need to understand your business better right that's the only thing that's missing once you've understood this you can speak to anyone in any queue or if you're in america any line anywhere in the world and uh, get into a conversation and show them the way that's all we do show them the way and when you can make it that easy then of course they want to follow you. When you're at ease around it, they're at ease. When you're at peace with it, they're at peace. If you're not, guess what? You're sending out the frequency of fear, panic, not knowing, um, all, all of that kind of noise goes out there in your pitch, and they're not going to get it. I can believe like, oh, there's one thing I've written down here. Yeah, yeah. Why don't they get it? What did you write down, Keith? Lack of belief, that's the one thing. Gets knocked every day. <laughs> just, you know, where's your belief levels? Because it just yeah. oozes out of you. If you really believe in something and you're confident, you're smiling and you're, you know, you're, you know, you're glowing and people know you're on something, you're happy about it and you you believe in it passionately, boom. You know, people are attracted to you, they listen to you and they want to engage with you. But guys, where is your belief levels? You know, do you get knocked for six when you read some stuff in Telegram, and then you don't, you are sheepish and you get all, you know, your confidence is 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 um, is hit, and then all of a sudden you can't have that really great conversation with someone because that belief has come down a few notches. That's where you need to find yourself. Get back there. Yeah. Get back there. And there's belief in, uh, you know, belief exists in many levels, right? In many different yes, formats, different spaces. So one of the beliefs is in yourself. For me, that's the fundamental belief. Your belief in well your counts. own ability Toughest to create one. something spectacular, right? Yeah. So, you know, you, you can believe in the company all you want. You can believe in your leaders all you want. But if you don't believe in yourself, you will screw it up every single day. Because that's what we lose out of you. Lack of belief in you, in your ability to win, in your ability to lead, in your ability to teach and train others, to share knowledge, to pass it forward. All of that stuff starts with you. So that's the one for me, the most important belief. I've seen people that believe in themselves, haven't got a scooby-doo about crypto or blockchain to make a fortune, build businesses, attract people. I've seen it happen over and over again, right? That is so powerful, self-belief. There are other people that know all about crypto, all about the back office, but if you don't believe in yourself, nobody's following you. But we've lost Cal, so... Yep. Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? You can hear me, right? Oh, Keith, it's your... I think it's Keith's internet that's uh, playing up right now. Um, so, yeah, you know, belief in yourself is number one. Write that down, capital letters, bold, square it off, color it in if you have to, but that is the one area that people often neglect the most. And that's one area you've got to work on every day. 
It's not like a fix, right? It's a little bit like bathing and showering. It's got to be consistent. It can't be a one-off deal. Oh, let me see if I can take over the recording. Okay, so Keith will jump back on in a minute, I have no doubt. So, you know, belief in yourself, and then of course, belief in the company, the project, belief in the owners, the leaders, and what you're up to. So, so important to marry those two together, all right? So if you believe in yourself more than you believe in the company, you'll do well. If you believe in the company more than you believe yourself, you won't do very well. But if you believe in yourself and you believe in the company, game over, unstoppable. Nobody can even come close to saying no to you. Whatever objection they have, whatever resistance they have, whatever story they have, or whatever limitations they have, when you believe in you and you believe in what you're doing, you can help them overcome that stuff because you become the pivotal point in the middle that helps them to cross that bridge, which often is a tough bridge to cross, right? So I want to encourage all of you to really take on uh, working on you. So, you know, we talk about doing, right? So, so, you know, you want to have success, then you've got to do stuff to have that success. Uh, those that know me, there's another little part of the equation I'm a big fan of, and that's being. Like, who are you being when you're doing what you need to do to have what you want to have? And that's a piece of the puzzle that often gets missed. Who are you that shows up when you're in a conversation with somebody? When you're asking for the phone number, are you second guessing? Are you fearful? Are you wondering if they're going to give it to you? Or do you know they've got no choice but to hand it over? Like literally when you're asking for it, like you, you know to a point where you don't even have to ask for it. They ask you, can, can, can I have your number or can you take my number? They want in because of who you're being. The energy that you emit plays such a massive role in the way everything works out. Not in just the way that you attract new business, not in just the way that you attract those interactions, and those conversations, whether you're in a coffee shop or a mall or, you know, on the high street walking around and going to a party or wherever you are in your environment. It's not just about you attracting conversations, but it's also the follow through that happens after that. The fact that people want to stay in touch with you. They want to communicate with you. They want to hear from you. They want to be around you. They want to follow in your footsteps because you know stuff they haven't yet uh, worked out because you can add value to their lives. You can teach, you can train, you can show them the way. That's what creates the long-term sustainable uh, business building activities, right? So being a cut above the rest, mainly being a cut above your old self, all right? Some of you really have got some uh, old ways to shake off old habits, old ways of communicating, old ways of being. This is stuff you've got to work on on a daily basis. It doesn't happen one day. You know, you can go to a seminar, feel transformed for 24 hours, maybe even 48 hours. But then what? What happens after 72 hours? What happens a week down the line, a month down the line? How do you sustain that level of frequency where you are attractive to people all the time? All right. I just want to do a quick pulse on uh, the room. We've got a full thousand. I want to just uh, quickly see how many cameras are on. Just two pages. Look at that. Normally I go for a 20% average, but uh, I can understand this. Uh, you know, we've had a lazy week, Christmas, New Year's. A lot of people have been working, time off, maybe a little bit of tipple along the way. So uh, let's get ourselves woken up. Let's get those cameras on so that uh, you can be here and present. Let's see now how many pages we've got. Oh, three. Nice. Can we go for four? No, not quite. So go on. Let's do this. I'm going to pause training until we get, where is it? We've got 1,000 people, 50 people a page, 20 pages, 20%, four pages. All right, let's see. Have we got four pages yet? We've got to do the minimum right. Come on, guys. That's what teamwork is all about. One, two, three, four. You did it. Give yourselves a round of applause. Congratulations. In fact, we're on five pages. Wow, look at that, above average. Why? Because that's who we are. We are all above average. So number one, belief. Have a look at your history. History is always a great teacher of, uh, you know, what you can do. We can learn a lot from ourselves, right? Have a look at the lot, however long you've been in the business. And if you've been in the business for more than a year, have a look at the last 12 months. What promises did you make last January? When we did this Zoom last year, if you can still remember, we did a what I call my goal-getting seminar. 
and we'll go into that in a little while, right? What's the difference between goal setting and goal getting? I'll cover that shortly. But if you can remember what goals you set yourself, what targets you gave yourself, what promises you made to yourself, what commitments you made to yourself and the team this time last year, and then check up from the neck up time, did you deliver? Did you do what you said you were going to do? Were you integrous to your word? Did you honor yourself and do whatever you had to do, become whoever you had to become to produce that result? Or did you fall short? It's not about judgment. It's not about beating yourself up. Just acknowledge. And if you fell short, what got in the way? What were the stories that crept in? What were the things that stopped you, that blocked you, got in the way? It's important to understand that when you reflect. Yes, reflect and celebrate all the great stuff you did. You deserve it. Absolutely. The fact that you're still here a year later, if you've been with us for a year or more, that in itself deserves a round of applause and a pat on the back. Congratulations. Absolutely awesome. But once the celebrations are over, it's also important to look at the other side of the coin, right? Where could you have been more? Where could you have been better? What could you have done differently? Where could you have improved? Could you have read a little bit more around the subject, so to speak? Could you have done more of the courses in the back office? Could you have attended a couple of more Zooms in the year? A couple of more trainings? Just have a look. Like, here's my track record. I think in 2021, off the top of my head, I missed one leadership Zoom. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. When I think, think about that, pretty proud. What's your number? Can you see? It's not rocket science. How many leadership Zooms did you attend? How many did you miss? The numbers tell you the truth. Everything else is nonsense. We can all tell ourselves a nice story, right? The numbers never lie. They reveal everything. How many leadership trainings did you attend in 2021? If you were new, how many technical trainings did you attend to master everything technical about crypto? Like, are you totally 100% comfortable now moving around exchanges, navigating your way through cryptocurrencies, trading them, buying them, selling them, swapping them? Enough to teach others, because that's where you want to get to, right? If you really want to be a master in something, it's not just understanding it, it's then being able to teach it. That's mastery for me. Mastery is not how well you do something. It's how well you can then pass that on. Hey, Kelps, I'm You're back. back. You're back. There you are. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you need to put the spotlight on me. Sorry, oh, guys. Now I know what it's like Edward. when you get locked out. <laughs> My gosh, it's like <laughs> 10 minutes to get back. Yeah, but look at the miracle, though. You did it. Do you know how many people just said, oh, I can't get on and walked off? I knew I'd get back in. I know, you, you, I you do well. it all the time. You're, yeah, yeah. you're brilliant at it, but you take, it takes you two minutes to get in. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it on speed oh, dial. Brilliant. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Great to be back, guys. Absolutely. So I was just, uh, just covering Keith about the commitment around uh, showing up, showing up at trainings. Like, you know, I was saying, I think I've, I've missed one leadership in 2021. I think, and, uh, I, I think I missed a couple, if that, for... Uh, a family event. Massive but, reasons. Uh, yeah, massive, massive reasons. Yeah. You know, when, when your child's getting married, yeah, of course, you've got every reason <laughs> not to be on the leader's <laughs> Zoom. But, you know, that, that's not an excuse. That's a very, very valid uh, reason and one that if, if he didn't, if he did show up on his uh, daughter's wedding day, that, that, that would then become the thing to look at, right? Like, hold on a second, you did what? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the so, yeah, yeah. Well, just, but there's yeah. so many things you can measure for example i was just uh, talking last night to a few friends about commitment and level of commitment now we've been here for what 24 months two years and um you know i've never been late for one event whether it be a webinar leadership technical training yeah. i mean we're talking about probably 1,500 to 2,000 events over the last 24 months. And ladies and gents, I have not been late for one. Not one. Can you imagine going to work for the next two years without showing up one minute late? Now, that's about responsibility, commitment, you know, um, 
uh, just leaderships and and everything comes into play when it when it comes. It's your habits, and we talked about it before. It's become a habit of mine now. Mm. And I'm here half an hour. I'm here forty five minutes before the event, so it's not just being on time. It's being here forty five minutes to let you fantastic people in. Now, um, and I don't need any medals or any uh, awards for that, but I'm just saying to you, the bottom line is look at yourself. Are you really, really committed? 100%. Because the next 90 days could really determine yeah. how your future is here with the membership and the hyper community. I really say, Calps, our first three to six months oh. has literally created all of this. Everything. Literally. We often say that. It's the foundation that was created then, isn't it? It is. laid the foundation down that that yes. first i'll say for us it wasn't 90 days it was a straight 180 day to be honest it's been a straight yeah. 24 month run hasn't it, it has actually yes we haven't really taken we've never off the off the gas. no we've no, never taken no. off the gas but the the foundation work sets the tempo it sets everything up right and then of course when you're leading other leaders of course we're now leading the way and continuing yeah. to lead the way it works slightly so, changes but the first six months nine months it was full on yeah. you remember the run to vip5 and uh you know uh we did it one month uh, i know uh, apart oh. but that run we made a de- you know we were determined we were focused and we put the put the pedal down we we put yeah. the gas down and we carried on and we increased the intensity because it was it was so for me that's where you need to get to guys because those of you that step out you know and decide right 2021 2020 that's the old me this is the new me now new and improved and i'm ready to rock and roll this year let's go for it let's go for it yeah. and don't don't use that and word excuse don't pull up anything as an excuse there's no excuses i could have said i had three hours sleep i'm gonna just miss technical training this morning but it's important we had two brand new presenters two trainers so I was there in the background. So I practically did the training myself as well with them because I was just there just to make sure that they were okay. Now, that's a commitment. Again, commitment levels. How committed are you to your success here? Simple as that. So you know, uh, some of you see my ABC trainer. So A is for attitude. Like really, your attitude will determine your altitude, as they say, right? How you show up. That's right. Yeah, suddenly you can't log in. Who are you in that scenario? Who are you when you can't log in? Who do you become? Do you become this ugly monster that wants to create a load of panic everywhere around you? Or are you calm, collected, because you believe in the company, you believe in the project you're working on, and you're just like, maybe you might communicate with your upline. Hey, is there something that I need to know? The first thing you need to do is look in the uh, Telegram groups, because then you would know. Then you wouldn't need to panic about anything, right? You'd know that the company's working on stuff. They've already said, hey, you know, we're working on stuff. Some of you might not be able to log in. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't need to go into that group with, you know, 250 people in, in, in a WhatsApp group and uh, cause alarm and make everyone go into panic state because of my moment of lack of knowledge, <laughs> awareness, lack of, uh, if you like, responsibility. Right. So that, they're, they're that's an example of it, Caps. You know, my internet went down, but I knew I had the belief that I'd get back in. I knew you just got to keep on right. doing it. persistent, persistent, persistent. And I knew if I just kept on hitting that, that link just kept on hitting the link i'd get back in now i could have said well i could have jumped on the overflow i could take the afternoon off great i'll have a couple of hours to myself chill out but i said no i'm gonna get back in i know i'm gonna get back in it might be five minutes eight minutes ten minutes but i'm gonna get back in done deal. or later done deal but it, yeah. that's because i believe i knew i had to fake i had to believe that i was going to get back in and that's the attitude you have to have in everything that you do, that's the level of, that's the attitude that you have to have. You have to have that. Yeah, you want to weed out any part of your voice, your internal dialogue that talks you down and talks you out, all right? Zig Ziglar calls it stinking thinking. Yes. Identify it. You have no clue if your thinking stinks unless you start examining your thinking, all right? So check yourself out. Check up from the neck up, as we say, Check out what's going on in here. How are you processing stuff? How are your processes working? Do they make the worst of stuff or do they make the most of stuff? Do they look for excuses? Do they justify stuff or do they look for solutions? Do they overcome stuff? Just have a look at your conversations. What are you saying to yourself on a consistent basis in any scenario, whether it's a challenging scenario 
or a scenario where you're thriving, all of that. Just check yourself all the time. Sometimes when you're doing well, your ego gets the better of you and you can suddenly go the other direction, right? The opposite of fear and arrogance can kick in. So, you know, just have a constant check on yourself. Where are you at with everything? All right. Measure yourself. So attitude, have an attitude that wins, have an attitude that's designed for success, progress, for adding value, for moving forward. Second one is belief. We've already discussed that at quite some depth. Belief in you, belief in the company, belief in the project, belief in your ability to receive information and disperse information, share it and grow other leaders. Belief in yourself to become a leader and then to create leaders around you. So all of that, you know, building belief around your ability to become V5 and beyond, become a multiple V5, become somebody that creates whatever you want to create around you, wherever you are. And then C, commitment. I've got double C for me. Uh, C comes with com commitment and consistency. Yes. Right? The conce you can't be committed for the weekend. Like, you know, commit. <laughs> <laughs> commit um. for the weekend. <laughs> You're committed for leadership. That's it. <laughs> so, I'll get on to leadership and that's yeah, all I done, need to do. Done for the yeah. week. It's not quite how it works. <laughs> it's all of it, right? So you commit and then you get consistent. Consistency is the clue is in the word. The more consistent you are, the better the result you produce. If you show up once a month, you get a result. It produces a result. If you go to the gym once a month, it'll produce a result, right? If you go on a date night once a month, it'll produce a result. What about if you did it every week? It produces a different result. What if you did it every day? If you cooked every day, at some point, you gain mastery around cooking. So whatever you're up to, once you commit that you want to get really great at that thing, daily is where the answer's at. Not weekly, not monthly, not annually. Daily. Guess who really wins the day, though? People that commit consistently hourly, every minute. How about that? What if you woke up committed and then you remained committed throughout the day and you yeah. fell asleep committed? Can you see the difference? It's a game changer. When you wonder how some people do what they do and how they produce the results they produce, and it seems like a million miles away from where you're at, just study them. The clue is always in this. It's the same stuff always, right? So guess what? If you got committed and consistent like I am or like Keith is, it's inevitable. The outcome is inevitable. It's not rocket science. It's not because I'm better or Keith is better than anyone. No. We just follow these things, right? We, we, check, we do the checkup from the neck up on a regular basis. We believe in ourselves completely. We believe in what we're doing. Believe, we believe in Hyperverse. We believe in Ryan Zhu and Sam Lee and Jada Wee and Stephen and, any, and anyone else that they choose to a point and bring in we believe in them enough to know that they know what they're doing they've got a phenomenal history of knowing what they're doing so guess what is it likely they know what to do next the odds are in our favor can we believe in them absolutely why because they've got a history of producing of delivering every single time you see that and then that can commitment and consistency all right so you know you've got the support system. You've got the peer group. It doesn't get better than this. We have leadership sold out every single Saturday for I don't know how many months now. That is a team of people around you that is committed to your success. Everyone on this Zoom is committed to your success. That's why they show up. They show up for themselves, but they also show up for each other. That's what makes Community. This is community. It's when we come together. That's when community becomes real. Come unity, communion, unity in the coming together. Can you see that? So showing up is important, however you're feeling. Feelings go like this, right? You can never count on your feelings. If you rely on your feelings for your life, you're in trouble. You're going to have a very troubled life because feelings change their mind every other day. That's where the commitment and the consistency has got to kick in, right? So your feelings and emotions are going like this. When somebody says, yes, you're on a high. When they say no, you're on the floor. When somebody shows up to a Zoom, you're excited. When they send you a whole bunch of negative press about what you're doing, you're on the floor again, right? So your emotions are always going to be yo-yoing around. You've got to get past that. This is the stuff of Zen. <laughs> You've got to get past your emotions and just know, Mark Twain said it beautifully, right? Commitment is doing what you said you would do long after the feelings have left you. Feelings will leave you. 
the excitement you will feel when you see the possibility of a phenomenal future will disappear at the first obstacle if you're not mentally prepared and strong. So that's why I often say this is a mental battle, right? The stronger your mind, the, the higher the odds of you winning, the higher the odds of you getting where you want to get to. The stronger your mind, the higher the odds. Some people's mind is so weak, they get taken out of the first optical. I have witnessed firsthand, as, as I'm sure Keith has and anyone that's built this has, people come in, they see the presentation, they're doing backflips, they're going round and round like a Catherine wheel with excitement. They tell you they're going to conquer the world and dominate everything and smash it up and get to VIP five star in three weeks and all of that. And within 24 hours, they don't pick up your phone call. We've seen it all the time. It's a weak mind. A lot of talk, nothing to back it up. Don't be that person. Don't be the person that says stuff and then doesn't have the courage and the strength to follow through. All right, you've, we've that's, got you. That, that's interesting you say that because I've written down here the difference between deciding to do something and, then, and, and taking action. Mm. It's more important, guys, to take action. I mean, this is the time of the year where you've made lots of resolutions. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go hit the gym. I'm going to uh, watch what I eat. Uh, I'm going to read more. All sorts of stuff that you've said in the last 24 hours. The most important thing is to take action. Yeah. It's to really? actually take action. Do it and uh, make it happen. Just take action. It's so important. Because every day we make decisions and we don't follow through, we don't do things we, we, we tell ourselves we're going to do, but you've got to take action, everyone. That's the most important thing. More and important. Action, yeah, and action's not, some people think action's this huge mountain. <laughs> not Just at all. Steps. The little things to do. Little baby steps, man. That's all it is. When, when we say actions, it's not the stuff that oftentimes people think, the overwhelming stuff. It's just baby actions. Make a phone call, one phone call. Yes. And then make two tomorrow. Yes. And then three the day after that. Yes. Like everything you build on your previous history. All right. Start small. Take that first baby step. Make the call you're scared to make. Show up to the training that you weren't going to show up to. Disrupt your life and get there. Make it happen. That builds muscle. That builds belief. That builds strength. Guess what? It's easier to show up again tomorrow. Before you know it, you can't not show up. It gets to a point where if you don't show up, something's missing for you. That's where you want to get it to, where this becomes such a part of your daily habit, such a part of your consistent actions, that it's normal for you to be here and completely abnormal to not be here. That's the flip. The minute that flip happens, then all of it's easy. It's like, it's really strange how the magic of this universe works, but when the universe sees you doing your part, it almost wants to surrender to deliver. It's like, I, you know what? It does. Yeah. You, you, you've proven it, man. You win. You win the day, man. I've, I've thrown the challenges in your direction. I've pushed your buttons. I've put stuff in the way. You haven't let any of that deter. You're committed. All right, fair enough. There you go. Have the win. Go ahead. Suddenly stuff starts happening and you're like, where did that person come from? Goodness, I said this and, I, and that happened. Things start happening around you. That right. then. I call them miracles, right? People call them coincidences. People say, you know, oh, you know, how did that happen? That was weird. No, nothing weird about it. You tuned in. You synchronize yourself with the universe. And then the universe goes, right, do you know what? You are serious. You do mean it. Fair enough. Go ahead. It's all yours. And you don't know when that's going to happen. Nobody knows when that's going to happen. Caps, if I do it for seven days, will it work? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> ambitious it could 90 days much more likely 180 days you're almost forcing the outcome you do it for 365 days it's almost not possible to not get the result right anything you do every single day if you get consumed by it for 365 days will produce results that nobody else could produce right if you're constantly never ending improving along the way bang miracles and magic have to happen in anything that you commit to to that level right so just get that. So have a quick reflection of the past 12 months. Write down, again, it's not an essay. It's not, you know, double A4 sided here. We're talking bullet points. What could you have done better 
what could you have done differently to support your success? Be your own um, champion. I wrote that down. What could you have done differently? <laughs> See, me and Keith have this uh, <laughs> ether, ether connection, man. <laughs> it is. It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> week. That's it what is. It. Think, think, I've written down a whole bunch of notes. Are you prepared to change anything? Again, are you prepared to change anything? Because if not, then you're going to get the same results. You're going to keep on getting the same results. If certain things are pulling you away from what you have to do here, and you can't, you know, stay focused, it pulls you away, stuff happens, and we know things happen, but are you strong enough to put the stuff that's happening outside, because it's noise, and stay focused here? Because the noise will always be there. Yeah. But guess what? When you achieve what you need to achieve here, you can then deal with the noise. Because guess what? You've achieved your targets, your goals, your life is different, things are different for you. You know, you're, you've got more responsibility, you're leading a team, you're in having fun, you're enjoying crypto, you're enjoying the platform, you're, you know, you're space hopping in the galaxy. The noise will still be there, but then it's easier to deal with the noise. So easy when you're in that space. So easy to make decisions and deal with the things that has to be dealt with. With a very clear and calm mind, because now you have those leadership qualities that people are looking to, I need you to help. Uh, you know, I just want you to tell me what. And that's a great place to be as well, because you've grown here and now you can deal with the noise that's outside effectively and not let it affect you and take you off target. So it's so important, Calps. I cut out the noise for six months. And yeah. now I've gone back. I can deal with any bit of noise outside of hyper. doesn't matter. Deal with yeah. it. Decisions. That's it. This is what we're going to do. And it's so easy because I've, I've, I've learned some stuff here that now I'm applying outside with the noise. That's always going to be there. Guys, this place here will give you all the skill uh, and, and all the experience you're going to need to take care of the stuff that you need to take care of. And disappointments and sadness. We all have those as well but you'll be able to handle it as well. Mm. 100%. So take the moment, write down three things. Focus on these three things, right? Three things down that you're going to bring into 2022 that were sometimes missing in 2021. What are the three things that you're going to absolutely commit yourself to doing differently, to doing better? One of them, I'm not saying that we should all have this on there, but Certainly a lot of us could probably add this on there. Show up more often. Yeah, just show up. Show up for yourself. Show up for your goals, your outcomes, your commitments. Just show up. Here's what I often compare it to. Showing up is as easy as your job. You've already got the skills. If you're working for somebody, if you've ever worked for somebody, you know how to show up. But isn't it interesting? how you will show up for the boss, but you won't show up for yourself. What is that all about? The boss says, be there at nine, boom, prompt. Fighting traffic, packed up like a sardine in a train carriage, whatever other nonsense, alarm bells going off, all of that nonsense you put up with because somebody else told you to do something. And then you say, do you know what? I'm going to come to all the Zooms. And you don't bother. You don't hold yourself to account. You don't take responsibility. You come up with some bullshit excuses. What is that all about? Self-destruction. You steal your own success away from you. Listen, this platform will give you everything you want. There's too much evidence now for you to even question that, to even wonder about it. There's zero doubt in anybody's mind that's got half a brain cell as to whether this company can deliver or not. That is not your focus. I wonder if this company can deliver. That is bullshit noise. I wonder if you can deliver. That's the real question. I never wonder if Ryan can deliver, if Sam can deliver, if the corporate can deliver. I never have to wonder about that. All I need to know is, am I delivering? Yeah, that's it. There's too much history there. Too much evidence, too much proof. If that's the focus, you're missing it. You're putting all that energy in the wrong place. I have members that have been in 
for months sending me the latest clickbait. Calps, have you seen this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. We, both, we both do, Calps, and my response is so harsh and so hard, especially for know. members that I <laughs> just, and sometimes I get so mad, I call them up and say, what are you doing? <laughs> what do you think, what sort of reaction do you expect from me to send me some stuff like that? Put them back in their place. These are, VIP, get... these are VIP three stars. I know. <laughs> I said to myself, what's going on here? And, and higher. <laughs> and, and higher. higher. They come into the groups, they write some nonsense message, and you're like, mate. But I, I don't get it because, um, is it because they're worried that this is not going to be around this thing that they love so much is not going to be around? Because that's a big problem if they've got this worry that's, that's hovering like a cloud over them that no, we're not going to be I, around. I, if I told you guys now that we're futured for five years, what would you say? Would you work any harder? Would you go at it now? Because we've got five more years? Or what would you do? It's amazing. Bottom line it? is that it's, it's here. Yeah, it's already here now. And we do calps every day. We get stuff. Oh, have you read this? Have you seen that? Oh, why isn't this work? And I and and, and this is from <laughs> leaders that are, that are not. I've not three times, not four or five or ten. They're well over ten times. They're probably in 15, 20, 30 times. So yeah. they're they've done pretty well. <laughs> they've yeah. done pretty well, yeah. amazingly well, and yet they still send me some nonsense. Yeah. I tell them that's it. You know my attitude is: I, I, I don't do another rebuy. Don't buy another membership. Run it down. Or just hand it over to me. I'll take over your okay. position. <laughs> I'll be happy to carry on. You can ride off into the sunset with your lack of belief and your negativity. And I'll just carry on. Just hand it over to me. <laughs> well done. They, they never say yes to that one. <laughs> no, exactly. I, I, I often think it's a, a uh, attention-seeking activity. Misery loves company, they, but they, yeah, they're not exactly. going to get that from me. Get a lot of attention this is from not a... the shoulder to cry on. No, no way. <laughs> not they at get all. attention from other people in the group that are of similar frequency, and yeah. suddenly it becomes a collective, doesn't it? Yeah. It becomes this little group of, me too, look at this, yeah, I can't log in either, and the same when you're like, mate. So look, check yourself out all the time. What are you up to? Who are you in the community? Not just who are you for yourself. Who are you for the community? Big question. Write that down. Who are you, not just for yourself, yes. but for the people around you? How do you show up for them? See, leaders learn to manage themselves. A leader, when they feel down or negative or disturbed or jarred or anything, if something might happen in their life, they manage that. They don't spread it. They don't go throwing it around on other people's lives. They don't go raining on everybody's parade. Oh, I'm having a tough day, so I'm going to make sure everyone else has a tough day. You see the difference? Become a leader. Learn to know when to keep things to yourself. If you've got something you need to get off your shoulders, speak to your sponsor. Speak to the person that got you in. Chances okay. are there's a friendship, there's a relationship there already, right? No worries. Everyone sometimes has to get stuff out of their head, out of their system, and communicate. We often say vomit upwards. <laughs> All right. If you if you really need to vomit, do it upwards. Don't do it downwards. Don't go into a group where there's brand new people that just came in yesterday and you bring your nonsense to the table. You look like a twat and you jar them for no reason. Don't do that. If you need to puke, puke upwards. When you're feeling great, shower that stuff around in the groups. That all goes to your teams and communities. Just understand. Negative, basic. Negatives up, positives down. That's what we've been yeah. taught. Just like know that, right? Know where you're communicating, what you're communi communicating, because it all has an impact. Yeah. yeah. It's not just about you and your challenge. You know, that's you and your challenge. Don't make it everybody else's, right? Don't get collusive in communication, looking for company. It's nonsense. Leaders don't do that. Yeah. So now you've got three things you're going to focus on in 2022. Let's get focused on that, right? You've identified that. Make sure that that's at the top of a fresh sheet of paper somewhere, uh, on a post-it note somewhere, or whatever, however you manage this stuff, it goes into your notes in your phone, a reminder in your calendar that pops up on a regular basis, whatever, you know, whatever you need to do to keep that alive, keep it alive. All right. Three things that you yourself 
have committed to doing better this year than you did last year, all right? With that commitment in place, what are you going to create in 2022? Let's do some creation work now, all right? So I want to talk about the difference between goal setting and goal getting. Everybody sets goals. How many of us, time for being honest, how many of us have set goals and done nothing about it? Show me your hands. Give me a quick, my quick show of hands. We set goals, done nothing about it. Have a look around. These are all the honest people in the room. Everyone else is a liar. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, we've all done that, right? It's the nature of being human. That's all that is. The nature of being human is that we're going to let ourselves down. We're the first people to let ourselves down, all right? That's a default inbuilt mechanism. We're going to say stuff and not do it. Just know that. See, from that position, you can build up. When you can acknowledge that you're about to screw up, and the chances are you will because that's what you normally do, when you can own that, now you can say, right, what do I need to put in place to not screw up? What do I need to put in place so that I'm accountable for what I'm saying? So that I'm countonable for what I'm saying? What structures can I put in place around me to make sure that I end up doing what I am saying I will do? Works wonders when you flip it on its head like that. Versus just saying something and not doing it. And that just gets painful. It gets painful for you and it gets painful for people around you. When you are constantly saying you're going to do something, you don't do it. It gets painful for you because you start building up a negative relationship with yourself. One that you already know you can't count on you. And it gets even worse for people around you because other people don't know you like you know yourself. And they bless them, believe you when you say you're going to do stuff. All right? Study leaders. Surround yourself with people that want you to win. When you create that accountability structure around you, guess what magic happens? Because you're not going to want to feel like doing it in two weeks from now, a month from now. You won't feel like making that you know, 175th call that you committed to making. But at that point, the people around you that have got your back are the ones that you want to be in communication with. Can you see that? Sam, listen, I'm going through a rough patch right now. Had a tough, tough night. Couldn't sleep much. I'm tired. I said I'd speak to another seven people today. I've spoken to two. My eyes are closing. I need to get fired up. <laughs> Let's have a chat. It's a talk of commitment doesn't take long to get fired up when you're committed to getting fired up, right? But on your own, when you're drowning in your stuff, it's tough. I like that. When you're drowning in your stuff, it's tough. Do what you just, just did there. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so we all go through this. Just get that, right? It's not like the people that are making it happen are invincible. Everyone goes through everything. Everyone goes through everything. Even extraordinary people go through ordinary moments and ordinary things, all right? But it's who they are in those times and what kind of support structure they've got around themselves, what kind of mechanisms they've got around themselves that will determine whether they overcome those times or Surrender to them. So as you're creating 2022, I want everyone to just, first of all, get yourself in an empowered state of mind. All right? So what do I mean? I want you to think of a time in your life when you were on top of it all, where life was a breeze. Everything was working. Everything was light, fun, enjoyable. Like you couldn't wait. Think of a time in your life where you couldn't wait. What did that feel like? It's like nothing could go wrong. Everything was just like clockwork. Boom, 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 boom. You were in your flow. Think of that time. 
think of a couple of times when you've been in that space where life is just magical. And I want you to capture those feelings. What did it feel like when you were in that state? When you were going through those times in life, what did you feel like? Grab those feelings, write them down. How did you feel? What were the experiences, the emotions that you're experiencing when you're in that state of mind? And notice the clue in the words, state of mind. All starts here. The state of your mind determines the feelings you churn out. We're just an operating mechanism, all right? We are just an operating mechanism. Most people just haven't studied the operating manual. As you think, so shall you become. The clues are all around us, right? It's there, but we don't get it. Once you get this stuff, you can actually control your emotions. Imagine being able to con control your emotions 95% of the time. Wouldn't that be phenomenal? Imagine you can spot yourself in a negative state and turn it around quickly. Not months later, not weeks later, not even days later. Sometimes in hours, sometimes in minutes, sometimes in seconds. Where you can shift gears from a negative state of mind to a empowering state of mind. From a disempowering state of mind to an empowering state of mind. These are conversations you have with yourself. The outside world has little impact on you when your inside world is solid. Write that one down. That's a Kalpesh Patel one. The outside world has little impact on you when your inside world is solid. So when you set goals, and this is where the challenge happens for people that set goals. We set them in a peak state of mind. We set goals, generally speaking, in an empowered state of mind, which is why when we set them, we're excited. We're like, wow, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to have this. I'm going to have that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go that. We do, we do all this amazing stuff, right? Because we're in an empowered state of mind. It's easy to set goals. This is where it all falls apart. We don't know how to maintain that state of mind to take the actions to follow through. That's all that happens. That's all that happens. We actually mean it. When we set the goals, when we decide this is what we're going to do, we actually mean it in that state of mind. We mean it. We're going to get fitter. We're going to get stronger. We're going to be better. We're going to do this. We're going to do We mean it in that moment but you don't know how to mean it again in the next moment and the next moment and the next moment and the next day and the next week and the next month. We don't know how to continue that state. It's just a science. All of this stuff, it boils down to some really simple sciences, right? The more you can maintain your state, the higher the likelihood of producing miracles. Study athletes, study successful entrepreneurs, study people that do spectacular things in life, and you'll see that these threads are common amongst all of them. Consistency in thinking as well. We talk about commitment and consistency. It shows up in your thinking too. What is your consistent way of thinking? What's the default mechanism? You can train your mind to think to your advantage versus your disadvantage. It takes work. But when you do this, you now impact the world rather than the world impacting you. You start happening to life instead of life happening to you. You move from this happened to me and that happened to me and da 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 to I happened to do this and I happened to be that and I happened to create that. You switch it, flip it. It's powerful stuff, right? That's why you see some people, they do the hard work, but they don't produce the result. It's not just all in the doing. 
doing is an important part of it, but who you are when you're doing it plays a much bigger role. Who you are when you're doing what you're doing plays a huge role. A lot of people are doing the same thing over and over again, trying to produce a different result. It's not how life works. It's got to be improved actions over time, not the same actions. But Kalpish, I'm making 100 calls a month. Yeah, but you're still making 100 lousy calls a month. It's not how it works. Make three or four lousy calls, get some coaching, improve the calls. Don't waste 100 calls a month without improving the quality of the calls. It's these little tweaks that you make along the way that make the massive difference. By the time you've made 15, 20 calls, you should have mastered the invitation if you get constant feedback. 30, 40, 50 calls at most to master the invitation call, for example. Shouldn't take more than that. If you're burning through more than 30, 40, 50 contacts, doing really horrible invites and getting really bad responses and reactions, and not getting some feedback and some coaching and mentoring around that, you are destroying your own opportunity. You're destroying your own business. So decide what you want. And a really easy measure for me is the ranks. All right? Ranks are a really nice, easy thing to focus on. Very specific numbers that they come with. You know exactly what the numbers are. So that, you know, measuring tools, the more specific they are, the easier it is for you to produce the results you want to produce. So decide the rank that you're going to crank out and what time frame you're going to do it in. What is your next rank? And what is the time frame for you to crank that rank out? Crank that rank. That's nice. Crank that rank. <laughs> crank the rank, man. Get it done. Does it give you some averages? Six to nine months, most of you have heard us say often enough, is the average V5 journey, all right? People that have got some good experience, some influence, some skills, six months. People that have got some experience maybe need to improve a little bit of the skills, maybe a little bit, you know, work needs to be done, nine months. But you know what the, 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 the common thread with those achievements in six to nine months is consistency, commitment, yeah. belief. They've got it all. And yes. they just keep on going. They're not part-time. Oh, no. I've got to go to work. I can't do it. I'm tired. I'm tired. But guess what? I'm here because I'm committed. And I'm consistent. And that's more important than go and have a lie down. But most people will choose to lie down because it's mm. the easier thing to do. So the, the key thread is the fact that six nine months even 10 12 months but it's consistent it's consistent and they've written their goals down their target they know what they've got to do. and every single day they're doing things that's going to get them towards that target and that goal every mm. single day that's important you mentioned, we've, you mentioned part-time keith part-time <laughs> nothing to do with the hours that's the attitude conversation. Okay. There are people that have a full time job, a full time family, and are still full time hyper. You get that? Someone here going to say, How, How's that possible? <laughs> I, mean, I work eight hours a day, you know, I've got three kids, and you know, I've got to do the dinner and do the shopping. How is it possible, Caps? Caps, how is it possible? <laughs> So really, yeah, there is so much inside of you, all of you, that you haven't tapped into yet. It's because you haven't applied the stuff that we're sharing with you here yet, right? When you start applying this stuff, just get structured around it. Like, you know, in the beginning, some of you just have to set alarms to disrupt whatever it is that you're doing and yeah. let your relationship to that alarm be one that is really empowering. Just know that every time that alarm goes off, you're building your future. And Caps, you know, here's, I mean, you know, you guys know how I feel about excess sleep, but you've got to take a look at your 24 hour day and think, what can I cut back on a little bit? 
gives me a bit more time. What can I change so that I can get that bit more time I can fit and do this and do it effectively? And that's what you, and when I first started, I said, right, what's pulling me 24 hours a day? What do I, what do I do that? And I cut out so much stuff. Everything was focused here, apart from eating and sleeping a couple of hours and doing the normal stuff. But other than that, you know, everything else was the business and yeah. anything else was just noise. And I just didn't want to do any of it. Nothing at all. Vacuum. Even even emptying the trash, vacuuming, even going and doing Uber runs, airport runs, you know, shopping trips, anything. It was just noise. I'm not doing it. Someone else has to do it. Uh, some of you can say, okay, well, that's that's fine for you, but you know, I have to. Well, you don't. <laughs> you don't. That's yeah. the bottom line. You choose, you choose to. Correct. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you know, I will do it again. You choose to. Absolutely. And that's it. Everything's a choice. But I knew that I had to disrupt my habits, my daily habits, my 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 uh, my routine. bad habits and routines for a period of time. And that period of time, I was prepared to make it six, eight, nine, ten months. I was prepared to make it as long as it took me to get to VIP five. I was willing to disrupt the noise and disrupt my routine in order to get the job done. Have you had that conversation with yourself? With yourselves? Have you? done that because as soon as you do that and then you start you know taking a look at your 24 hour clock and what you do in that time i'm sure some of you are still watching telly or watching the news i'm sure or watching netflix or doing so i i deserve some time off i'm working i've worked so hard i mean if you're having that conversation with yourselves then you've got to say to yourself well why why are you telling yourselves you need a little I, bit of time i, I off? often say until you're a V5, you can't afford to watch TV. <laughs> exactly. You can't afford to watch TV. It's too expensive. It is. When you get it to is. V5, you do what the hell you like. Yeah. Till then, you can't afford it. You can't afford it. It's a luxury. It's like, it's like, it's like you tend to like negotiate with yourselves. Why are you negotiating? It's a non-negotiable uh, journey this is. You've got to do it. That is it. There's no, oh, let me, you know, well, I'll, I'll get back to it. Next week, I'm going to take the week off and do what? Why would you do that? You're pushing your goals and targets and achievements out further by taking a whole week off. That week could have been the week that changed your entire uh, you know, uh, journey here with us if you put that week in. Just got to go again a little just bit like, more. It works just like the rebuys do. <laughs> exactly no. yes the more you get done earlier the more you reap the benefits later that science yes. is yes. age old <laughs> that's why we say it's a 90 day run sacrifice everything for a time yeah. for some yeah. of you it's 90 days for some it's 180 days for some of you it's a year i don't know what it's going to be our fastest v5 two months and nine days <laughs> it's never happened again highly unlikely it will happen again anywhere and that's absolutely not the norm when I ask you to do it in two months and nine days, we're saying be consistent and be and hit the average yeah. six, nine, nine months, months, 12 months. Sweet. Give yourself that. And you can do it and, and remove the excuses because I hear it all the time. It's either you do it or you don't. That's it. There's no in between. So, yeah, here, here's if so, and some people struggle to see into the future, right? So, a lot of people struggle with this, like they can't see beyond a certain point. So, I want to sure. help paint paint a picture of what 2022 could be like if you applied some of these things that we're saying. The difference between setting goals and not getting them because you didn't put all of these foundational things in place yep. and taking the actions, following through, getting your attitude right, getting the belief right, getting that consistency and commitment in place, getting accountability, getting that team around you of leaders that want you to win. Here's what's possible by the end of 2022. Number one, imagine if the stress of paying bills was a thing of the past. Like you knew that, you know, your bills would be covered because of the work you did eight months ago, nine months ago. How cool would that be? That one thing alone for me is worth it. Like, honestly, if, if I wanted to go back in time, some of you have uh, been out of studies for a while, right? And you got into the job circuit. Before you got your first job, 
I'm going to go with you were studying, most likely, right? You were studying. Imagine your last year of study, whether it was a school, college, or university. But in your last year, your teachers got honest with you. What if the teachers got honest with you and said, listen, everything we've taught you will keep you struggling and broke for 40 odd years. We'll give you just enough money to feel comfortable. Or you can go on one more year of learning. And that will open up possibilities that are never open up for people that don't do that one extra year. And that one extra year was this journey here. What if that was the case? Would you take it? It's a sliding doors moment, isn't it? Like if you knew, if you knew that 95% of people retire broke, most people don't know that. But if you knew that up front and in advance, that all you do is spend your whole life paying bills and that there was just a little slight right turn or a left turn that you could take that opened up a bunch of extra possibilities. That's all this does. It opens up a bunch of extra possibilities that are not available outside of this without taking massive risks. If you want to go and buy a McDonald's franchise, a couple of million dollars. Most people don't have that luxury. You could borrow that money. That's like jumping from the, from the, fire, from the frying pan into the fire, isn't it? It's more of the same. Huge risk. Yeah, this is the only space that's risk-free. And when I say risk-free, if 300 hate you is a risk, then you've got bigger problems that you, know, you might realize, right? If 300 hate you is a big amount for somebody, the problem, the cancer of financial pain has already hit. In the context of life, 300 USDT is not money. So it's the only environment where you can start for nothing and have unlimited possibilities based on everything we've just talked about. That's what you've got on your hands right here, right now. You could create 50 years worth of results in a couple of years. How about that? Maybe 100 years worth of results in a couple of years. That's the mindset you've got to understand. This is that moment in time. You can collapse time frames. You can produce results here at the speed with which you cannot produce them elsewhere. Not with the risk evaluation. Risk reward, when it comes to risk reward, what you can do here with hardly anything at the start and what you can create in the next 12, 18, 24 months can't do it anywhere else. You just, you can't. And we've proven that. The company has proven it over and over and over and over again. I say well in excess of 100 VIP fives now, Keith, would you say? 100? I think we're over 200. I think we're very close to 200. We are up there in numbers. I mean, it's just crazy. We set a goal. Does that? (laughs) I mean... We set a goal, I think, with summer for just to get to 100 VIP fives by December 31st. Yeah. We're close to 200. Maybe now. I mean, there is not a company on the planet that have produced those results with never almost 200 leaders at the top plan, of man. the plan. Calps, we've been in companies taking years to get to the top of the plan, and only a very few yeah. are it's there. The the same half a dozen people, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. And this one is it's crazy. Never seen anything like it in my entire business life. Powerful. And I'll say it again, because I can't resist the temptation. We haven't even, even started, started yet. We have. So you just got to decide. Just the beginning, the foundation has been just, that's all. We just dug the hole. <laughs> I don't even think the cement's gone in yet. <laughs> when, I, when I think about hyperverse and these guys' ability to step into spaces that are right time, right place, and 
just when you think that there could be nothing bigger than the crypto and blockchain space. And suddenly this comes along and they pivot straight into it at lightning speed. The minute it's mentioned, within months, we're in it. Come on. How many owners do you know that have the flexibility of mind, the depth of vision, the guts to make those kind of decisions and movements yeah. Yeah. in an instant, in a heartbeat? Yeah. yeah. Mark Zuckerberg says, Meta. And these guys say, Hyper. <laughs> Done. Simple as Ooh. that. And they positioned us in it. Mark yes. didn't do that. Mark didn't say, hey, guys, the metaverse is coming. You're all going to profit from it. No. He said, metaverse is coming. I'm, I'm, I'm going to profit from it. But really get this. These guys are creating opportunities that are never going to be available to ordinary people outside of this space. At the no, scale, we planet. haven't even talked about the V4s, the V3s, the V2s, the V1s, oh. which there are thousands, yeah, of, thousands of them, tens and of I, thousands. And, and I always say V3 is the top of the plan here. It is. In every other MLM company that I've ever seen, V3 puts you at the top of the plan. Absolutely. V3. It's not even a. It's not like honestly, if you get focused, that's that's not even something. It's like you can do that like that. V3, 90 days. 120 days. 200 days if you want to take your time about it. Like six months, wrap it up, V3. Where we're saying the average V5 is six to nine months. I'm saying within six months, commit to getting V3 if you're not there yet. Wrap up V3 within six months or less. That's the top that of the be, plan in any other that company. Be, that should be base camp, first base. That's it. Let's get to, to, to V3. That should be it. Yeah. Because because it's a bit of a climb from three to four, four to five. Yeah. You know that. It's You're going to have to go really again. Yeah, you have to go again. Work. You have to reset and refocus. And it has to come from within now because life can be great at V3. And yeah. I'm sure there's V3s three, on here. And life is great. It's good. But what's going to push you again? What's yeah. going to make you go, i got to get to the summit? That's internal. That's inside you. That's what drives you every single day. V3 will set you up very, very nicely. Thank you very much. Like I say, any other company, that's the top of the plan position right there. We know that. Yeah. So just <laughs> get that one wrapped up, right? Yeah. We've got V2s that are smiling every single day, especially on the fourth of the month. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> that accommodates every range of uh, goal that you might have for yourself right yeah so again when it comes to goal setting and goal getting i often say you want to be connected to the goal if you're not connected to the outcome then it becomes a pipe dream the difference between dreams and pipe dreams is that one is connected to you and the other one's not it's disconnected so when you see somebody sitting in a pub on a Friday night talking about Ferraris and fancy homes, they are full of crap because people that want to drive Ferraris and live in fancy homes are not sitting there getting pissed on a Friday night every week in a pub. <laughs> Don't find them. They're too busy making the other stuff happen, right? Yeah. So that's called pipe dreams. Everyone likes to talk a good talk. Everyone loves to talk a good talk, right? This isn't about talking a good talk. It's about walking the walk. So that's where it's got to be connected to you. So if you really wanted a Ferrari, you wouldn't be in the pub, right? So that's what people just what people say. It's what's expected. Oh, yeah, of course, everyone wants a Ferrari and wants to live in a mansion. Yeah, yeah, yawn, 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 boring, boring, boring. It's just what people say. What do you really want? Here's what I found what people really want. They want to be debt-free. That's what they really want. They want to be stress-free. That's what people really want, stress-free. That stuff doesn't take as much as you might think it does, right? So apply yourself till you get the real stuff done. Here's how goals work. When you achieve those initial goals and you get to a point where you can wake up in the morning stress-free, now you have the strength to do more. You also want to pass the gift on to others. When you experience the feeling, when you taste freedom for the first time, you can't help but get excited about it. You can't help get passionate about it. You can't help but share about it with others. It's natural. 
So the, the rest of the progress gets really easy. It actually yeah, it gets easier yeah, it does. as you start solving your own problems, right? So solve your problems first. Identify what are your problems, what are your challenges right now, what are the areas of your life that this could solve for you and solve it. Your first goal has got to be real like that. That's real. It's real and it's specific to you. Solve that stuff first. Then you can start getting into creative mode. Creative mode means beyond you. Get beyond yourself. Get yourself out the way. Then you can really start creating magic. Start thinking beyond you, right? Feeding yourself, smart thing, responsible thing to do. Sort yourself out first. Even in the airplanes, they'll tell you, put your own mask on first, right? Let the kids suffocate for a while. <laughs> Get your own mask on. Then you can help others. The person in front of you, behind you, beside you. Now you're of, that, you're of use beyond yourself. You're of value in the world. So sort yourself out first and boom, then start blessing others. You've now got the story. You've created your own story. This is where I was. Here's where I'm now. Who else can I help get there? The toys and all the other stuff, leave that for later. That's, you know, whether that's something you want to do or not, you might even find it does nothing for you. All right? The real stuff is where you can bless it forward. So get very clear about what you want. And it's often not the stuff that you think you want. Yeah? That's just society programming stuff into your head, what you think you want. What you actually want is often something very different. So what do you want? And then create that. And then start giving yourself a higher purpose beyond yourself. That's how you're going to get goals, when you're emotionally attached to them, connected to them from the inside. That's when you wake up earlier, sleep later, and you can't, like sleep gets in the way of your life. Food gets in the way of your life. Like you, you, These are things you just have to do to survive, but you can't wait to get back onto your mission, your path, your purpose, your passion. It gets fun when you start doing all of that, right? You want to see the messages I get every single day in my WhatsApp. Moments of tears throughout the day. We just well up and you go, wow. Just wow. That's who you can be for others. Making a difference. So, goodness, we've done a good old session there, Keith. We did. <laughs> <laughs> to start of the year. <laughs> it's Here important we today. It important. is an important day. We, yeah, Very I mean, important day. Yeah, it's, uh, and, I, and, and I just, I loved the fact that the first fell on leadership for me. Wasn't it great? Yeah, that was magical, right? So, yeah, it's very a, magical. Yeah. It's a powerful day for you if you want it to be. You decide how you use this conversation today is all in your hands, right? Every single person on this Zoom and on the overflow link, every person that's experiencing that, and anyone that watches the recording, make sure that anyone that in your team that didn't make it today, make sure they watch this recording. Because what that is going to do for you, everything that happens through this for you, you can duplicate through your teams. Multiply, it's a multiplier effect, all right? So you want to make sure that all of your team are focused, in sync, on point, clear. Get clear with your teams. What are they going to do this year? What impact is going to have on their life? How are they going to use this vehicle to flip it around, turn it around, whatever area of their life that they want to turn around? and then support them in doing it. You become that support group, become that sphere of influence, the place, the safe place, where if they're going through a tough moment, they can come to you and get the guidance, get the support, get the energy, the vibe, the frequency, tune up, whatever that might be. Start creating your own little bubbles of uh, you know, successful thinking mind masterminds, small groups of people that get together on a regular basis. I recommend at least once a week Get together in a bubble with your people, with your front line, in your team, in those early stages, in those early days. Weekly sessions with your whole team if you want. Eventually, that will grow too big. Then it will be weekly sessions just with your front line. 
And All perhaps right. it's important that it has to be positive, yeah. you know, leaders around you. This is not a pity party, you know, uh, a, a club where you sing Kumbaya and you're moaning about what's <laughs> going on. It it has to be around. Po- I don't have anyone around me that comes up with negative stuff. I just I just don't even listen to them. I move away from them. They're toxic. Well, the Telegram group for that. <laughs> you can, yeah, point. But you you guys got you know you you got to hang around the positive individuals, the can doers, the ones that say yes, we can do this. Let's do this, and set a plan. These are the guys you need to be working with. You know, um, you're going to go into battle. You need to have your generals. Not one general saying, we're going to lose. <laughs> no point. <laughs> you know, uh, count me out. <laughs> have the, the admiral of the fleet, count me out. We're losing this war. No, you're not. Get the right people around you because every day we go into battle and you want to bring everyone with you. Everyone has to be winning this war with you but they have to have that belief the same as yours. Otherwise they'll take you down. They'll take you out. Yeah, they will. They will. Negativity spreads faster. Oh, so easy. Yeah. So easy, Cal. Be mindful of negativity. It's so easy to get caught up in it all and start saying, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. Why? (laughs) You are different. You are different. It's so easy to get caught up in. For example, somebody says, I can't log in. Guess what? I can't log in either. I couldn't log in last night, and then I yeah, said, I could, I could I easily said, jump into the swimming pool with them and go, me, 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 me. System yeah, error. I thought, temptation. okay, system error. It'll come back. Yeah. Uh, six o'clock, I tried again. It was back. Boom. You're in, right? Great. But I knew it was going to come back anyway. Yeah. No pity party. Got, no looking All these for... messages. Sister, what's going on? I, I, you know, I glanced at Telegram. What's going on? You know, hey, listen, life jackets are being handed out already. <laughs> they're ready let's go i said don't worry in my mind it'll come back yeah, something's insane, obviously isn't it? no so maybe yeah, it's been over- that, overloaded because of new year i don't know whatever it was <laughs> but guess what matter. six o'clock i logged back in boom looking yeah. great so getting that team around you really really important get that team around you that has got your back all right and make sure yeah. you've got this Make sure you've got this. When you create that, whether it's two of you, three of you, five of you, or 10 of you, create it and create it quickly. And the, the quicker you get that group, that nucleus sorted out, watch the magic that starts to happen in the world around you. Because in unity, you'll produce so much more than you will ever will on your own, always, guaranteed every time. So we've got a few people with their hands up. Shall we uh, dare to venture into the... Yeah, I think we will. Well, I'm, going to end, I'm going to end the recording now, and then we can just take the uh, testimonials and the questions. And awesome. you know, I, I see there's a couple of questions. The 90 day game plan. Uh, I think we covered a lot days. of that stuff. Yeah, but uh, I mean, yeah, the, the was... 90 days. Yeah, re- really, it's everything that we've always talked about. 90 days is really easy. Speak to a hundred people yes. in 90 days. If you get 100, so you might need to speak to a few more, get 100 people on the Zoom in the next 90 days That's a good and everything one. else will speak for itself. That's There's nothing a good else one. to explain. That's a yeah. good one. If you want get a really a... simple 90-day plan, get 100 people onto the Zoom presentations in the next 90 days. No Thank excuse, you. no story. That's an easy one, isn't it, Calps? That's an easy thing to measure. Yeah. yeah? No, we don't want to sort of micromanage it. Okay, at eight o'clock in the morning, I've got to make a phone call. Uh, I've got a window between ten and twelve. I could make three calls. No, you decide as you as as you've just said, Calps. One hundred guests on Zooms in the next ninety days. I guarantee you, you will have launched your uh, business easily. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. done deal. Well on your way. Well and truly on your way. That's that's a hundred people personally not through your contacts and their contacts and team building, that's separate activity. You commit to 100 people directly through you watching the Zoom in the next 90 days and teach that to every single one that comes on board with you to do the same in their first 90 days. And then you've got that 90-day conveyor belt going on throughout the whole year and watch what you produce in 2022. I I know you too well. I I bet you are on another 90 day run because I am I I bet you are on another 90 day run because I've got all these contacts and connections I've met I can you know uh, follow up now and I'm on a 90 day plan 
do it all over again. Yeah. I'm starting again from scratch. That's that's me. The uh, reset the clock. I'm yeah. starting. I'm going VIP five all over again with Absolutely. brand new legs. And and you know what? For me, that's leadership. When you do something, not because you have to, yeah. but because you can and you want to. That's it. That's leading. Change by lives. Heart. Every day, yeah. I want to go out and change lives. I want to engage with people. Let's see if I can help someone. Exactly. And that should be your goal every day to go out and meet people and see who you can help. And get them looking at this. Get them on a Zoom it. and start to engage them, find out a little bit about them. And guess what? They could become a friend for life. Yeah, if you change their life, friends. they'll be a friend for life. Yeah. Most of my best friends on the planet are through this beautiful industry. Isn't it great? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And life. I've got tons. People can't believe how many friends I've got. And they're real friends. Like real, you know, I can show up and I can rock up at their house and stay there. People normally have maybe a couple of people like that on the planet. Yeah. We've got tons. That's this industry for you. Because we connect on a higher level here. This industry connects us on a higher level. Powerful Ooh, relationships as well, Cap. Powerful relationships. Do or Bird. die relationships. Yeah, do or die. That's the one. For sure. Ride or but, die. Okay, let's, let's, let's uh, hit the recording. And uh, then we will then awesome. pretty much wind up. The call yeah, time. let's kick off with Dr. K. How are we doing, buddy? Dr. K. Happy New Year to you, sir. Is he yeah, there? If you want to speak, your video needs to be on. Yes, hey, here sir. he is. There he is. He's, he's with us. Here you are, sir. Awesome, hey. awesome, awesome. What a new year to start. This is the third year, guys. We are going into <laughs> this amazing advanced community. I remember that the first leadership we did was just Keith and I. <laughs> we didn't have anybody. And how many times we did that? Consistency. We always kept going. Keith kept coming, coming, and I'm coming. And, and then we bring all these wonderful people. Calp, I remember when Keith told me I, he has you. And I said, when is he coming? And I said, he's doing his due diligence. I said, what due diligence? It's enough you. Anyway, so he took it. And look where we are. How exciting to have you, Kalpesh. You don't know how influencer you are to all of us. I mean, Keith did the work and he did it all. And we then take it over and carry it forward. Guys, in MLM, I've been in it long time. In the blockchain, I've been in when Bitcoin I bought at 14 cents. So you know my experience. And what Keith was telling you, uh, we were in a company, three-letter word company, <laughs> and some of the leaders are here on the call, believe it or not. It was so big. We thought we are so big in 10 years or 15 years, Keith, right? Yes, absolutely, and, yeah. Yeah, and look where we are in just two years, guys. It's mm -hmm. incredible. What Kate Kalp said about VIP3, that's when the fun starts. Mm -hmm. That's really where it is. And Keith, thank you. After eight months challenge in my hospital bed, and I came back, as of last week, I made it to VIP3. So <laughs> I was waiting for you to announce that, Dr. K. I'm sure it's lined up for the for yeah. announcement this today, the first of the year. Oh. But congratulations, Thank considering you. you had eight months out with Thank serious uh, health issues yeah. and uh, you've been you given another I chance. I cannot oh. thank you enough on all the prayers. I'm a miracle here, guys. And I'm here for all of you and everybody in the future. Anytime I can do whatever I can, that's what I want. I want to help more people get healthier and wealthier. I experience both. And I can help you with all. And uh, my God, the energy, the feeling, when I see all this success, all these wonderful people in life, you have to rub shoulders with successful people. Just like Keith said, we don't have time or any place for anything negative. Just leave it alone, turn around. We have 7 billion people, guys. Imagine 10% of those here 
We don't have even 10% of those. Just think what's gonna happen to all of us, guys. This is an amazing opportunity. Ryan Chu and his boys did a marvelous job to bring us to here, to bring us something that we are really, really um, proud of to bring it. Life, I mean, remember, in this business, it's all about uh, vision, belief. Kalp is right. You have to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, how do you expect others to believe you? It has to start with you. And it's all about consistency, persistency, and duplication. Look at Keith, what he duplicated himself with all of us. If he didn't do that, you will never grow. Duplication is the key word. I learned that over the years from all the leaders. Trust me, I went through ups and downs, but I am here for the long haul. Opportunity like this come once in a lifetime. There is nothing even close to what this is doing and will do. We just started. We are in the embryonic stage. We haven't yet begun, guys. <laughs> this is amazing. So I cannot thank you, all of you, and wish you all a happy new year. And Cal, you are in Dubai, my country. We say, I'm Saeed. You need to learn that. Happy New Year, Saeed. tell everybody in the next seven <laughs> days. I'm Very Saeed good. Habibi. Thank I'm you, guys. Saeed Habibi. Thank Very you, good. Dr. Thank K. You. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> I'm Saeed Habibi. <laughs> All right. Pauline. Hey, Pauline. How are we doing? Po uh, can you hear me? Oh, hello. We can. Oh, I'm Pauline from the German team. Hey. hey Happy welcome. New How Year you? to you all. Happy New Year. Yeah, you know, I've always tried to. Uh, well, I've, I've been on the, the your program several uh, several times, but I'm usually very quiet, and sometimes I'm too late to get on. You know, so I make sure I get on much earlier. So here I am, and in good is noise, yeah. <laughs> so I have something. I have something. I've got to sing a song uh, to to welcome you all in this new year. Okay, now here we go. So this is New Year, we've come so far, an old year behind us, a new one has begun, a very happy new year, thank God for hyperverse. I wish you all success throughout the year. A very happy new year, dear friends and family. Let's hope it's a good year without any tears. Let's hope it's a good year without any tears. Oh, bravo, Happy bravo. Happy New Year to you all. Okay? Thank you for doing that. And uh, oh, thank wow. you very, thank you all, very, Keith, uh, thank you very much, and Carl Pesch for your training and your motivation. Yeah, and uh, I've been in the program now a long time. <laughs> I won't say how long, but um, I think this month I'll get my first star, which is a nice feeling. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, but let's wait and see. All right. Thank you very much for Thank hyper. You. And one more thing. Whatever happened to Jaden? Is he still in the company or did he move, did he move on? He's still oh, there. Yeah. Thank yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. He thank has great training. energy. Thank yeah, you. he's thank great. You. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Elisa. Hey, hey. I'm also just mindful of time. I want to make the most of it. There's a lot of hands up, so I'm going to do my uh, do my maneuver. Bring out the magic clock, and 90 seconds starts now. Go for it, Lisa. 
Hey. I've, been told, I've been told by my upline that I need to keep it short, sharp, brief and positive. So um, here we go. Um, you spoke about belief in, in self. Um, that was fundamental. Um, you also mentioned about three things that I'm going to commit to. And one of the things that I said I was going to commit to, you brought up later in the what to do in 90 days, which is invite people to presentations and follow up. So that's what I'm going to do. One thing. Second thing is self-development to build on my self-belief, which I have quite a lot of anyway, but I'm going to build up more. And the third is to, um, yeah, self-development and learn from the academy um, so that I can become familiar with the system over and out. Love it. Thank you. Look at that. Perfect. And I'm just going to uh, add a little bit to that. What a great goal right there. Oh, I think, uh, let me just stop that. There Sorry, Cal, so I'm back again. That's right. Yep. Yeah, I just realized. <laughs> um, let's get Internet you problems are there, but it doesn't stop me from getting back in. <laughs> unstoppable. Unstoppable. There you go. Um, yeah, I was just going to add that uh, what you can add to your first 90 days as well, just to really cement in that result, 100 exposures in 90 days, but also to add leverage. Like if you really want to take your, uh, what do I call it? If you want to increase the odds of outstanding results at lightning speed, 90 events in 90 days. Show up to 90 events in 90 days, whether they are your team huddles on a weekly basis, this leadership training, a technical training, and you know a presentation a day, whatever. Work out that in the next 90 days, you are plugged in separate events 90 times. All right? That, you know, the average of one a day will definitely uh, maximize the odds. Shifa, your 90 seconds starts now. Hey, Shifa. Beautiful. Hey, Keith. Hey, hey, Kokesh. Hey. Thank you so much for all that you do. Love you, love you, love you to all our community. Happy New Year. Thank you for the beautiful song, Pauline. And congratulations, Dr. K. And hey, Latanya, it's good to see you. Uh, and, and everyone, it's just so wonderful to be here. Um, have fun and enjoy the journey. That is what I'm getting. I get out of this and the, and that 90 days when you, the first thing you said, you know, what are we going to do? So I'm going to talk to 10 more people every single day. Damn. So that will, that will help me there. And that nugget that you just gave about the 90 uh, events, it's like, okay, let me call up my calendar, get it up on the wall and go ahead and schedule it in. And the mastermind piece with the positive energy people around us so that we can stay in the flow, stay in the flow and create the synchronicity amongst ourselves. Like that, that telepathy thing you and Keith got going on there, you know, he writes it and you say it. It's like amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of energy that we want to create on a team. Um, hey, Monsi and Alberto, it's so wonderful to see everyone. Uh, we've been kind of like out of touch. Love you all. I'm so excited about what the year will bring what we're going to make of it thank you so much have a beautiful and wonderful day god bless thank you thank you, thank you. you know Kels, it's like it's like building it's like having building your dream team yes you know you don't want any negativity in that dream team. you want to win games you want to win you know battles you want to win wars but you, you've got to have that dream team you don't want any weak links in that dream team you want to win the gold medal you've got to have it with that dream team Absolutely, hundred percent makes it so much more worthwhile as well. Oh, it? yes, <laughs> Alberto, your ninety seconds starts now. Uh, first of all, happy New Year, all, and uh, thank you very much for doing the, um, the leadership on the first of the year. Um, fortunately, my wife cannot be with us; she's just in hospital. Um, oh. I think she, they're going to have to do an operation on her again. And um, but anyway, that's good to start of the year. What can I say? But um, yeah, I, I needed to I needed to plug in today, so I'm glad I actually um, I stayed behind when I didn't have a choice. You cannot actually go to you cannot go with anybody to hospital nowadays. But yeah, she's um, she's well looked in there anyway. And um, 
I needed to be here today because yeah, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to rumble. I'm ready to start the presentations again in Spanish. And um, I know I keep going on about it, but it's, it's just something that when you taste it, you cannot let it go. Hmm. And I'm I'm just eager to to deliver this to the Spanish speaking community and um, help them actually achieve their goals and their dreams. So that is the most important part, which this is helping me doing that. And um, I just want to pass on, as you said, it's not what it can do for myself, it's what I can actually do for others. And that's what I've been doing since I joined um, Hyperverse in July last year. So looking forward awesome. to hit the runs. So thank you very much again. Thank uh, you, buddy. Welcome everyone back again. And uh, yeah, hopefully from the third, see you every single day at 6.30. You bet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Alberto. I love to your wife and uh, healing prayers. Yes, yes. My prayers go out to her. Yeah. Roman, I see your video is not on, but uh, you can please unmute yourself. Uh, wait, wait. Should, should work now. Should work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, should there work. you are. Hey, hey, Ed. How you doing, buddy? Where are you? I can't I see you yet. Oh, so Roman. Excited to see you all. Oh. <laughs> Happy New <laughs> Year. Yeah. <laughs> Wish everybody a uh, happy new year, of course. Um, I really can tell you, I never, never in my entire life had a year before I was so excited to start with and this year. I can't wait, you know, I, I just, I'm, I'm on fire. I can't wait to, to start, you know. And I have to thank you uh, for this wonderful uh, meeting today. This is so inspiring. This is so firing up. You know, I love it. I also have a, a little song I heard from Pauline. I was surprised somebody from Germany is here. So I'm very excited about this. And I also have a song. I just call to say I love you. So. All I can say, Keys and Kalpesh, they're not explaining all this in theor theoretical. Uh, they, 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 they experience from the practice, you know, they were going through the hard times like myself. I, they know what they're talking about. All I can say, take all this serious. Every single point I can underline, I can confirm uh, Keys and Kalpesh, they're right. If, as long as you follow these rules bam then you're going to make it to the top this can become your your year you know yeah. um, maybe i can add then i'm finished uh two points more just short points okay <laughs> um all this what you heard from carpage from keys doesn't make any sense it won't make any difference to you until you really 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 want it you have to want it. If you don't want it, forget about it. That's what I can say, you know. That's number one. Play, maybe you also can write down the following sentence. Please write it down. It's really important. Write it down. The following sentence. I can do it. <laughs> and if, if you write it down, then you have it visually in front of you. And secondly, never, ever give up that's all from my side and thank you so much for this nice wonderful call it was so inspiring <laughs> let's rock Beautiful. this year this is so bright that's shiny cool. you know, something coming up so many things i love it <laughs> <laughs> roman Beautiful. happy thank new year to you and you've happy done a, a tremendous job an outstanding job uh, in the German marketplace and you are a great leader and you have great leadership skills and qualities but oh, not only that but you've created great leaders in that uh, marketplace we uh, we bow to you and your success my friend well done Brilliant. it has to be in your heart right please it has to be in your heart you have to live it and that's what we uh, have in common <laughs> it has to be okay, okay guys thank, thank you so much Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Wow, love it. VIP5 in Germany. Germany's first VIP5. Yes, Germany's first. Lucille, hey. Hey, Lucille. Your 90 seconds has started now. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year to everybody. I took so many notes, Caps and Keith. I tell you what, I 
I didn't know which which one to focus on. But one of the things that I really want to say is that for me, uh, last year I set a goal and and December the 25th, right before December the 25th, I reached my VP3. But what I look back wow. and say, I should have set a higher goal. Yes, I should have set a higher goal because at the time I really wasn't looking at the level. I was looking at the what the based upon the daily rewards was because I had just gotten started December the 3rd of 2021. I'm sorry, of 20. And so I shared with a friend of mine, I said, I was on one of the calls and I was hearing you know, what people were doing. And I was thinking in terms of that. And and I didn't know how it was going to happen. I really didn't. I just told her what I wanted to be doing on a daily basis. And I'm telling you, when that happened, I, I was like, oh, my God, why didn't I say it three times? <laughs> you know, so, you Lucille, know so- I listened to um, uh, some powerful uh, personal development uh, yesterday. And uh, Steve Harvey said that, you know, you shoot for the moon. Yeah, but if you fall short, you'll hit the stars. <laughs> and the biggest failure is that you set your goals too low and you hit yes. them. That's yes. a big disappointment for most people because you could have done more. So funny how you should come out. I listened to it yesterday and it was like, wow, yeah. shoot for the moon. And yeah. if you fail by a little bit, you'll hit the stars. You'll be up in the stars. But if you yeah. set your goals too low, you know, and you hit them, it's not the same feeling because you know you could have done a bit more. Well done. No, absolutely. Point. And that's what I'm sharing with my team now. I just said, set your goals. When I hear what they're, what they're saying, I said, don't be afraid to stretch yourself. Because if you if you just get close to it, you still feel like you've accomplished something. And the last thing I want to say, Caps, is that you the, the nugget that I think I'm going to take home with me and really implement it and apply is, is um, creating, you said something about the results, creating within enough results within 12 months that will, you know, last a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? For my family, I'm thinking about them. So that's what I'm focusing on yet to collapse in time because I'm a baby boomer and I know most of my family members are trying to accomplish certain things. So that nugget is just really, really super uh, exciting. And the last thing is that I am going to eliminate my favorite TV show until I hit VP. Or so <laughs> you have a favorite vi- oh no yes, you should I have do. set a higher goal then you would definitely stop watching your favorite tv show <laughs> yes that's right <laughs> love it thank well, you guys so honest. much you see, love you. You're honest. Awesome, man. Favorite yes, TV. I am. probably on netflix they got so much content on them not, not on netflix up. it is okay. not it's a, it's a great okay. show but i I'm, I'm gonna eliminate because it's something that i enjoy so I'm going to eliminate yeah. that because there's a, there's a consequence if I don't reach my goals. So, and 90 get days yourself, no, Get yourself no uncomfortable. Time get yourself uncomfortable. <laughs> there you go. Right. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Latanya, hey, hey. Go ahead. And I'm hello, really hello. Happy New hello. Year to all. Great to Happy see New you Year guys. To you. I have missed your faces. Um, Shifa, thank you for your shout out. I've missed your face. I have accomplished um, two of my resolutions. I stopped using that word a while ago. It's, it was a plan. One was to bring in the new year praising the Lord. And I did that last night. So I'm thankful for that. I'm grateful for God who get, put this opportunity before me. Grateful to Miss Bess, who was my host and invited me into this community that I now love so much. Calpas, you're amazing. The way you just spew out this wisdom and knowledge with, that's unscripted is inspirational. It's really amazing to watch that happen. Keith, I'm with you. Man, I was like so anxious. I was signed on 45 minutes before waiting for you guys to come on because I had to be here the first day of this year. This okay. is a new year. The past is gone. I'm looking forward. I'm going to do the things that you have talked about. I already have made my word for 2022 consistency. Mm -hmm. So that's part of your ABCs, which I love. I have an attitude of gratitude. I've had that for a long year, a lot of years. That's accomplished. I also, though, have a new belief to me equals faith. And while you were talking, God gave me this for faith, finding amazing inspiration to heal. And heal means 
help everyone attain loving kindness. Where would our world be today if we could all have loving kindness as the acts that we do every day? We would have no wars. We would have no poverty. So that's where my mindset is. And I like that you said, concentrate on your mind. And I add set to it because we need to set our mind Mm -hmm. to a new place this year. And that's what I'm working on. And um, the commitment and the consistency going together, that's super powerful. I'm going to work on myself and I'm going to work on helping other people attain what their, their goals need to be. Thank you um, for the beautiful song, Pauline. That was amazing to start the new year off with. And Roman, your energy is infectious. Alberto, you are still one of my heroes in the community, and I will be praying for Monsi. And I am so grateful to have this opportunity to speak to you guys. I love you all. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Beautiful. Love it. Look at that. Lots of golden nuggets right there. Bev? Hey, Bev. Go ahead. Good morning. Well, good morning here. Happy New Year. I just have Happy to say, too. I appreciate you guys so much. And um, I, many years ago, read Think and Grow Rich and started my affirmations. One of my affirmations was to help people and also to find a business that would help me to be able to be stress-free. Um And so I, in my other business, which is not stress-free, I had set a goal the last three years, $500,000. That's what I wanted to hit. Well, I know I don't have all that money, but with my hyper fund and then my other business, I finally hit that goal after years and years. And so I'm super excited about that. And um, just wanted you to know too, is when you guys talked about gratitude, because I had some stressful problems with some of my staff yesterday and at two, two o'clock this morning, I could not sleep anymore because I was stressed out and reminder of gratitude. So I started being grateful that I have them because right now it's been a little bit hard to hire and so grateful to have them. And it helped where I could go back to sleep. It's just that switch because normally I would have just stressed all night long. And so wow. loved what you guys said about what are the stresses of my life and what do I want? Um, awesome. You guys just have so many amazing nuggets and um, I appreciate this business so much. It really is something that's an amazing blessing that (laughs) I'm so sad that often I forget the gratitude part. Thank you. And um, thank you for being here no matter what. Have a great day. Oh, thank you you so much. Happy new year to you guys. Wow. Absolutely stunning. Love it. Happy new year. Susan. Susan, happy new year. Happy New Year, Keith and Kalpesh. Thank you so much. What an amazing day. Um, A perfect way to bring in the new year. And I get on 45 minutes early, too. There's no way. I don't want to be on the overflow. I want to (laughs) be with all of you so that because what I've learned from, it's about commitment. And yes, I'm on here. I think I've missed two Saturdays since July. Um, Since May, I'm sorry. And I'm on every technical training on Sunday. Every single one. Can I answer the question? Yes, I can answer every almost every single question. So I came onto this platform in May not knowing anything. And I've learned so much that I, on December 28th, I hit VIP1. So Woo! I'm real excited about that. And I, I am 59,000 HU away from VIP2. Oh, so, wow, I, look at that already. <laughs> wow, there that. you go. For me... For me, though, it's about having belief in me because so many people over the years have said, oh, you're going to fail. You're going to fail. Well, I'm not failing. I believe in me. I believe in this platform. I believe that I'm going to get to VIP five and that my friends who want this, they they look at me and say, oh, you hit VIP one. I don't want expert. I want VIP one. I want to do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And so when people say to me, I don't know how to get the, the rewards off technical training. I'm not going to be their teacher. You are all their teacher. And so that's what my upline has taught me is send them to technical training. I know how to do it. That's fantastic. You know what? Now you need to learn how to do it so you can teach other people. Mm -hmm. So 
I, I love this platform. I go through the holiday season usually in tears. It's a very hard time of year. But this year I got through with my hyper family. So thank you. Wow. Thank you. Happy New Year. Congratulations. Boom. Yeah, I love that. it. That's Especially beautiful. around the holidays hitting the rank. Isn't it great? It <laughs> just feels people. good. Okay. Love yes. that. Wow. Edna, how are we doing? Happy New Year. Hey, Edna. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you both and uh, to the Hyper family. And first of all, praise and glory to God for um, you know, our platform with Ryan Zoo and, of course, Hyperverse. I believe this is the most amazing, amazing platform and opportunity to all of us that mm. we need to be grateful for. I um, And also, I'd like to firstly congratulate my team that in Dubai and in um, what is it, in India and Pakistan for leveling up to expert and um, professional going for V2 the next couple of months. So you know, I'm really so grateful for that. And to my um, sponsors upline right, with Martin and Liz Thompson from Australia and, of course, um, David and Muppet. In the Philippines, they are so so amazingly supportive to um you know to, for everyone in in the team. I just also wanted to really amazingly um thank you, Kate and Kalpesh, because your inspiration, your action taking, um wisdom really you know serves as well. And for me, I've been in the network for a long time, so they are not new to me. I really appreciate, but. Calpes was talking about the 90-day plan because I I always set my goals in the 90 day, but in a way of gauges and all that. But I think it's a, such a simple way to do. Mm. And for Kate, well, you know, I'm sort of um lost track, but listening to him tonight regarding, you know, have to give up some things, you know, cut out the noise. And I mean, I set my goals. I never miss a leadership training. If I, uh, I think once I'd missed, but I was on the flow, okay, and technical training. But to also serve my, my team to tell them that, you know, you got to listen, you got to watch what, where the company is, you know, be, believe in yourself because nothing happened if you don't. So you mm-hmm. always have to work on yourself. And the point, you know, I think the community, I never seen any. Zoom call that everyone's smiling, you know, despite of the fact that every one of us had challenges. In fact, two days ago, I lost one of my grandson, and you know, it's 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 a distance, you know, family, but it's still so hurtful. But then, God has got His way for all of us. But mm. to be able to help them, you know, in time of need financially, it, I think it's a good blessing. So for everyone, we are going to have a very very big year. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Edna. Much love Great to with you as well. Now, before we jump uh, uh, into uh, Sousa, what we should do is, uh, I think, congratulate. I spoke to her yesterday. Elaine Henry has now hit VIP five. She was Ooh, 99.9, wow. 99.92% yesterday. And she said, "I'll get it done in the next few hours." And I've just read in the um, in the chat that she's VIP five as of today, the first wow. of. Isn't that great, Calp? So yeah, I told you another VIP five star. So Elaine, I'm not sure if you're on today. She's probably celebrating, or she probably was out That's celebrating amazing. last night. But wow. congratulations yet again, another vip5 out of the uk as well fantastic there and we i want to uh, and uh, uh i want to also congratulate mr clayton ford for building a fantastic team i think he's probably yeah. got about seven or eight or maybe nine vip5 stars now wow. in a short space of time 15 we months it. it's incredible absolutely amazing look at that seven or eight or nine v5s in less yeah. than half. Come on. <laughs> there's, dupli- there's duplication there, right there, Cal. Mm. So um, happy new year to you, beautiful. How are you? Year, Looking Sue. great. Wow. Oh, there you go. Can you unmute yourself? You'll be able to now. There you go. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Oh, happy new year. Oh, my happy goodness. New year. Yeah. 
Um, I just want to say awesome, awesome training today. Like it's so great that we've had this training on New Year's Day. I think <laughs> something that Bev said earlier, you know, like there's so much to be grateful for for 2021. Like, you know, that was the year that, you know, we really got um, the foundations in place you know, and there was a lot of growth, a lot of personal growth. And, you know, sitting here listening to you guys and, you know, what you've been sharing on today's leadership, it's now really about showing up for others. You know, it's not about showing up to learn what you need to do. It's about showing up for what you can do for other people. And, you know, I was thinking about um, about it today, like, you know, how many people do I really want to impact in my team? You know, um, you know, and I was thinking, like, I want, a hundred ranked members in my team this wow. you know by by my birthday in May this year like that's what I'm playing for it's all about taking people with me so um you know it was so great to have so many people here in Dubai really pumped um from my team um and you know I want to have a hundred people next year at the next event so I'm super excited and it's just really about you know I love what you said Capish around you know um or was it Keith you know 90 days show up for 90 events like boom you know yep. and I think the more you plug in the more you're learning you the more you're picking up from mentors um which just keeps you growing and then how you show up is how your people show up so I'm ready come on wow I'm so ready. <laughs> come on I love it <laughs> oh fantastic brilliant. thank you thank you thank, thank you. you so happy new year to you wow brilliant yeah. all right next up we have faith hi faith Go ahead and uh, unmute yourself. Hey, Faith. Uh, second starts now. Hey, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. From Sun under the I am blown away, you know, I'm so excited and I cannot end it now, you guys. You show up every day and you keep asking that I never am in my life. Heard, you know, I've been in the network marketing space, before, but what we get here, it's so looking incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So looking forward to having this January. Thank you. Definitely, I think it's a done deal because I'm rewrite. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, look who we got next. Boom. V5 in hey, another one. How are we? <laughs> happy New Year, Sharon. Oh, happy, happy New happy Year, guys. Year. Well, happy New Year to everybody. Blue in there with that, e uh, I hope you all had a wonderful time. Um, I actually made a pledge to myself to be off for a few days this Christmas, and I achieved it. <laughs> I actually achieved it. I I replied to the odd few messages, but I I really went for it. And you know what? I feel refreshed. And I was like, leadership meeting? Really? January the 1st? Are these guys crazy? I thought, do you know what? I'm going to jump on. Am I bloody glad I jumped on? Because now <laughs> you've just put a rocket up my backside. <laughs> Now, didn't we do leadership training on Christmas Day? I remember yeah, we did well, Christmas seven days ago. <laughs> yeah, well, I was like, well done, kudos to them guys, because well done. I know there's been a lot happening within the community, people saying this, saying that. Just chill out, guys, because it's all in hand. It is all in hand. But I, what I will say is I wasn't blessed to be on your um, last year's new year because I wasn't a part of it mm. I was still doing my due diligence but I remember I can resonate with what you were saying and what I will say is that um, you know if you want success in this in this incredible incredible company um, follow the main guys you know follow what you do plug in you know just keep doing what you're doing and uh, television yes yes I've watched some I've enjoyed it <laughs> Well, guess what? It turned the blinking thing off. <laughs> Don't even wind down on your favorite program because I cut it all dead. 
I oh. watched no TV, nothing for nine months, guys. Two oh. VIP five positions, almost at V2 on my third one. And do you know what? We are going for it. So this year, we are setting new challenges. Don't I want, I want exactly 10 VIP fives in my community in the next um, three to four months, um, without a doubt. And as Sue said, you know, hundreds of ranked members, which we have got now because it's crazy, right? The rankings are happening every single day. It's wow. insane. It's insane. <laughs> and what is happening here? I mean, how blessed are we? My life has transformed so much, guys, that I it's on recognizable i just want to say thank you to you <laughs> and kalpesh and keith well done on your leadership on your vision on your drive on your energy and you're still bloody here so that i'm thinking i was hoping maybe you know once you hit a rank guys we could all go to sleep couldn't we <laughs> oh no not these guys not these guys they're like no 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 we're going again so I'm like, oh, okay, I've got to go again. So that's, so I've just made a commitment. 2022 is going to be the again. biggest year yet. We are not resting. We are really, really going for it. And um, absolutely, we're going for it big time. We're going to really step up this year, guys. So um, I'm still had a wonderful time with my family because I have neglected them. I'm going to be very honest with you. I've got four children three grandbabies and another grandchild. So that's another one I've got to think about for the future. So I've got to build more, I've got to build more success to, to <laughs> help my family over the next, uh, as you said, 50 years of wealth we can have guys yeah. in 12 months with this community. So yeah. make a decision. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? So let's just make this shit happen, guys. Let's just do it. And thank you oh, again. And I'm back in business. It. Back in business. Great. Monday thank power. You, you, it's thank happening. You. Thank you. And Dubai was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Sharon. Love you. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Oh, there you are. The beautiful Dr. J. How are you? Happy Dr. New Year to you. Happy oh. New Year. Oh, oh my gosh. Give you us got your it. blessings today. Here it is. Wow. You know I got it. You know I got it. But first, I Come have on. to say, you know I have to say, everyone is getting on saying Happy New Year. The truth of the matter is, it is Hyper New Year. 20 plenty. Yes. Let's get it right. Let's just Hyper let's just, New Year. Right. Let's it. just get it straight. <laughs> let's just get all that other happy stuff and let's just be real. It is Hyper, Hyper New, Year. New Year. Okay. So right. now that we've we've set the precedent for 2022, <laughs> I want to tell you that Calpash, you and Keith were sending your vibes even here to the United States because last night at 11:57 p.m., this is what this is the message that I sent to my team. You're not going to believe this. It says well, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of another year that the Lord has kept us. As you consider these past 365 days, 525,000 minutes, ask, what have you learned? Ask, what have you accomplished? Ask, are you in the better place than you were last year? Ask if you are positioned for the days to come. Ask yourself, who have I helped to become a better person? Ask yourself, have you become a better person? The point is, it's time to do oh, intro hello, introspection of no and release. Oh, no. one second, one second, <laughs> hold on one second. Oh, um, just unmute yourself, Dr. J. Here we go. There, there we go. are. The point is to do some introspection and release the old and open yourself and your life for the new and the best that is heading your way. I said this to the team. Thank you for being an amazing team. Wow. Thank you for trusting again. Thank you for being the most amazing team. Say farewell to 2021 and embrace the joys of 2022. Share this new dimension that we are entering into and be sure for every day that we are blessed to share and see that we leave an indelible print in the minds and the hearts of those that are blessed, that we are blessed to know, those that we are blessed to love, and those that we are blessed to encounter. It is now time for us to live our blessed life. And so what I'm going to say to you all today that I learned on this, on this particular uh, uh, leadership training is this. I'm shifting my frequency. 
Mm. I've already, I, I know that as human beings, if you put your hand under a powerful scientific microscope, you will understand that you are a frequency. So my vibe, right, is, has about, is about to change. My frequency <laughs> has now risen. I'm telling you, if you're not on that level, then I'm going to challenge you to raise your frequency to meet me. But I'm also going to give you the tools to help join me, right? And then for those Same. that are above that, Keith, I'm going to say this to you and to Kelpesh. Tony Zig Ziglar always said, "Whenever I had a, you guys know in that other platform, Zig was very powerful in that in that platform, and he always says you can have everything in life that you want if you will help enough other people get what they want." Tony Robbins also said that when your should becomes a must. It's amazing what humans can do. So I'm going to challenge everybody in our hyper community to stop shooting all over yourselves and let's get it done. And an homage to you, uh, Kalpesh, is this. My theme for the next 90 days is prank the rank 90 day challenge. That's what everybody needs to leave this call with. This is the crank the rank 90 <laughs> day challenge. My name is Dr. J, the Crypto Queen with the 411. I have just given you all the information that you need to shift your frequency, <laughs> to move in, because we have already blasted off as of midnight last night. So welcome, Amen. Hyper New You in 2020. Whoa, I love that. I wish I was on your guys. team and got that message last <laughs> night. Right? Oh. <laughs> I'll wow. send it to you so you oh, can have it. True. But I sent that's it. True. I will I say, I, I love Hyper. Message. It has changed my life. I bless the Lord for everything that you're doing. But the frequency, it's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I, I committed for VIP 5 for December 31st, 2021. But Keith, you and I are going to get together because you're coming over here to North Carolina. And when you come, it's a wrap. It's already done deal. <laughs> I will say, I have to celebrate everybody. I do have to say this. Oh. In the month of December, we had so many people in our team rank up. I mean, we had a couple of VIP twos, we had a couple of pros, we had a VIP one. We had it was amazing in December. So thank you so much for everything. Wow. I love you guys. I'm looking forward to you guys doing this training on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. I love it. Thank love you. it. Love you. I bless wow. you. Thank you. I and and shout you. out to Bitcoin Beauty because she gave me the blueprint. I'm gonna just be real. Thank you. Love you guys. <laughs> That's just fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Hyper New Year, I love it. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. <laughs> Bruce, how are we doing, buddy? Hey, Brucey. Hi, guys. How can I follow that, man? <laughs> <laughs> Have you sent a text message out last night as well at midnight? <laughs> Whoa, amazing. Um, Happy New Year, everybody. Um, amazing. Happy New amazing. Year to you. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm just going to say, look, um, the amount of things that was said and in this leadership training i mean i've always said like i i've always had to pay quite a lot of money to come and get anything like this and i'm telling you now what you guys share every week is priceless because i can't put a money value on when i when i obviously i was in another mlm before this and i used to go on seminars and pay quite a few pounds to sit down and get some serious good training, good good leadership, but we had to pay for it. And I'm telling you now, from what we've got here, we, we join a platform, we get paid the next day, straight away, and we get trained, and we get leadership, and all that, all in one one thing, and and people and people still don't get it. Some people still don't get it. <laughs> and, I'm, and, and I'm wondering, am I going to get some defibrillators on them and <laughs> get, get waking up again? So the three things I'm, I'm, I'm uh, at the moment, I'm going to say my three things that I need to do and need to get on top of is my um, talk to more people. You know what? There's guys out there and people out there who are really really hungry for this and it's not fair for me to walk around walking past these people and not say nothing to them it would be that's insane. one way of looking at it bruce and it's I not know. fair i love that no. it's not fair on and them i, I, <laughs> I love I, that i should be stopping them and you know, just, I mean, 
Love there's, it. There's nothing. I love that. You're not going to lose anything by you know talking to somebody. That they'll be grateful. If they're not, they're not, and that's the way to look at it. So With that thinking, you really feel guilty when you meet people and you're out there and you don't share it. You should feel guilty. I love that thinking. Me That's too, brilliant. Man. That's a yeah. gem there. There you go. Beautiful. Ian, you're up next. Ian. 90 seconds starts now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Hyper New Year to you, my brothers. Happy New Year to you. I appreciate you guys as always from day one when I got on this leadership training. Um, I've been a miserable failure. Uh, back in April, when I got started, I said, okay, I think it was Brenda when I saw, you know, when Brenda hit that record, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to be Brenda, but I can get to V5 by December 31st. I failed, but I'm a hair from VIP one, a hair, 99 point whatever, right? Wow. So, and as you can see, I'm grinning. I'm happy. <laughs> Love it. I was talk, talking to a friend the other day and I said to her, in your mind, is it already a certainty that you're going to be a V a V five in 2022? And she's like, Oh yeah. And I said, yeah, me too. It's a certainty, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just a matter of how fast can we make it happen? Mm. And that is when I made that goal back in April, you know, there was that little bit of trepidation. Well, I don't know if I can, but I'm going to go for it. Me now it's just like, Oh my goodness. How can you not, <laughs> you know, I mean, this truly is amazing. I just want to say hello to the whole Hyper family here today. You guys are amazing. I've developed uh, incredible friendships with you guys um, this past year. Appreciate you all. Um, the three things that I'm going to work on. Um, my wife used to say that I, you know, I have a photographic memory. I don't, but I've got a pretty good memory. So I tend not to write things down. I've got my goals embedded in my head. They're with me every day, but there is power in writing it down, right? So I'm going to get better at that, better at my tracking. And I do track, but better at it, right? Um, to go on this 90-day run, I mean, that's what I've been doing. You know? So uh, just more of the same with more intensity. The other thing is I'm going to spend more time in the academy. I'm learning every day, mostly on YouTube. I've got people that I follow and watch and people post articles in the chat. And I, But in the academy, I really haven't dove in. That's a gold mine also. So I'm going to make a concerted effort, put it on my schedule as a regular daily activity Beautiful. to do something in the academy. And um, the other thing is just, yeah, just turn up the volume in talking to people inviting people like the gentleman just said you know it's not fair you know i truly feel like i'm giving people a gift when a member comes on board i don't care if it's another member on on my team that brings them in i look at it as their my responsibility their life and their future is in my hands so i'm making sure i'm getting them plugged in i tell even the passive members you need to get on leadership training because what you guys do, you covered it from A to Z, how to lead yourself. Because you cannot be a leader if you can't lead yourself. Turn off the noise, get focused, and take action. Yeah. So with that, thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank Everyone. you. Uh, awesome, thank, thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. All Big right. Point, Cecil. Cecil, how you doing, buddy? Buddy. Hey, 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 how y'all doing, everybody? Hyper happy new year. I love it, Dr. J. Um, uh, and, and we crank in the rank, you know. So, hey, look, I just had to get on here to say hello to everybody. Hyper happy new year to everybody. Uh, I'm excited, like always, to everybody, you know. But last night, you know, at 12, I, I was listening to Dr. J, too, with that 12 o'clock last night when I was saying happy new year to all the family and all my kids, everybody was calling. I was texting in my group saying get on leadership early you know i texted last night saying i knew leadership was gonna pack out early so i was telling everybody get on early i was like i said my alarm cut to like 8 30 about 9 9 15 I, I got on my phone and my computer like i'm making sure i get on here right so uh you know it's very important and i and it's the perfect day it's on new year's day 
the 2022 that we have leadership, you all. So wow. uh, we're starting it off right. And, and, and what I'm doing, uh, what I've been doing anyway, just sharing, 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 but I'm even sharing even more listening to this in a belief level. The belief, belief level got to gotta be high because when I was getting, I was getting a lot of them texts and, and, and messages and calls. I'm like, look, everything is good. Everything is going to be all right. Computer error system down. I said, they just doing some updates. And I was calm through the whole thing. You know why? Because my belief level, my belief, I know where we're going. I know where we're going and growing together as a family, hyper family community. When things happen, I know the 28th when people couldn't do withdrawals. I, the 28th, I was able to do my withdrawal. I said, everything is going to be all right. So <laughs> we just got to have them patience, keep on going, keep on growing and keep on believing and keep on achieving. NBC, Mr. Bitcoin C, so I'm out. God bless you all. Thank you, Keith, Kapesh, and everybody. Y'all have a wonderful year. And VP5 on the way, you all. Working hard for it, so God bless you all. Come on. Awesome. Energy, Come on, man. Dave. That's VP5 what we want. Right there. Big, awesome, big man. personality. Love Dave, it. that's what you want. You follow that 100%. guy. 100%. <laughs> Dawn, please unmute yourself. Dawn. Go ahead and hit that mute button. And again, I've sent you a couple of requests. You should have a pop-up on your screen. Looks like you some technical challenges. I'm going to go to uh, Sheila while you work that out. Hey, Sheila, how are we doing? Oh, she's Happy done it. New she's Year. Done it. Hyper New Dawn's Year to done you. It. Well, Sheila, no. Okay, Dawn, uh, we'll, uh, we'll jump in just after okay. Sheila. Sheila. Go for it. I am Hyper well. New Year to you. Hey. VIP5. Hyper New Year In today. the house, another one. <laughs> I just wanted to reiterate what you said. I I was not on your your last year's January one um, leadership because I didn't start till February one. But once I saw this platform, the belief that I had in it made me shift some things in my life so that I could focus on it. Right. And you said ninety days. He said get ninety a hundred people. I was I went back and I said oh I did sixty eight people in ninety days. Not you know. <laughs> Not planning for it because everybody, everyone's asking me, what did you do? What did you do? And all I did was I plugged in, I talked to as many people as I could, and I stayed consistent. And I've traveled, I'm with my family. And it's funny because you lose track of time when you're in hyper. And I, I booked my flight to leave. And then I realized, wait a minute, you booked your flight to leave during leadership. And so I was like, no, I cannot be traveling during leadership. And I changed my flight. And then last wow. night, I, I know you guys, I, I didn't, I barely slept because I'm, I'm coming down with something. And this morning, my sister was like, you need to go to the urgent care. And I'm like, not till after leadership. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Well, this there's commitment for you. Wow. Wow. Plugging in, being committed to you, to yourself, not to anyone else, but to you. Yeah. So I want everyone to know on this call. Even if you can't come to leadership, because we know sometimes, you know, Saturday, some people observe the Sabbath. Some people unfortunately have to work. But when you can't come to a live event, how many, how many times are you listening to the recordings? How many times are you plugging into it? Because you can use it as an excuse, right? Yes. But, then, but we made it possible where we have the recordings. So how many times are you plugging in? 5 a.m. Mm. in the morning for technical training doesn't work for you? Well, we have the recordings. So my goal is to, of course, do it again, VIV5 again, um, but also to, to, to learn how to be a better leader, to help mm. my team members get to where I, I've gotten, because that was my goal from the very beginning, because we had a bad year last year, and I just wanted to help people to overcome what they had, what they had been through the year before. Mm. So Susan, my girl Susan over there. She's so busy, Miss VIP One. I can't get a hold of her. Congratulations, Susan. She has taken Hyper and she's run with it. She is the, what's the word I want to use? Like she said, she mentioned her upline. It's me. Because what I love about her is that she has really duplicated. She's not waiting around for me to give her something. Okay. Beautiful. She duplicated what I've done and she's running with it and she's not waiting around. When she needs help, she might text me and I might get to her. And she's like, I figured it out. 
that's the kind of leaders we are looking for. Hundred you know, percent. Plug, plug in and don't wait. Don't base your success on somebody else's actions. You plug in and you do it for yourself. So I just Boom. wanted to share. I love that. Thank you so much. Powerful distinction right there. Thank you. Hang yeah. about for anybody. I love it. Beautiful. Dawn. We've hey, got Dawn. So good afternoon, morning to everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Every time I hear Dr. J and me, Sheila, I get re-motivated all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Those two are some amazing women, and I'm not even on their team. They don't even know me from a can of paint, and yet I love their energy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Infectious. Yes, I, I love it. I love that. I just, I love the energy that they have, and it's, and it's beautiful, and it's amazing. But um, anywho, Mr. Uh, Kaplish, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Okay, Kalpesh. Okay, Kalpesh. Well, Mr. Kaplish, thank you so much for today's leadership training. Um, took notes, and let me tell you, these, <laughs> this has motivated me even more. Like the questions that you told us to write down and ask ourselves, not just put yourself in like in the um I would they call it the, the the third person or whatever, but you literally asking yourself this question, like what am I going to do or what are you deciding to do or what is my three steps, the the three things that I want to do better this year in twenty twenty two, and that's amazing, and I like that. And Mr. Keith, I like the fact that you are challenging us to show up for 90 days for each event. Let me tell you right now. <laughs> I don't know if you remember me telling you um, our last um, last meeting, but I, I was not plugged in at all, and this is a good challenge. I love yeah. to challenge and some uh, challenges that I like be really challenging, but I like the challenges. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> yes. um, last thing, what is that audio that you guys play in the beginning? Whatever audio that is that you play in the beginning, it is amazing. Like it puts, I like it and I want it. <laughs> I need the audio because I listen to a lot of um different um. Um, meditation things off of YouTube, and I love it. I love it. I love it. And I want that audio. So, can I please have it? Like, where where do I find it? <laughs> Are you talking about the uh, five minute Art Williams? Just do it. That one. No the, music beforehand. No, melody the gladiator music. Oh, the theme yes. song is yes. my is my yes. is my is my it. it's my secret sauce. Some know oh, knows what it is. <laughs> Some yeah, know. Time, that's like, I promise you, like, I was on here for 45 minutes before. And then soon as the music stopped, I got kicked out. So I was upset because I got kicked out and I had to go to <laughs> overflow for possibly 10 minutes before I got back on the zone. <laughs> okay. It's one of my favorite movies. You probably see oh. it in the chat. It is Gladiator, and I thought that I, you know, the soundtrack is amazing, and I just think that it just it just really gets you in the right mood. It gets you focused, and I love that. And it has that soothing effect as well on you as well. Just yeah. before you go out and do some damage, <laughs> it just gets you ready. Right. Um, <laughs> you'll find it on Wonderful. YouTube. Yep, Gladiator. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> I just took the wrong person out. What happened there? Derek's here. Derek, how are you doing? Derek, how are you doing, buddy? Let me spotlight you, Kels. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, um, how are we doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear? Yep. Loud and clear, loud and clear yes. Clear, okay, guys, I mean, what can I say about the 90-day challenge? I mean, I'm, I'm proof of how it works, okay? I joined in May, and I, I went to work. 72 hours a week I was working. Um, and I and I promised myself to get one person in a week for twelve weeks. That's eighty four days. Eighty four days later, I was on 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 a good substantial uh, amount, and it allowed me to go full time into this. And uh, guys, so many people have risen in my team. I've, I've got guys popping everywhere. 
and uh, just to thank them all. I mean, this 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 last month of December, you know, they did close to half a million, and uh, that's a lot in sales. <laughs> so, and but you know, two thirds of the way to V four, and it's only taken seven months. I mean, I, I wow. think you guys laid the ground roof, the ground though. So you know, I just plug them into everything you're doing, plug them into the trainings. Plus, you know, Calpers, we do a seven-day mastermind program every yep. single day of the week. And we've been doing that from the very beginning, every single day at 5 a.m. UK time. So yep. uh, that's, that's helped a lot. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, to get to meet you, Calpers, the other day was fantastic. And, and to, to, I mean, who would have dreamed seven months ago I would have been, spent a month in Dubai? A month. <laughs> Imagine. I'm going off back to the UK uh, tomorrow, but, uh, you Amazing. know, it's been amazing. it really has. And uh, yeah. friends, people, and it's just that my life has completely changed. That's all I can say. Stunning. <laughs> and I love yeah. all the people yeah. in my team as well, and they've done well. And, you know, it's all about, again, what Zig Ziglar said, helping enough people get what they want, and you will automatically get what they want. Perfect. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Thank you so much, Derek. Beautifully said. Thank you. Thank you. Neil. How are you doing, champ? Good to see you. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you guys, too. Thank you. I love everybody in my hyper family and, and leadership, really, just being around you and, and feeling of your energy, your positivity, the, the vibe, you know, that changing that vibe. I love it. And, and so I wanted to just start off really quick by sharing my three things that I want to do. So show up. Like you mentioned, Kalpesh, and, and so I'm doing the 90 and 90. I'm going to show up every day for 90 days. Um, I, my second one is, along with Ian, I want to complete my training in the back office. I want, to, I want to really dig into my education. I'm really good at, like, I just forge ahead, and sometimes I don't do the education, right? Mm. And so I, I need to do that. I need to know everything. And I'm really looking, I'm excited about understanding the hyperverse and really getting into that. And, um, and then number three is, is 100 on in, on, in Zoom in 90 days. So personal that I've invited 100 in, in 90 days. And, you know, we had a rough, a rough December in my house. And, and I come on to leadership to get uplifted. And so what I want to share, it's not about, it's not, I'm, it's not sad. Um, but you guys bet my son. Um, I brought him on one of the leaderships, right? This is yes. Michael. He's, he, he, uh, on December 15th, he passed away. He, he got, he fell ill and he passed away. But look, look at that face. Look at that face. And he is my inspiration. He's thank you, Keith. Thank you. But he scattered sunshine everywhere. He went everywhere. He went, he, he, he lifted people. He, he inspired people. And, and I've been lost the past few weeks he was, he's a total, he was total care. I cared for him. And, um, and this morning as I'm seeing on leadership and, and I didn't want to share, I I'm really a personal person. I'd like to keep personal things here, but you're my family and you inspire me and Michael inspires me. And that now the time that I, that I don't have towards helping him now, because I helped him a lot every day. Now I'm saying, okay, he's, he's telling me, dad, help others, lift mm. others, just like I did. And so he's my inspiration to lift and, and hyperverse. I get lifted so much. And I love, I love this family. And I love sharing this opportunity because it's really freedom. It's really about freedom, freedom from whatever fear you may have, from whatever worries you may have, from whatever stress, mm. freedom for time, giving me time freedom and being able to do what I want to do. And I want to get beyond myself get outside of myself and be like my, my boy, Michael, and, and lift and scatter sunshine as I go along. And really, I think Hyperverse is the best way to do that. So thank you. I love you guys. Thank you, Keith and Calpesh, for being here every Saturday because I need it every Saturday. And wow. thank you to everybody else who shared. I love you. And you're so inspiring. And V5 is on the way. We're at V3. V5 is coming. And, and we're going to get there. So thank you. Sincere, sincere condolences and uh, you know 
we we talked about it then you showed up today and it's very difficult we can hear it in your voice we can hear it the pain but uh, you you have fond and happy memories of Michael. I do remember him on the call as well. And so um, we're your family and uh, and we feel your pain as well. But uh, our prayers are with you. Thank you. 100%. Thank you, Bill. And uh, thanks for showing up. Again, just for me, that is inspirational as well. You know, and yeah, like you say, you know, I, I, I often say this, that if you can understand the power of these events that, you know, there are times when you come along and somebody needs to hear you and there are other times wow. where you come along and you need to hear somebody. Correct. And I don't know how many people today you've impacted, but I know you've impacted yes. me uh, just in terms so of courage. Just, yeah. just you know, it's, it's beautiful. So thank you. Thank you, Bill. And I love you and thank really you. looking forward to just you know, getting through this tough part of the journey, as they say. And yeah, you've got us. We've got you. You've got us. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. You bet. Stefan, you're up next, buddy. Hello. Oops, sorry, sorry, guys. Hey. Okay, good. Hey, hi. Well, first of all, to all the community, hyper happy new year. This is going to be the greatest year, I think, for everybody uh, with all the new stuff that is, com that is coming. So uh, I'm from Montreal, Canada. I've been uh, in the community for now one year. I achieved VIP one, and this is because of you guys. And I have a full gratitude to you, Kalpesh, and Kate, and, and every other leader that is putting so much good material so we can achieve our goal. Thank you so much. I'm on the verge to get VIP2. Um, nice. Within a week, a week or two is going to be done. Wow. And, uh, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, this is all because of you guys. This is all because of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep doing this good work. And uh, for all the new people that are still on the Zoom right now, have faith. Believe in you and go for it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Love it. All right. Lulu, that's not Lulu there, is it? <laughs> I'm in Hi, uh, be. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Lulu. Hey, hey how, how are you? you? Very good. good. How are we doing? <laughs> yes, I am Lulu. Why not? Hyper New Year. <laughs> Love it. Hyper oh, New yes, Year to you, you too. <laughs> so I just made quick notes. I'll keep it uh, sweet. So, well, th obviously, thank you for the amazingness, as usual, can overemphasize. For me, what I got out of um, the whole thing last year, this year, where I'm going, a friend of mine who's in my team, Jason, he always tells me business before pleasure. And I realized that I've been playing around a little bit. So I'm actually ready to get busy now so you haven't been, been playing around have you lulu why <laughs> <laughs> well, why play around know, why play around now i'm sure you've been playing around before hyper <laughs> i mean you didn't stop oh, playing around ouch, ouch 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 okay what i mean was that i wasn't applying myself enough i um i got caught up in other people's antics and mm. it was new to me it was foreign I mean, people that I brought to the table who have been the best careers, making more money than, than they would ever see in their life, like got their knives out. So I got caught up in that and I realized, OK, these people are just playing games. They want to make money. It's all about the money. It's like, mm. OK, you know, that's cool. So for me, I set my targets, basically, and um, I realized my time is money. So I'm not letting anybody waste any of mine anymore. And I'm focusing on what is more important, making my money. And while I'm doing that, I'm helping other people realize their goals as well in making more money. So I'm all about community, my friends in music business, going to musicians, telling them you can do this and you know make the music, make the plays or produce whatever you want to do. So for me, that keeps me more motivated. And also some of the things you said today about who you surround yourself, I definitely want to change my landscape. I definitely, definitely want to change my, my landscape and disallow Megatron's instant block 
And I just want to say thank you again to you guys for this gift of um, life that keeps on giving because without it, really, uh, I don't know what I'll be doing right now. I'd probably be depressed somewhere sulking, but it's all good. To Hyper New Year and thank you for all the great uh, nuggets of wisdom that you continue to give us. And I just want to, you know, proceed in that vein. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Well done. Thank you. Well and uh, yep, great decision to uh, disconnect from the people that are dragging you down. Oh, that's Often the biggest easy one. Easy to get caught up in, right? Yeah, that's the easy one. All right. Kyrie. Kyrie, how are we doing, buddy? Doing fantastic. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, yeah. we can. <laughs> All right. Good, good, good. I'm, I'm paying myself a kind of quick because I'm picking up all these gems that you gentlemen have been knocking down. <laughs> uh, and first and foremost, I want to uh, definitely thank both of you for your, how you out, you're outpouring consistently, constantly into the community. And, um, you know, I often say that um, the Zooms were my rocky since the Zooms ain't been here. These calls are oxygen. And at the end of the day, I guess I'm really on schedule because when you confirm something for me, you said, uh, what was it, um, six, I think you said six to nine months on average. To VIP five, right? Now, mind you, I came on board January 28th of last year. I got started September 16th. I hit expert December 16th. And the following day, I put a goal out there to hit VIP five star um, June 16th, 2022. So that's a total of nine months. I think I'm on course. <laughs> well, <laughs> absolutely. absolutely yeah. I I'm so on course. And you know, at you know, just to, you know, you got this, what you guys been saying here. One thing was uh, hyperverse opens up a world of opportunities, and the risk versus reward we can do here, but we can't do that anywhere else. And those statements are so so true to the point where I am literally when I wake, you know, I get up to my rebuys and so forth, and um, I map out. Of course, you know, implementing what you guys said. Uh, because I'll also, oh, whoa, 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 before I forget, before, this is this is what I wanted to convey. Both of you, your testimonies, um, Keith, when you were in New Jersey a few weeks, months, or a few weeks back, months back, what have you, Remember. and you shared your testimony. You shared your testimony and that level of belief in building and not having what it took, you know, the amount to to fund your membership. And then um, and then I in Dubai, uh, Pesh, you shared, and I, I play, I, I watch it every day. You were eating and uh, you test them 20 months, just 20 months ago, you didn't have two nickels to rub together prior to coming on board here. And the difference in 20 months and 24 months where you guys are right now, like there's no other, um, I don't need no other confirmation. There's no, I mean, and, 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 I'm, and I'm ahead of you guys because I didn't, that wasn't my, that wasn't my testimony. <laughs> but but it's, 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 so, it's so exciting because we talk about social proof. Mm. You know, and then, you know, I'm in Brenda's lineage and, you know, what, where she's, you know, where she's come from and so forth. So, and, and, and I'll, and I'll just leave off with this. I've said it a few times, but what, what actually halted me from starting from January 28th, but starting on September was, you know, shiny, massive, shiny object syndrome. So I'm in a place of focus and shining up the gem that we have right here. And I'm looking forward to continue to shine, shine along with the rest of you. So this call is immense. Um, I, I got a ton of notes. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go through my notes after this call. But literally to sit there, you, you guys gave me so much confirmation. And I'm a numbers guy and a dates guy. So mm -hmm. starting on September 16th, hitting expert December 16th, then putting a goal out to hit VIP 5 by June 16th. 16 2022 that's literally nine months thank you thank you thank you thank you awesome appreciate it Harry. thank Beautiful. you Beautiful. happy Beautiful. to you Beautiful. you know i think cows um you know and I, it always it's always ringing in my mind when robin says um when a should becomes a must humans be human beings do extraordinary things and mm. i think we were at that point two years ago and yeah. this should had to be a must that was it there was nothing else and we we just got on with the business of making this thing work that was it 
everything became right, chopping part of the, the trees solution. down, man. Chopping the trees down. <laughs> That's right. Wow. <laughs> so that might be the difference. Yeah, for sure. The beautiful Cecilia. Hi. How are you? Hyper New Year to you. Yeah. Hi, hey, Hyper yeah. New Year, everybody. Oh, my God. I have to tell you the tenacity because I was, I tried to get on the call, of course. It was full. It was at a 1,000. So I was in overflow. And I'm typing chats in overflow, trying to encourage people, doing the ABCs and listening. And then it froze when you got to these two things you must write down. And I wrote down the first one. And then the second one, you froze. And I'm pressing refresh. And I'm trying to click on the stuff. And I'm like, damn it. So I keep trying to get back into the real Zoom. So every few seconds, I was hitting it, hitting it. And finally, I got in. But I have to say, uh, this year, it has to be a winner for us all. Because there's so much sadness going on. We are dealing with things and principalities that we do not, you know, know, or a lot of people don't realize exists. There's so much sadness going on in this community, and then there's so much joy. And I like some of the things that Kyle Pesh said. And when he said community, who we are in the community, and then come and unity. And we we build each other up. Because I'm telling you, on the 18th of December, I was on this call and I was distracted. I had some stuff going on in the house and I couldn't hear everything. But I went back and I rewatched the um, recording and I actually watched it a few times. Clayton is a beast. Like I didn't know what a gym he was. And then I listened to the testimonies and the questions from the community. And it helps every time. Um, I don't want to take too much time, but I want to say this. I'm thinking too small. Because I was, I just made expert on November 29th and I was like, well, I want to make pro and now I'm going to make B3 because that's a goal right now for a short term goal, right? Um, I have to think back to Romans 10 points when he said number three was think big. You have to really think big. So I'm going to start thinking VIP5 in 2022, but my short term goal is V3. Um, I'm going to have to lead with crank the rank, but um, it was something else that Cal said. This platform and the founders gave us an opportunity. They're creating opportunities that will never, ever be available to the outside population. That's something that we have that's so special that nobody else can take from us, that nobody else can offer. We have that. And I'm going to start leading conversations with that, like, hey, would you like to be part of an opportunity that will never be offered to others in the outside? Because everybody needs some kind of change in their life, whether it's community, whether it's finances, and of course, finances is a large thing. So um, I'm just going to build, stay um, focused, stick to the fire, come to these calls. I've been on them. I've presented and I, I did uh, apply to present again. So hopefully I'll get that um, and just, I'm praying for everybody in this group. You know, I'm going through stuff too. I just had my son committed again. And, you know, he suffers from paranoid schizophrenia and drug abuse. And I'm struggling with him. So it's a lot going on in a lot of our worlds. I just heard one of our biker friends just crashed last night and died. So we are going through stuff every single day. This really brings the joy out. So I appreciate this platform. I appreciate the community. Wow. Thank you for everything that you leaders do for us. It's just, it's helpful. Thank Praise you so much. You. And uh, nice. yeah, thanks for uh, showing up, even when it would be easy not to, right? That's big. Yeah. Really big. Well done. Thank you. Amazing. Look at that. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Where are we? We have Betty. Hey, please unmute yourself. Mute. Hello. Hey, hey. Hi. Happy New Year Hello. to everyone. Happy New Year. I How are you? So Happy New Year. Grateful to be on this uh, training. Uh, this is the first New Year uh, ever, the first day of New Year ever that you get so much guidance. And I mean, we all make plans for the New Year. How are we going to change and what are we going to do? But to get that step-by-step -step guidance on how to make that happen is just phenomenal. I am just so happy uh, and thankful for you, Calpesh, and 
and Keith. Um, I'm hoping my reason for coming on basically is a leadership meeting. And in order to be a leader, we have to be able to lead people, help people. And you all have laid out the plan for that to happen. I have a couple of team members. I call them and encourage them to come on. Uh, but I knew when I came on in September uh, uh, that this business is basically the foundation for success. And that's for anybody. It doesn't matter where we start in life. This business can make it happen. So I'm just so grateful for you all. Uh, my 90 day, I'm starting my 90 day run. Uh, I'm usually on all of the meetings. I have to adjust my time to call everybody, you know, and get them in on the meetings because uh, I get on and I go, oh, my goodness, I didn't call somebody. But uh, to give them the guidance to come on for themselves, put them on to Telegram. I'm just so excited. Uh, I'm excited about other people's B5. I mean, I'm sitting over here and every time somebody say they have hit a B5, I know that is a milestone that I'm going to get to. So my excitement for them, I cannot wait. I'm, I know I'm a burst when I get there because I'm so excited for them. But um, thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Um, I've gotten all of the nuggets. And I don't want to just say, I want every time there's a leadership meeting, I come on, I have hit some sort of goal. Call mm. 10 people. Uh, uh, gotten up and made my schedule or, or told my next door neighbor, you know, something. I want to do something every time. Every week, Perfect. I want to be able to come on and say, I've made this Perfect. step. So again, yeah. thank you. Love it. This is a big step, even coming on and talking with everyone uh, to become Brilliant. a leader. So well done. I appreciate you all. Thank you. That's thank you, brilliant. Betty. I appreciate you. Wow, and, uh, thank wow. you so Gosh, much. Amazing. It's, I love it. Beautiful, man. Look the, at that. It, it's the refueling station, isn't it? It's the petrol station, the gas station. You just need to fill up every weekend. Just fill up. Amazing. <laughs> it keeps, keeps you going for the seven days. Fill up the tank. Love it. Hey, hey, hey. Be another VIP five star in the five house. Star. Hey, Happy hey. New Year to you, Jackie. She's uh, pretending she's not listening to us. She is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what VIP fives do. They're all <laughs> cool, super cool. Hey, hey, hey. How are we doing? Uh, I was listening, but I was also thinking. So, Happy New oh. Year, guys. Uh, wow. What a run, what a run. I know I've had a great run. Hey, not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> but what can I say? You know, last night, well, yesterday was my daughter's birthday, my sister's birthday, my cousin's birthday, a wow. member of your birthday. So it was just, I was just on the phone celebrating with everyone. But you, the beauty about it was that every single one of them they're a high, it was their hyper birthday because they're in hyper. I mean, what's better than that? You know, again, this week, and I, I just, I need to say this because if you remember when I started out to share, I told the first person I told was this gentleman that I have no clue who he was. VIP four. <laughs> wow. well, VIP four now. Congratulations. Last night, I canceled all my plans. I stayed home because guess what? I needed to help someone get to VIP one last night. So when oh. you guys were out partying, I worked all night. Yes, VIP oh. one last night. Oh. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> she's on the call, but I think she's on the overflow. So um my 90 days plan was already in play. I live with that every single day. And I'm not going to lie. One of my 90 day plan is always to eat well, exercise and look damn good. I don't care what you guys want to say. <laughs> when I feel that way, I can move mountains. Okay. But I put that on myself first because I know how I do when I look good. Okay. So let me just take that out of the way. But my plan for the rest of the, for 90 days, to make sure I can help as many, as many of my team ranked up. And my God, we are doing so well. So many VIP threes this month and twos. We are killing it. Canada is 
guys I love that. come in and I'm telling you 2022 we are taking it from e- in every province in Canada we're going to kill it we are going to kill it when you guys come to these calls I ask you just don't come I ask you guys to be present whether it's on the leadership call or on the training call it doesn't matter be present because yes we can all come here and sit and listen but we're not present we're in the chat doing all sorts of stuff but we're missing out we are missing out when you're not focused so I am with my I'm with my team and as you guys know I just don't help my team I'm all over, whether it's in Telegram, what, whatever. My job is to ensure that it doesn't matter what team you're in. If I can assist, I will. I certainly will. And that's my goal. But I am on the road again. I'm out there getting pumped because guess what? I have a daughter who I need to take two daughters that I need to take to VIP five. One is in LA again, working on that for me because you know what? This is going to be a house of three VIP five ladies. You hear me? Ladies. So, guys, happy new year. Do what you <laughs> need to do. Stay focused, but you're in the right place at the right time. And wow. as, the, as Cal Pashinki said, we are just getting started. Just getting started. Please. Drink less alcohol. <laughs> Eat more greens, <laughs> stay healthy, and run with this. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, I love you too much. Thank you so much. Move over, QE2, Queen Elizabeth II. We've That's got the new head of state here, the head of Commonwealth, the Queen of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I love yes. it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. awesome, uh, all the provinces in Canada, she rules. Fantastic. Wow. Okay. There you go. All the country. Thank you so much. Nicholas. <laughs> Hello, hello. How are you guys? Hey. Awesome. Hey. Oh, happy New Year. Happy New Year. And, hey, and what a year is behind us. What a yes. year is behind us. It's just been wow. incredible. I started with a hyper in, in, uh, in May. And uh, I should have seen this earlier, really. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> but it's been truly a blessing. And, and today has been like two trainings. I just have to recognize this. I mean, what you provided in value, you and Keith, was just unbelievable, so much value. But listening to the members also gives such, such I mean, incredible value as well for everybody, really. Thanks so much for sharing. Um, Bill touched me a little bit more. I mean, as a father, there was a very strong story to, to me, but all, all the other stories of, of people that are committed and, and embrace positivity in their lives. So thanks for everybody. This is really, really beautiful. I'm, I'm honored to be part of this community. And a, a little short, I want to proclaim or use this platform as an accountability platform um, for, for my goal. So I want to get to V3. I'm on V1 right now, but I want to get to V3 for March. It's my mom's yes. birthday, so let's do a good gift. That's the and, one. And uh, I want to bring 10 people to Carpesh events in Dubai next year. So with that, ah. you Carpesh, you, you, you have to commit for a next event. This was so good. Oh, wow. And, and the third one, um, for, for me really to, to recognize this is, I never give enough. I'm not satisfied with how many people I'm helping and serving right now. I have to do more. And I love this phrase I took from the, from the training. Mastery is not how well you know something. It is how well you pass it on. So thanks so much. This was beautiful. I will do more. And uh, this is my commitment. So thank you. Have a great day. Nicholas, thank love you. Happy New Year to you, brother. Wow. That. Right, love it, love it, love it. Narsima Murti, hi. Dad, namaste. Namaste, namaste. Namaste, namaste. First of all, wish you a happy new year, Kalpeji and Kate and Shu Patel, madam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. First, salute to 2021. 21. Welcome to 2022. Yes. Very impact 2022. Within 90 days, I become a five star, sir. Wow, that's a big goal. I mean, let's get it done. July 13th, minimum oh, five star. My, from my side, minimum five star gift to you, sir. Kalpaji. <laughs> <laughs> July the 13th, Calves. I love that's it. the date. There Fantastic. I mean, there you are. I just put a yes. date on it. Brilliant. 2000, <laughs> sir, 2022. 
minimum we are planning three to five millions membership community base we built up in India, sir. Wow. Three <laughs> to five millions. We are already appearance. Oh, membership drive started already. <laughs> All metro city wow. in India, more than met, five metro, uh, five ten metro cities in India. Wow. We are developing, uh, started a membership drive community base. Sure, 2022, minimum individual leaders, 1,000 members we will produce. Out of that, 100 five star sure, 2022. 100 five stars we produce in India. 100 five stars. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love sure, it. Sure, sure, <laughs> wow. sure. Actually, every leader, every leader required Godfather. My Godfather is Kalpeji and Keith. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it. Wow. <laughs> sure, we, we are enjoying a lot in Dubai. Everybody asking same events. It will continue every six months. <laughs> there you are, Cal. And you every six months. <laughs> yeah, every six months. Every six months in Dubai. Oh, wow. Fantastic. <laughs> I will bring 500 families every six months. Wow. <laughs> only achievers. Only achievers. V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Wow. I'm in. Wow. Let's get it done. Well done. Amazing. Fantastic. Amazing. Namaste. Thank, you. Thank, you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. He took Think Big to another level, man. Janet. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello, Janet. Good afternoon. Hi. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New, Happy New Year. Year to you. Happy New Year. I haven't been on leadership for a little while. In fact, I've been naughty because <laughs> I've been jumping on late. So I've been missing the actual link for the Zoom because it just gets full so quickly, you know. It gets really full. But guys, listen, I'm happy to be here. I'm actually multitasking, cooking dinner at the same time while talking to you. So look, I've reached VIP one, but I'm not satisfied. It didn't happen quick enough for me, right? It was a little bit too slow. We all know, <laughs> you know, the first couple of months was, you know, I was doing the work, but it wasn't happening quick enough for me. So this year, for me, Janet Bruce, I am going to hit that VIP five by September. Now, I'm actually putting a realistic goal here, right? Yeah, because I'm VIP one. So I should hit VIP three by March, end of March. So you have to set realistic goals. You can't say, oh, I'm going to be off VIP five in four weeks. No, that's not going to happen because I have to be realistic. I've got to go to Jamaica in, in a week and a half, you know. So people have things that happens around their lives that they have to try and fit their goals in. So I know for a fact, September, VIP5, mm. right? Whatever it takes, whatever it takes. And Cal Pesh, I won't be missing your event this time around. So <laughs> I don't know when you're going to have it, but I won't be missing it this time. <laughs> I hate hearing... Awesome. I hate hearing after the fact. I like to be there. <laughs> you know? Oh, fantastic. So I'm, I'm definitely going to make the next one in Dubai, right? Oh, yeah. So looking awesome. forward to it. Looking forward to it. But look, I'm having a ball. I'm having a ball. Yes, it has been a little bit of a bumpy ride. We all know that. Everybody's letting off steam in Telegram, you know. But it's, that's business. You know, that's business. Absolutely. You have to ride with the smooth and run with the bumps. That's how it goes. Yeah. Right. So we just have to have faith that we know the company is going to set the record straight. Everything's going to be OK. And yes, you'll be able to withdraw without a glitch. All mm. right. So, you know, Telegram needs to quiet down a bit. But if you don't want to listen to the noise, just don't go on it. Simple. Simple. Exactly. That's it. There yeah. you go. Thank I'll you. Thank out, guys. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. All right. We've got SY. Hi. Please, I'm Happy yourself. New Year! Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year. Happy New Year to you. <laughs> Cal Pesh, we're on the move. We're on the move. I thank God every day for my invitee who is Zelda and 
her body was um, crypto queen. And what can I say about Melvin? Man, we, our team is moving, moving, moving. All I'm going to say is for V IP5, next, 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 next. Well, I'm not going to take up too much time because I know y'all have other people coming on, but thank God, thank God, thank God. 2022 is going to be awesome. For sure. Right. No, for sure, for sure. All thank right. Thank you so much. All, All right. right. JB, how are we doing, champ? Hi, John. Go ahead and Hi, John. Oh. Looks like we've lost his connection for a bit. Let's yeah. move on to Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Go ahead and unmute. Oh, okay. Hello. Hey, hey. Hi. Hey, Sherry. So I'm a little nervous. I have no idea why, because I know we're all regular people here, except for the <laughs> VIPs. So I'm from Boston Lake. So I just have some things to admit. I never come on because I'm just nervous to speak, but. Oh, bless. I came in October of 2020, and I've been kind of dozing since then, meaning, you know, some days you have good days, you're talking to people, then some days you're going on the calls. So I have some good months and some bad months. Um, I have the numbers to be like um, pro, but I'm not because I have to fill in a few gaps. So I just came on to say, I'm going to go on this 90-day run. My plan is to be at VIP July 1st. Now, wow. that, that's just my goal. But I also, like months ago, when I listened to the young Italian man, that he said in this business to think realistic doesn't make sense because like he didn't expect to do what he was doing mm -hmm. um, two years. So I, I figured, I, I, you know, July 1st has to be it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm going on that 90 day run. Some of my team members is on here. So I'm saying to you, I hope you're going on that run with me. And just want to say one last thing to Bill Ackley, you know, that lost his son. You know, I understand where you're coming from. I lost my, um, 25 year old son in 2009. So the, the pain is just there, but I could tell you hyper fun and just keeping busy. We'll get you through it one day at a time. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. JB. Hey, are we getting on my, on my off? Um, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Well, How buddy? Yeah, I've had to drive up and down the Scottish West Coast, try to find somewhere I can get um get a signal. Cool. And it's like 65 <laughs> mile an hour winds up here. And I've got a roof box on and it's still there. Like, yes. Oh, my God. I'll party here for three hours in a gale. <laughs> it's like quality. Can't be wow. missing it. Yeah. Anyway, I just want to, um, I, um, I, I sort of like, I struggled at the start of this because I was reinventing myself because you know a bit about my story. I was a, I was a drug addict for 27 years. I never had any belief of my dad or brother. Um, they always put me down. So six months ago, I moved into my van and uh, I traveled, me and my pooch, you see her in the back there, me and my dog. <laughs> He's the only thing that stopped me coming to uh, coming away, you know, for the event. And um, and yeah, and I've really sort of had to reinvent myself. So I don't speak to my dad anymore. I don't speak. I've pushed my brother away a month ago. And since losing that energy, pushing my brother away, um, I signed, I think it was 12 people up in December. Uh, I'm VIP one now and I'm uh, well over halfway to VIP two. And I've already, wow. two, I've already signed up two people this year. So they wanted, wow. to, they, wanted to sign up, they, they wanted to sign up yesterday. I went, no, you can wait till tomorrow. So I was like, get on. Oh, up. love it. Love wow, it. look at that. So I realized that you need to drop energies around you that aren't doing you good. And when you do yes. that, you can create, re, create a new version of yourself and every day become a better version of yourself. So I'm, I'm going to smash this. I'll be I'll be VIP before February the fourth because I want some of that uh, VIP two treats and um, <laughs> I'm 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 gonna uh, I'm gonna create a massive team and I will be I will be you know what I mean VIP five as soon as I can I'm gonna put a date on it yet because I'm I'm finding this new newfound my of myself yeah. and I'm gonna go 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 and uh, I'm I'm yeah. absolutely rocking 
And um, I'm trying to save me. So I don't lose lose, uh, lose signal, but I'm going to go and take yeah, off over the uh, over over the edge that I'm up on behind me. <laughs> so I'm on uh, this side of the side of the face. Yeah, cool. Mate, Thank you. One love John, and fantastic. Happy Look at that. What a great testimony. Mega, here. Mega wow. Inspiration. I tell you, this guy. That is, isn't it? Early, early days to now. Wow. Shifted. Yeah. Just got rid, of, just got rid of the negative energy, the yeah. noise. Just get Not rid easy. of it. Not easy. Yeah. No. You have to well do done, what you JB. You have to. Thank you for the chairs. One love. Love it. One I love. love. Heath, I've got 15 minutes before next my next call and I need to go and have a bit of a freshen up. Yeah, um, um, what we'll do, is we'll, um, I'll take over from here. Don't worry, Calps. We've only got ha- no more hands oh, after okay. Catherine the Great, which will be the last one up. Uh, that will be it for you guys. Anyone else to put the, put their hand up, I will take put your hand down. So, Calps, yes, I know you got it. I mean, I'm flagging here. I've done uh, seven hours over seven, almost seven hours since this morning. So yeah, with three hours fine. sleep, but guess what? I'm going to get through it because that's what I do. You go again, you keep on going. So KP, happy thank new you year to so you. so much. Good thank you, people. Keith, for everything. And, uh, what a, oh, thank you an, so amazing much. What an amazing 2021. You've transformed yes. not just my life, my family's life, but God, 2022. Wow. Forever. Am I excited, wow. man? We are going to do, God, I can't, when I think about, I've been sitting there all day today, me and my family creating 2022. And do you know what? Just all I'm going to say is watch this. Space. One of the highlights, Kelps, is when I was over with you in, in Dubai with you in uh, December and just hanging out with you and, uh, you know, just seeing how things have changed for you. And, I mean, it's, it's I mean, <laughs> it brought tears to my eyes to see how different things are now for both of us, but to see how you just just are so happy and Dubai just just fits you like a glove it's just fantastic and uh, <laughs> it's great to see buddy and uh, listen I want to thank you for your commitment over the last 24 months it's been an amazing amazing journey and the best is yet to come we haven't even scratched the surface we haven't even scratched the scratch on the surface yet so thank you so much my friend and let's get through the last calls now take care yeah. buddy have a good yeah. one. You bet. Bye. Okay, we're going to go straight to Desiree. Desiree Parker, how are you? Let's try and get through uh, these next few uh, hey, hands Keith. as quickly as I can. Hey, how are you doing? There you go. I'm Hi, really how are so you? I'm doing amazing. I'm. I. My husband says to me, he says, it's New Year's Day. I said, no, it's not it. Hyper New Year. That's the one. It's Hyper New Year. That's the one. So I'm going to make this real short because I know we got a lot of people. But I didn't even have breakfast, okay? I'm like, nope, I don't need it. I'll eat afterwards. You know what my beautiful husband did? Look at this. He brought breakfast to me. That's beautiful. That's teamwork. There you go. Because you are committed. Right. So he does the hot dogs, you know. I I do this. This is my passion. And yes. let me tell you, he was driving Lyft the other day and he talks all about hyperverse. And I'm like, you go, baby, you go. So <laughs> I have this thing. he met an incredible lady. Right. And it's just all about, like you said, just having conversations, y'all just saying, hey, have you heard of? Hey, what do you do? It's just having fun. So it my goals, my so goals. Much, right. Uh, oh, by the way, we're on vacation. For my birthday and and you know a few weeks ago down to Florida and guess what my husband did he drove an extra five hundred and twenty eight miles for me oh, down to Lake Worth Florida to beautiful. meet the bald head crypto guy oh wow beautiful there you go that's what you yep. do that's brilliant what a lovely surprise oh so, dedication y'all dedication because I told him I said he's I said well you know we're gonna be in Florida I this is what I really really want to do. <laughs> On this trip, just by talking to people, I've got 20 follow-ups to do in a four-day visit, right? Yeah. That's all right. it is, guys. You just got to put it on your calendar and follow up. I took and so Alan, many Alan's today. awesome, isn't he? Alan's awesome. I took oh a nice God. drive back from Jersey to Brooklyn with him. Almost two-hour drive. Fantastic. He took me to scenic <laughs> route to downtown Brooklyn where he, where he grew up. What a great man. Wow. Now, what energy now I need- he has. Now, I need you to PM me separately because I have somebody in the UK that you need to meet. 
He he probably lives two flats over from you. He's on my team. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not that small, the UK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flats just over. messing with you. I know you are. <laughs> you got but, the big country. We got the big heart. <laughs> uh, hey, but but in, seriously speaking, I thank you humbly, everybody on here that's have spoken up because you know what, Keith, you you always go the extra mile and you push me to go the extra mile and. You know, I thought I was going to get expert by December 31st. That was my goal because, you know, living hot dogs 18 hours a day, it didn't quite happen, but I'm close. Good. I'm close. Can, and can, and instead of putting, oh my God. And so <laughs> instead of doing V1 as my next goal, no, that's too low. I got to go V3. Got to go V3. That's the one. That's the one. And you so, work your uh, way back from after there. After V3, it'll be V5. So I just wanted to say thank you humbly from the bottom of my heart. You know, I'm always on, but I never get to talk. So thank you so much for allowing me the space to do so. Esri, thank you so much. And that extra 528 miles just to meet the board head trip to go. What a great, what a great thing to do. Right? Have a good one. Hyper New Year to you as well, Desri. Wow, we're going to get through this. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And we're going to go to uh, Hosea. Hey, sir, how are you? I am awesome. I'm having a hyperverse uh, new, new Year Day and a hyperverse New Year. I love that hyperverse New Year. Uh, it's awesome. I uh, wanted to share. I don't uh, talk talk too often. and uh, But, you know, things are changing. If you're going to change, things got to change. If you want to get better, you got to be better. And that's what I'm going to do. You know, uh, I've been involved. Well, I've joined in February, in March, March of last year. Yep. And I didn't get going until August. So I've got four months, well, almost five months that I've been doing this. I, I got the first level expert out the way. And I'm going all the way to uh, BP3, BP5. There you years go. Now, of course. Fantastic. Um, Love it. It's the leadership. It's the leadership that has made the difference. You know, I didn't get involved listening uh, right away uh, as to all the calls and the events. But uh, yeah. uh, I'm on Sharon's team. I'm on I'm on Maurice's team and on Sharon's team. So Sharon and Dan do a fantastic call oh, on Mondays and uh, Cal Peach. And that has made a difference. Actually, uh, uh, chiming in, listening in, staying involved, being a part. So uh, I'm going up for the 90 day challenge. I'm going to be up for it. A lot is going to happen in the next, next 90 days. Thank God. I got my uh, Just Do It t-shirt on. Just do it. <laughs> there you go. And I'm That's gonna the one. Do it. That's the one. That's the one. So I thank you. Oh, I did have one question uh, to ask you and or Calpesh, uh, a comment and a, and a question with it. I'm actually going to give away um, to my daughter. She's a missionary over in Honduras. She just graduated college last year in Spanish, and now she's teaching uh, – uh, kids in uh, second graders. She's going back now. She's here in the U.S. She's going back in about four weeks and will be a Bible instructor in a mission called Vida International in Honduras. I'm actually giving her my large account, which is 50,000 HUs. Uh, it's half of what I, I earn daily. And so I'm like, okay, I wanted her to get involved more sooner, but she's only beginning to be ready now. But that's the heritage. This, this is, I guess, this is a testimony. The fact that I could get involved with Hyperverse. Uh, I'm a working man, hardworking. I hope to get through college. But I'm going to give her a 50000 plus HU account and say, go at it. Get started with your life. What a, you great, know? Start. What a great thing to do. Only because, only because the opening of the mind that you, Keith, Cal Pesh, and the other leaders are giving to us that we can think out of the box. I'm go ahead and no, give that away. Isn't that a blessing? And it is. And I'm going to go and build, rebuild and build again that which I have and go beyond. So that, that's Fantastic. where I'm at. That's a great goal. Fantastic. Beautiful. Is Thank you so I much. Need, is there anything I need to do to literally give that to her other than, you know, so that it's not, you know, she's responsible just, for it in a sense. Just, just hand her over your logins and she's good to go. <laughs> and your passwords and she's good to go. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a great 2022. And you're going to hit your goals. Absolutely. With that with that attitude. Fantastic. We're going to go to Keith. Keith, how are you? 
I am doing fantastic, Keith. Um, Hyper New Year. Uh, I, I have mixed feelings here. Uh, quite frankly, I, I'm, I'm excited and I'm also a little saddened because uh, when you were here in New York, New Jersey area, I was in Miami at the Miami event and I was losing my mind, uh, having a fantastic time in Miami and watching you guys, uh, the testimonies and the incredible experience in New Jersey. Me, me and my team members were out there. And uh, like I said, then the following weekend, you were here in Brooklyn, my hometown, and uh, giving the, doing the training from Brooklyn. I wanted to cry. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, he's right here in Brooklyn. So listen, I'm going to, wherever you know, next stop's going to be, I will make sure yes. I'm there. Incredible. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back uh, uh, February, maybe towards April. That window, I'll be back in the well, U.S. Please, uh, and I've got to do West uh, Coast as well. I'll make, I'll make the announcements as well. We will definitely have a packed room in New York. New Jersey's great. Oh, absolutely. My mom's there. I mean, come on. (laughs) I can't sneak into the U.S. and sneak back out. It's not going to (laughs) happen. And Dr. J said there's North Carolina on deck as well. I do like North Carolina as well. (laughs) No problem with that. I got folks down here too. But uh, we we love you. We love Cal Pesh. You guys did tremendous training and the testimony. Again, my heart goes out to Bill and his loss. Just a week ago, I lost a childhood cousin. Uh, went to the hospital feeling chest pains and was gone the next day. So, guys, we really have to, like, take life seriously. We have a true gift in our hands. And this last year, I've been involved with hypers. I'm on my, uh, just came on my one-year anniversary. I came involved back in December of 2020. Um, but first three or four, I said maybe two and a half months or so, I was pretty much passive. I was on another project that didn't go very well. So I really was just, but I, you know, I, I came in, uh, how should I put, kind of heavy, okay? So I didn't just put my toe in the water. But I was not ready to start sharing until I really started to see some things taking place. My sponsor, Eric Brown, the crypto near, uh, I still, he was doing this. You know what? I've got to start sharing this concept. This thing is making too much sense. Make a long story short, I'm V3. So I hit V4 before the end of the year, but we're very close. We should do this sometime this month and certainly look for V5 yeah. later than March. Wow. But uh, we, we are just so excited about what, what's, what we have in our hands. And for me, uh, I started journaling. One of the things we talked about doing things, three things you want to do. I decided I want to start doing, doing a journal. And uh, so I actually started that before today. I started that a few days ago. And uh, I love what you said about, you know, showing up 90 days, every presentation, you know, but not just showing up alone, but also showing up with company, showing up with guests. And, yes, uh, of course. <laughs> I, uh, month- <laughs> yeah, I've been doing a monthly training with my team, but I realized that's not enough. So I have to step that up and I need to start having a, a, a as you mentioned, bringing my, my front line together at least, if not every week, at least every two weeks, and start doing a train maybe every two weeks, if not every week, and bring everyone together, especially these first few months of 2022, with so much happening with the hype, with the hyperverse guys. If you can't get excited about what's happening with this hyperverse, what is the hottest thing in this space right now? There are three letters, and we know what those three letters are: NFTs. And most of us, myself included, are still trying to get our handle and wrap our heads around it. But this company has so much foresight that they understood this is where it's going between the web three and the virtual world and NFTs is virtual space tokenization. This is where this whole space is going with blockchain. And we are perfectly positioned. One thing that was said, I love um, this real quick. When I was in Miami, one thing I noticed there were people there that were not part of hybrid hyperverse and, but they were interested in crypto. In fact, I met several of those, the folks there and some of them were actually joined our team. Uh, but what I loved was that, we have what they are looking for. We have a platform that will allow you to get involved, get educated yes. In the process. Yes. Yes. Rewards. So you don't have all of the volatility. Sure, there's some volatility, but you don't have all of the volatility that the average person would have. So yes. we're just so blessed. Keith, again, thank you so much. I just again thank I'm you so, so much, much, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're gonna, we're guys. definitely, we're definitely gonna match up the schedules. Now we're gonna meet each other. But you know what you just said there by leading with education, it's so easy to do. As I said, I was out shopping before Christmas, and I lead with education because everyone wants to understand and learn about crypto. And we have the perfect platform, and we train five thousand members every weekend. So isn't that fantastic to lead with that? If someone's searching for a platform that's gonna help them to understand the space, and if you go with confidence, it's so easy. So easy to get them to just to take a look. Your job only is to get them to take a look. That is it. 
Don't sell it to them on the doorstep right there, you know, on the counter and trying to get them to, to register and become a member. Your job only is to get them to come and take a look. And then it's the next one. That's it. Thank you so much, Thank Keith. You. Fantastic. Okay, we've got three to go, but I'm going to end with Catherine the Great, because why not? She's great. And we're going <laughs> to have two more. Jamil, I think that's you up next. I'm going to ask you to unmute. And uh, then we have a tenure, then Catherine the Great, and we're pretty much done. Hi, can you hear me? Loud and clear. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. My name is Jamel, actually. Jamel, Jamel sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I'm British. I'm British. <laughs> uh, E-L-L-E is French for she, so L. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but at, and my father's name was James, so... And then you get you get it, but I'm going to be very brief. I um, I actually love this training. I want to thank you and Kalpesh for every word. Um, and I just want to say, every single day, maybe twice a day, I raise my vibratory frequency. So I'm definitely on that level <laughs> every day. I have a, a techniques that I use. Not only do I not watch television, I do not own a television. So if there's anything important to watch, I have to go over to my sister's house, <laughs> drive there to do that. <laughs> I come from a family that so, so, take... someone has to tell you there's something important to watch. Someone has to tell me. <laughs> I, mean, I, just, I just know it by living in the world. Like if there's an important yeah. election, you know, I say, okay, well, let me go over there and watch that. Yeah. Whatever. But um, um, I come from a family that doesn't take no for an answer. If we wanted to be, yet we were raised. If you want it to be, yes, that's the only thing. So I have that in my spirit. So while this call was going on and you were talking, I actually went ahead and wrote down my goals for 2022 during the call. So now I only have to get together with my enroller and chunk it down to daily, weekly, and monthly steps so that I make sure that I meet those goals. I am so excited about this uh, opportunity um, I love the support, the inspiration, everything about it. And the fact that monetarily, not only can I um, secure myself and my family monetarily, but I have a goal to be a major um, philanthropist. So this is the way to do that. Um, I'm at, so on that note, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. I'm looking forward to meeting you when you're in, in the country. Looking forward to being in Dubai and other parts of the world where I get to meet all the leaders. <laughs> and happy, happy, hyper new year to all. That's beautifully said. Well done. And I can't wait to see you too as well when I get back over there. So, uh, wow. Brilliant. We have two more to go. Uh, I'm going to go, is it Tenya? Tenya. Hi. You're up next. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm doing great. I didn't know I had raised my hand. <laughs> oh, well, you got to say something That's now. Hilarious. <laughs> I, wanted to speak. I wanted to speak, but I'm like, okay, I'm just going to listen. And I didn't even know I had raised my hand. So I guess it was meant for me to speak. <laughs> um, this is really amazing. <clears throat> uh, I just want to say that I had what real, what I really walked away with was when, I don't know if it was you or Cal Passion, you said, Put some goals in place, put some steps in place that will help you reach your goals. And I'm going to go ahead and show my video because I will. Ask you to unmute and then I'll ask you to. Okay, there, I go. Okay, so there you go. I... Hey. <laughs> I said, this is such a wonderful family. I shouldn't be ashamed that I'm still in my hair about it. <laughs> but I was Not laying a problem. We're all family here, babes. <laughs> We're cool. Right. That's right. I said, it's fine. And I was laying down, I was going to go back to sleep. And something's like, Tina, just get up and listen to the call. So I started listening and, and I just didn't, you know, do my hair and all that stuff. But anyways, you or Cal Pesh said, put some goals in place that will help you or put some steps in place to help you reach your goals. And that was really important for me. And I think that's important for all of us. Don't just set a goal, but what steps do you have to reach that goal? And that's what I really need. I had a, a, a goal to, to get up at five, but I didn't set my alarm. So I never get up at five. Put something in place to help you reach that goal. That was number one. And number two, I love it when everyone says, 
set your goals high. Forget all of this, oh, you got to do what's reasonable. No, we believe in a God that is not reasonable. So we don't have to be reasonable. Set your goals high. I got in in April of last year. I want to be VIP by April of this year. And the reason why I think I can do that is because I've been on some trainings. I haven't been consistent, so I know there's things I need to do. But I've learned enough and I've seen enough. I've gone through the like beginning steps. Now I'm ready to take off and fly. So I'm ready by April. I want to be VIP five, period. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> you will be VIP five by April. Thank you so much. We're almost at the end now. Thank you and hyper new year to you. And uh, as you were just speaking there, Tanya, I was just thinking about what you said and um, putting things in place um, for you to hit your goals. And I remember when I started November the 5th, 2019, and I looked back on the last year or two and I thought, well, what bad habits have I got? What things, what are the things I have to change? And one of the things I, I said I had to change was my timekeeping and my reliability and showing up. And uh, I'm, I'm still surprised and stunned that I'm able to hit 25 months and some 1,500 to almost 2,000 events and not be late for one and be there as well. I mean, you know, when you say you're going to do something, do it, take action, because that's the most important thing. I could have just given myself lip service in November. I probably wouldn't have done anything like what I've done if I hadn't changed a number of habits that I've just fell into. And you all have those habits and you all have to be very honest with yourselves and say, right, I need to stop that. I need to change that. I don't just mean smoking or drinking or whatever it is, eating, whatever your bad habit is uh, that's affecting your health. You can fix that. But this is affecting your success. It's affecting your your lifestyle, your income, and 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 how happy you are. And you have to now look in the mirror and be very honest with you. Say, well, I can change these little bad habits that are preventing me from success here, from following up, from opening a conversation, from reading a book, listening to positive material. Yesterday, I spent six hours listening first to the word and then to positive material. Six hours. Didn't get out of bed till about two o'clock in the afternoon because it was important for me to get that in me before I got out of bed and then enjoyed the New Year's Eve. But you have to look at yourselves and say, right, what am I going to do? And what are the things that I know I have to change, but I like doing them. It makes me feel comfortable. I don't mind showing up late. You know, it's fashionable. Make an entrance. If you're talking yourself into doing things like that, fix that. That is as Calpish as thinking, thinking, get your mindset turned around and be good and just challenge yourself to be the best you can every single day. Things like not following up. I used to be terrible. I'll call you back. I'll hit you up on a message and I never used to do it. I think I'll do it tomorrow. And then I didn't, didn't get around to doing it. And then the awkward conversation is, oh, I thought you said you'd get back to me. But we do it. Because it's a little thing. So I just wanted to say that before we end the call, and I know there's a few more hands coming up, but I'm going to lower the hands because I did say we are going to finish with Catherine the Great. Because, of course, why not? And I don't care who else puts their hands up because I've done seven hours today. I've pushed myself. I want to take a bit of break and freshen up and relax and, um, I don't know, just uh, maybe listen to some more positive stuff before I go to sleep tonight. But I want to say thank you, everyone, for just participating on New Year's Day. Catherine, I'm going to hand the last word over to you. I'm going to add you to Spotlight. I'm going to ask you to unmute. How are you, gorgeous? Happy Hyper New Year to you. Happy New Year to you too. I'm in Canada. I love listening to both yourself and Kalpesh. Your training is awesome. I have only been in the Hyperverse community since the middle of November. And I Very have new. Lot of- I have a lot of lofty goals. I have 13 direct to me so far. Oh, I've, amazing. I've already <laughs> replaced one other person under somebody direct to me, and I plan on doing much more of that. My question today is one of the gentlemen I have direct to me is from Yemen, 
And he wants to share this with his people there and every, all his contacts. However, a lot of them do not speak the English language. So he needs some presentational videos and some training that he can join as well as get some of his people to join that's in some Arabic languages. And I was hoping that Kalpesh would be here and be able to help me with that. But I just need a connection somehow to be able to get this gentleman connected in Yemen. Well, um, all the marketing material, you'll see this week with our new presentations. You probably uh, have seen that we've also announced that we have a new website. I think it's the hypercommunity.net, which has all uh, videos now. And uh, we will be creating presentations, professional presentations. Uh, that will be recorded. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you, Dr. J. I thought it was just up here. So it's the hypercommunity.net. But um, as far as multiple language, we're working on that. I mean, you know, um, they reveal to us uh, a lot of things that are coming down the pipe. And uh, we just got to be a little bit patient as they roll out the materials that we need to grow. Uh, we've done an extraordinary job over the last uh, 12 months, 24 months, but we still have a lot to do. And it's now a huge apparatus with different departments and marketing and legal and compliance and risk management and a whole host of things going on. It's a lot different than when I first signed up in uh, November 2019. But I guarantee you everything will be there, for you, especially Arabic, 100%. Okay. That's great to okay. hear. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm going to say thank you so much, Catherine, and a happy new year to you. I'm going to end the call today, guys. Yes, I'd love to take more hands, but uh, uh, have have pity on me, guys. I'm a little bit tired now. I've put in just under four hours this afternoon, three hours this morning. Uh, so uh, I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your New Year's Day. Um, I could go on and on about personal development and mindset. Um, uh, I think this is the great day for you to start making changes and to really think about the things that you need to do in order for you to be successful here and successful in, in everything else that you do in life because it's so important. It has a knock-on effect on other things that you do in life. If you have good habits here, it just it just sort of goes into the other areas of your life that you need to have those good habits, okay? And that means then you be you feel a lot better and other people will, will feel a lot better uh, interacting with you. So, again, as I said, I've got so many notes here, but I'm going to end the call today. It's been an emotional day. Our leadership on the first day of the year, that's a significant, significant uh, day to have a leadership. And I think that you guys have supported. We had well over 2,000 today. Uh, we uh, hit the numbers with 25 minutes to go. And uh, Overflow, I think, had around a 1,000 as well. So thank you, everyone, for being patient. We're still over 630 on the call still. Um, I'm going to say uh, Happy New Year, Hyper New Year, as Dr. J says. And I'm going to say we'll see you again, guys, in seven days' time. Remember, we've got technical training tomorrow with, uh, I believe, Jackie, you heard from her earlier, and Andrew. We have another couple of uh, trainers on the uh, roster as well. So uh, look out for those guys. And we start presentations 2 p.m. Uh, on Monday. That's 10 a.m. or 9 a.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. UK. We also have an 8 p.m. Uh, UK, 3 p.m. Eastern. And I'll be back for the Caribbean Affair on Monday night at uh, midnight UK. 7 p.m. Eastern, all brand new presentations. Uh, it's all scripted. We've got to learn our lines and try and deliver it without any second or third takes. But it'll be fun. We'll have a lot of fun. As I said, have fun with Hyper. Guys, as I say goodbye to you all, um, I want you all to say goodbye to one another. As I say, I always say it's one love, one family, and that's who we are. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye. Thank you.
Thank you. We are one big family. Thank you so much, everyone. Great. Thank you. God bless everyone. Wow. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Enjoy nice this new year. We're going to have a great year, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you.